gun to shake the dirt, wiping their shoulders from the earth. I know, I know the nation's past. I know, I know they must have passed. They drowned. Chat member, you're gonna have to elaborate on what what happened to Sufjan Stevens. What is, is is there something going? Does he have like a GoFundMe? Do we need to support him? What's going on? Oh God. ALS. Oh Jesus. Oh, that's a real shame. I had no idea. Ladies and gentlemen, the next song is just is just a different. It's it's just on a playlist, so it doesn't even. Man, I hate Spotify sometimes. I guess that's on me. Uh, hi everybody, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I had no idea about Sufjan Stevens. That's that's a real shame. Man, that's uh, that's uh, that's the great fuck of life right there. Uh, what fuck would be life without ALS diagnoses? Um, welcome to the stream. Uh, somebody in chat mentions that there is an Astro Boy Productions apology or something. He apparently bitched out an apology is the, the, the exact phrasing used. <laughs> That's the exact phrasing used, so we're going to have to take a look at that. Uh, the title is, uh, something, I forget exactly, the, the stream is chat's fault or something. This is a suggestion stream, you know. I uh, got some stuff that we've already saved, you know, stuff that people suggested before. <clears throat> the four stuff that you know people suggested on on previous suggestion streams that we didn't get to and i'm sure there's going to be new ones today welcome welcome uh how you guys doing um white bowser you coward i've heard white bowers i've heard white bowser is really boring and i swear that if, if th this is just it just sounds like another cyrax situation of somebody that's like baby's first lol cow that everybody's like no he's really interesting though and it's like mm, i don't know i don't know cuz i've heard conflicting things is what i'm saying you know it sounds a lot it just sounds it just sounds like a a, a cyrax situation uh it is boring yeah 
Okay, you can't just call me- chat members, you can't just call me a coward and make me do the thing. This is not Seinfeld, where George could just call Jerry a wuss and- and- and guilt him into a- into a- in, into some kind of scheme, <laughs> some kind of side quest. There was a great episode, it was in season- it was one of the early season two episodes. It was the one where, uh, G George- like, leaves this insane, like, incel series of messages on this woman's f fucking messaging, like, like, answering machine. And he's like, HOW DARE YOU NOT RESPOND TO ME! YOU INVITED ME UP FOR COFFEE, you, AND I DIDN'T s and, and it's this whole thing. And then he's like, Jerry! Jerry, you got- we- we gotta go upstairs there, Jerry! You gotta- you gotta switch the tape for me, Jerry! And, and it's- and I- literally while I'm watching it, I'm like, this is like a video game side quest. Like, you would have the option to refuse this and just come back later and George would be, like, distraught because you didn't help him or something. It's just such random shit. Uh, but- but yes, uh, Seinfeld retrospective is to come. You can't just call- just call me a coward and guilt me into doing fucking White Bowser or- uh, or fluffy community or, or whatever. Um, we do actually, before we get into suggestions hardcore, uh, we, we do have one thing that I want to take a look at, which might take a little while. We might be on it for like an hour or something because I've got a few videos. So I've got a previous suggestion, at least one. I think I have at least, at least one. There might be more, but, uh, I definitely have. Oh yeah, well there's an ASMR channel that I want to do, uh, when it's spooky season. Um, yeah, there's a few things here. Mainly, though, on my weirdos playlist. Some fucking weirdos. Some people that are we real weird. Um, so there's this guy. There's this fucking guy. And he's like, um, a mix of, uh, mask mandate, you know, how to win the war against the masks. He's got that. He's got a uh, gang stalking. Um, he's got like some sort of strange conspiracies about like like property pricing or something. I'm not sure. Um, Forty four thousand dollars USD per tent. This smells of money laundering. So he's got like weird political videos. You'll see here. Um, this is uh, Mike Martins. Just a small business owner, family guy, your friend, and neighbor. You know, luckily, lucky there's a Mike Martins, honestly. Um, so he's dressed like that one guy from the show Dexter, the, like, Cuban guy. He's dressed like that guy. Um, but he's got the voice of the Commonwealth. He looks like, this is, like, literally the Neil Breen scene from, I think, Pass Through, where he's, like, he hijacks the, the, the news station. Oh yeah. Ask the hard questions. <laughs> I have eliminated three billion humans today. Government in your terms, I have killed them all. Buying tents, but it's not an old thing. It's been happening for years now. I love when people like this try to make themselves look like the news. They have such like reverence for the concept of the news, as if it's. I I don't know. I mean I mean, but they also hate the mainstream journalism. But like. I don't know, it's an interesting, you know, it's an interesting logical gap to bridge there. Now, governments are buying up- By the way, I have to uh, I apologize in advance if I'm more pretentious on this stream than usual. I've been playing a lot of the game Disco Elysium lately. It's a really good game. I recommend it. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's routinely, it's routine use of big words. Uh, might make what might turn me writ large into a Ben Shapiro type if I'm not careful. Tents and laundering money. Forty-four grand a tent. We covered it. What is happening, folks? Thanks for joining, liking, subscribing, and being part of the channel. Don't forget to join us Saturday nights on Rumble for Mike uh, in the Night and don't Odyssey. Don't forget to join us on Rumble. Um, so I don't know if I, I don't know if this video is going to be any, anything interesting, but this guy's channel is notable because you know he's got all these like political sort of videos. And it's an interesting uh, slant to the to the politics angle. He definitely cares a lot about like the federalization, the money angle. I mean, there's certainly elements of like you know uh, immigration and stuff like that, and 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 they're they're coming with masks and everything. But then there's more merit harassment me harassment merit BC Canada. It never ends. He has. A lot, a multitudinal range of videos on this playlist, sire, and uh, on this channel, he is a he has a, he has a number of playlists. He has a playlist called "Woke to Death." 
uh, woke, t woke to death, so many people suddenly dying, messages from all over the world. So he's got a, a series, uh, I don't know what that's about, we might get into that. He has two different playlists called Connecting the Dots, and one, and uh, you know, the second one is part two. They're both 160 videos long, or around there. Um, he has a $6,000 Filipino home. He has a 49-part playlist. He has a 49-video series about being harassed in the town of Merritt, uh, BC, BC. Which is interesting, because I used to live in an area that was somewhat near Merritt, BC. Ever since I opened my shop, it has been non-stop harassment for years now. TLC Solutions, IT Security... And this is just like a, a list of... This is just a list of of keywords now. So yeah, 49 videos here of him being harassed in Merritt, BC, apparently, over the course of four years at least. Six years there. There's there's one from six years ago. More harassment. It's coming to light. Wife and kids being held hostage at Merritt... Okay, what, what do you mean? Out of years! Okay, I mean... Can this be a soy jack? I mean, there's just something about his face that's immaculate, right, right from the start. Oh yeah, no, I got the moralist option pretty quick, Darks. Uh, I got the moralist option pretty quick, but then once I started going down the la responsabilité path, and you talk to the guy who's like positioned five feet away from the mural where there was a a a a mass shoot, like a mass mass execution. And Kim tells you, yeah, it was probably the moral intern guy that was, like, the commandant who ordered the execution. And then right there is the guy that's like, hey, you want to join the moralist faction? You're like, well, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, I think politics might just not be for me. It's not very disco, but anyways. Out of yours! Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin's channel. Okay, well, the there's a portion of town that has water in it. It's up on the bench. We call it the bench. So... A portion of town that has water in it. Okay, you live in Merritt, BC. What is this? I I lived near there. Why do you, why does your area of this fucking province sound like Mad Max? What do you mean? Like you're living without water? My wife has a friend there. She said, "Oh, go over to the house. Come over to the house. Shower the kids. Shower. We got water now. Our water's on. Our water's on. Was this during a specific 2021? Was the water off? Like in 2020? I don't remember anything." like that i mean if it was it wasn't for more than like a couple days i i don't i don't know i mean this might have been during like a forest fire or something our water won't be on for another this guy's days. fucking hair though i mean i mean we have we can't we can't we have to acknowledge the hair yeah his hair is is very strange it's a very s strange haircut um he kind of does look like an oblivion character meat jack yeah yeah, he's got, like, his hair looks like he wants to be in, like, one direction, but he's, like, 47, <laughs> and he looks like, he looks like he, he hasn't changed his appearance from, like, 30 years ago when, not even, like, not even one direction, that's not even the right haircut, it's like, when he was trying to get into Backstreet Boys, they didn't let him in, and he, he's just never changed how he looks since Three then. Three days? Here, where we are in this part of town. Same town. Same town. Same uh, postal area. Same uh, mailing route. Same everything's all... There's no, like, a ten-minute gap drive between the Is next... Is it a wig? It's all it, the same. it does. It looks like a wig. That's gotta be fake hair, yeah. That doesn't... That doesn't look real. Yeah. That's gotta be some kind of plugs or something yeah i don't know he's talking about how his wife has been fucking kidnapped but like he did he just say that they went over to like another place for water or something Three days. here where we are in this part of town same town same town same uh postal area same uh mailing route same everything's all there's no like a 10 minute gap drive be somebody says my money was stolen i can't super chat Oh, were you the Kirby porn guy? Oh, it's you. 
Uh, yeah, no, it does that sometimes. You might have posted a bad word, sorry. Between the next, it's all in the same town. So, my wife is up, stuck, at some sort of Held roadblock hostage. in town. She never left town, now she's stuck in a roadblock in town. I love how she's, like, in traffic, and this man has interpreted it as she's being held hostage. This is a... Are you... It's a roadblock. I mean, it's fine. It's, it's in probably there. fine. She called me. She has the kids. She's like, yeah, we all showered. We're ready to go. We're coming back home. We had our monthly shower. And we just want to go back home. We just want... They pulled us over. A city a city official pulled, uh, pulled her over and said she's not allowed to go back here to the house. So she's stuck on the side of the road right now. So, and they won't let her in. Uh, in the city boundaries. She's already in the city boundaries. She never left the city boundaries. So they're holding her so, pretty much hostage there with the kids waiting. Hostage. This is just... I mean, do you need to... Does What does it give you? What does it ultimately give you to be so persecuted? Like, oh, they held her hostage. Is this, like, part of... Do you, do you think this is the thing? Like... Later on, he goes on to be like, Yeah, my wife was police brutality too, man. Police, the police are fine. My wife got held hostage. Or something. So, like, I, I, I don't know. It's just like, p held hostage. She's like at a roadblock. What are you talking about? It's nothing. It's a, it's not a thing. Why are you making a whole video about this? To see if the authority figure the with authority the clip on pack is going to let her through to come home. She's maybe a mile and a half or two miles away. Never left the city. Okay, so he's got problems with authority. Any any amount of, like, traffic rules or roadblocks or anything. Right, okay. So now, they're making it more complicated on people here. And that's why we have lawyers. I've been very briefed up lawyers. and up to date with my lawyer. Everything's been being sent through. And it's going to be a very dark time in Merrick in the future. <laughs> it's gonna be a very dark time, ladies and gentlemen. Man, apocalypse cop over here. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? My soundboard's not working. I don't have my fucking... Oh, hang on. I don't have my fucking hard drive plugged in. Hold, hold the fork. Hold the fork. This is not acceptable. This is bullshit, man. This is fucking bullshit, man. I have, I fix soundboard, I fix it, and now he's not, I don't have, I don't have, and I need, it's bullshit, it's fucking bullshit, you fucking plug in there, you can't, you scum can't fuck, what you do, what are you, get the fuck in the USB port, you can't, okay, okay. No, he's pl he's plugged he's plugged in he's plugged in. Come on, he's plugged in. He's he's plugged in, Papi. Oh, I don't even have the thing working. Hang on. Turn on. What is happening? Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. And it's going to be a very dark time in Merrick in the future. It will be a dark day in Merritt, ladies and gentlemen. The hell is coming through, and I am it. I am the hell. I'm coming through, and I'm bringing hell. That's what I'm. That's what I meant to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Well, uh, I think it's going to be a dark day. That's what um, I think. What's happening here in Merritt, and how they're trying to do the whole clip-on tie thing which is very interesting and throwing weight around and all that. Do you guys have the clip-on tie problem in your city? Let me know what you guys think. I hope they let her go. If not... <laughs> Did you ever get stuck in traffic before? Were you ever molested by the police in such a way? Let me know. Um, so that's one video on this 39 video playlist here. Being threatened, $500 reward. A uh, ton of one-star reviews. Again, merit harassment. So he runs some sort of business. I don't know what his business is. We'll probably figure that out in the course of this. But he runs a business. 
and I guess getting one star reviews constitutes harassment. This guy seems like a one of a, a real, a real, a real, in, a real individual. That's what I. That's what I gotta say. Um, a real user. YouTubers, Mike Martin's here. Okay, I mean, I said the other one should be a soy jack, but like the video starts with this, and and then this. And then just YouTubers. Mike and Martin's here. I mean, his whole head shape, really. To Mike Martin's channel. Not a bully stream. Man, do I have ever such a cool video to throw up for you guys? You guys know I've been being harassed in town for the longest time. It's been, it's been basically. I opened it. Well, it might not have been a wig. He might have shaved his head uh, at some point between then and now. But I mean, he also he looks like the pro. He legitimately looks a, a little bit like the pronouns guy. I mean, it's the. It's the weight and the no hair and the like, just you know, baby esque physique. You know, a company or my little game store here. It's similar, basically, to another store in town. And I've been receiving so much junk. Chat member, he does not look like a sodding tick attack. Come on now, his head is far too round. He looks more like a a a a a, 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 a raisin. Uh, perhaps an Altoid? Uh, just fake accounts, getting flipped the bird, getting told off, blah blah blah. Well, recently, I received a cease and assist document. Here it is, right- You wanna try that one again, buddy? Received a cease and assist document. Cease- uh, so, so you have to cease, but they will assist you in ceasing. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's helpful of them. <laughs> that's, that's- that's- that's nice. Here it is, right here. The cease and desist that I received oh, 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 okay. by the other game store owner. Basically telling Game me store owner? Oh, so he runs like a fucking game store. So he he runs I mean, I don't know if that's video games or like card games or whatever. I see toys back there. That looks like yeah, that's Marvel Legends, like action figures. Yeah, Hasbro and everything, so it's probably like a video game shop, I guess, in in Merit and and, uh, uh, yeah, man, shit, no, there's every chance that I could've- Man, depending on where he's fucking placed, I might've even, even passed by his store on a bus at some point in time, <laughs> shit. Stop doing what he's been doing to me. It makes absolutely no Probably sense. Probably D- Well, yeah. I, do they sell- do- do a lot- do D&D type stores sell, like, action figures? That feels like more of a GameStop, like, video game store type of thing, but I- I- I guess- I guess tabletop stores could also sell that, yeah, maybe. Let me tell you what I'm being accused of now. What's he accused of? I'm being accused of making that up to make him look bad. Now, here's okay, the thing. Okay, okay, okay. Of making that up to make him look bad. Now, <laughs> he's... <laughs> he's even doing the, the gape mouth point away from the screen thing. <laughs> <laughs> I said soy jack as a joke, but come yeah, on yeah, now. <laughs> I have camera footage of me being served by the plaintiff docket in the crown of Canada and the colonies of Canada by some guy on that camera right there. And then the whole camera footage doesn't delay. It's just a straight clip. Me going around, opening it, reading it, and then making a YouTube video for you guys. Well, it definitely appears to be a tabletop store. We can see the, the store here. He's got board games. He's got the better kind of board games. I, uh, I, uh, I uh, heard that referred to, like, Monopoly is board games, and then, like, ta Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons or whatever. That's the, the good kind of board games. Um, uh, so that, that appears to be what he's selling, card games and things like that. Cod games on Ting. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what he would be doing to get a one-star review, or, uh, like, get bombarded with that. That's what we clicked on the video for, was tons of one-star reviews again. And now he's talking about how he's, like, something about cameras and, and illegal documents. I'm, like, not fo fucking following with what he's trying to get at here. And then it sat here on my, on my counter. So I'm being accused of making that up. Of creating that out of nowhere. So anyways, let me show you guys now what's been happening. Okay, so here it is. There's my shop, public post. 
So, I get a lot of one-star reviews. Uh, somebody's like, I'm a poor man's mat, mat, uh, mat at the internet. I guess that's M-A-T-I. I, uh... I am not really trying to do that exactly, you know? Uh, so I guess that's true. I'm also a poor man's, like, like lazy game reviews, I, I suppose. Uh, because I'm not really trying to do that either, so... Yeah, that's, that's valid. There's so, my but, shop but please, please don't spam anymore, thank you. Post. So, I get a lot of similar, one-star reviews similar, lately. Similar, but not the same. And there's Y2K Trucker, and if you go on the Mirror to Harass... Okay, Y2K Trucker... Mary Gilroy. So the these Mary are his. Oh, these are his bad reviews. I mean, he's got like a good rating. He's got a good rating. So I don't know why he's complaining. He's like whining about a bunch of one star reviews. He's got like an overall a very positive rating. I'm not sure why he's complaining. This is a whole genre of person which I'm very fa fond of. I'm very fascinated by these people. Um, the, the people that like run a business or they work at a business or whatever. And then they, if they ever get like a bad review on, you know, Yelp or Google or wherever, they will like fight you and call you racial slurs. <laughs> like that is a whole thing, especially, uh, strip clubs. I think there were, I think Gus Johnson of all people, he used to do videos, uh, looking at, uh, looking at like strip club reviews and shit. And it was like people leaving reviews uh, at strip clubs, and then the fucking owner would be like, yeah, you were a cunt, and you had to be thrown out because you were being an asshole, and, like, all this stuff. Um, and there's, like, drama, and that's not just strip strip joints, you know, but uh, clearly clearly demonstrated here, These there's these people who will just, if you leave them a negative review on their thing, they will, they will be like, I remember you! I remember you! You came in with that t-shirt! You know, like, they, they take it very personally. Uh, and that's appears to be what's happening here. Again, overall, very positive review. It is. It seems to be that thing of, like, the one or two negative reviews stick with you for some reason. But I guess the, the, full, the first, like, minute and a half of this video are, like, unrelated to, I, I guess, to any of the rest of this. I mean, the video is about the one-star reviews. Now we get into what I clicked on, which is... More or less the Iron Wrath thing. That's basically also what he did, was just, like, finding a mean comment and dedicating a 20-minute video of, like, this is what's wrong with society. <laughs> and, uh, you know, going all spider-punk on them. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, so positive reviews, but he's got some negative ones. There's my shop, public post. So, I get a lot of one-star reviews lately. And there's Y2K Trucker. So... Went in with my boyfriend and he had, and had to sit for almost 30 minutes waiting, not because blah blah blah, with customers, but because he was complaining about other people posting a art something about, article I guess about him, which if he knew even, the, I don't know. So the guy was like whining about being harassed or something and didn't help the customers. And then he's like, I love it, you could do better than that. So I guess that's, he's I guess he's implying that that's not true. But if that is in any way true, then that's a, not a very good response from the owner, and it doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. This looks weird. Like, j the, the optics of the thing. Like, anybody who doesn't know your perspective. If, like, if, if he's saying, oh, this isn't, this is this, this didn't happen, nobody was sitting for 30 minutes, I, I'm prompt, and blah blah blah, maybe he says more than that. But, like, all we see here, without clicking more, maybe he clicks more later. All we see at the moment is just, like, him dismissing this, like, fucking loser, idiot. Which is not the best. So, I get a lot of one-star reviews lately. Walked in, the owner was trash-talking another person in town. Real anger issues. Uh-huh. And then he just ran- he just links one of his, like, insane YouTube videos, I guess. I, that'll clear it up, I'm sure. I'm sure that'll do it. You'll- you'll click on it, it'll be like, HOW TO WIN THE MASK WAR! ALSO UPDATE ON THE HATERS! And you just like, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And there's Y2K Trucker, and if you go on the Mirror to Harass- Okay, Y2K Trucker... Mary Gilroy... Overpriced and poor- So, again, is this the same link, even? Hang on. 4XKKG... Y2K Trucker, and if you go on the Mirror to Harass- Okay, Y2K Trucker... Or XKKG. Yeah, he's just linking them the same video. 
some... I guess he knows about, like, specific bad people in town who are harassers, who are gang-stalking him. Gilroy! Dick Hard. I can't even say that, because my channel will get flagged. Oh, no, it fucking That's... won't, you bus and then pussy. Mike Boner. Mike Boner the other day? Mike Boner. You can say Mike Boner, but you can't say Dick Hard. What the fuck? My channel will get flagged. What is with this persecution complex? I mean, I'm a fucking YouTuber. I mean... Shit. Uh, we, we're the most persecuted of all the, the races, frankly. Uh, you know, Susan and whatnot. You know how it is. Copyright. Uh, you know, I get that you're a YouTuber, and so you're, you know, persecuted in that way, but you don't have to be that... It's not that serious. Keeps revising it. This place is a ghost town. I don't know how Mike stays afloat. If you're looking for a real establishment with real credentials, go to the... Game grid and merit, both prices, and more experience with games. More well, experience could, with games. So you could probably type better than you can probably read better than you. Better prices and more experience, not both prices. And the place is a ghost town, so there's photos. I guess. I mean, yeah, the day you went in, there might not have been anybody there. That's perhaps not a, a valid critique. He basically took a a, a, a a screenshot of one of my videos. I'm talking about him in it. And so what I've been doing, I've been really smart. Oh, have you? I go here, check out Mike Boner in the Merit Harassment Series. Now, what's the Merit Harassment Series now? So here it is here. This is the Merit Harassment Series. So this is my th my 49 video playlist about how the society is out to get me and all of this cyberbullying and everybody hates me. Don't worry. I'm sure that'll clear everything up. I'm sure that'll clear up everything. So, here it is here. This is the Merit Harassment Series. Uh, uh, uh so yeah. they're all in here. Look, who is Y2K Trucker? Who is Alfred? Who is Y2K? And they're, they're all in here. And threatening my family. And non-stop harassment. Chat, stop yicking it up. It's not time to yick yet. You'll know when it's fucking time to yick. And... And it's it's nonstop. Why? I gotta get a. I gotta get a. I gotta get a little. What's his name from Yik, PNG, to just have in the corner, just every now and then. It, if it, you know what, if if a video starts getting really pretentious and up its own ass, like we've been getting a lot of those lately, just get a little Alex. I think that's his name, right? Alex from Yik. Just get one of him. Truckers there again. Why to kid? Who is Mike Boner? This was from a few months ago. Then he resurfaced. Then my ceased and desist, Mike Boner's back. It does not end. This Mike person Boner. does not end. He doesn't stop. So, so I mean, he is saying that this is like a concern, uh, 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 a trolling campaign. You know, Mike Boner is is repeatedly trolling him, uh, and that this person leaving comments is one of these people that's been trolling him. You know, so uh, maybe there's proof of that. But on the outset of it, I mean, the whole thing, it's like, I, it's one of those things where it's like, whoa, hey, I don't even give a shit. You know, I live in the city now, right? This guy's like a small towner, but I live in the big city now. And, you know, I was out last night, there was a whole art thing going on all over the city. I was doing some walking, I was looking at, I was out and about. And, you know, there were a lot of crazy people that were just, like, doing crazy shit and being crazy. And I just, you, you, you know, you quickly learn to just... You know, you pay attention to them as best you can, because it's hilarious, but you, 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 you try to just, you try to just, like, you know, whoa, I don't care if you're right or they're right or what's going on, why you're fighting in this alley, what the fuck happened, I don't really, I, ultimately, does it matter to me who's in the right here? No, I don't think I'm gonna be rewarded either way for sticking around, so it's, it's that kind of thing of, like, you know, you just, you click on the reviews, you see that there's all this random, like, harassment shit, and, like ha ha ha! You're 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 not really a negative comment. You're hara a targeted gang stalking harassment, and you're just like, okay, never mind. I'm gonna go to the fucking games workshop six blocks that way. I guess in Merritt, BC, you might not have that many options. But I think some other one of the one of the comments said that there was another option. Maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's all a campaign uh, organized by the uh, the enemy game store in town. That is like trying to sell settlers of Catan at, at like at like a, a better rate, but they're like, oh, 
We have to get out. We have to beat that guy somehow. That guy that looks like heels versus babyface. We gotta do an organized gang stalking troll campaign on his Google reviews. That'll do it. Here it is, Y2K trucker. And walked in. The owner was trash talking another person in town. But then you go to Y2K's trucker reviews, <clears throat> right? Here's Murray Gilroy. He writes a five-star review on the other... What, what is wrong with Nuit Blanche? I mean, it was shit. I'll tell you, it was pretty shit. <laughs> it was... The first event that I saw was the only good one. People in chat are like, I know you're better than this or something. I don't know what the problem with it is. But I quickly learned because the first one that I saw, it was this cool thing where there was, like, lights. It was, like, colorful lights on these, like loom things and it was like this weird laser light show with uh, with uh, i was about to say autistic music with ambient music <laughs> and it was great it was really interesting and then the uh, well that wasn't but the thing is i should have known because that wasn't the first one that i saw the first one that i saw was on the way into that building uh and they it was some sort of weird pink and blue flower shit that was supposed to represent like trans queer identity and then from that point on after i saw the nice laser light show thing virtually every other thing that evening was like some fucking on the nose like thing about like social change which is exactly as great as you expect it would be uh one of them was literally just a giant pit of trash in the ground and when i was there and i was like is this the thing or is this just construction and somebody behind me two people were like this can't be it, right? No, there's no way this is the event. And I just smiled and I just walked along. Uh, there was a there was one thing that I saw that was literally just a table of spices. And there was an Indian lady that was doing security. And a white guy came up and he started naming off the spices and, and asking her, Is that right? Is this the right one? Because it was like supposed to be an Indian themed event or something i don't know and i could just imagine she was very uncomfortable uh there was a giant bird's nest on the ground that was just like a bunch of fucking straw in a circle and that was pretty stupid um most of them were stupid almost everything that i saw was stupid except the first thing and then there was like some things where i was like okay that's you know there's like some paintings or whatever you know there were some things that were fine <laughs> i guess but yeah i can't get over the giant pit of trash in the ground maybe i am too good for nui blanche actually yeah maybe you're right um let me see uh ambient music autistic music yeah um boomer tear drama i mean yeah it basically is as far as we can tell i don't know Oh yeah, there was just a giant com concrete pit. It was like at downtown city. It was at city hall. It was, and I legitimately thought like, were they, are they just? This is like where they build uh, the ice skating rink or whatever, and they just like, you know, it's in transition to the next thing. No, it was something something climate change something something. It was like there was just trash and like fucking d mud and dirt and shit and and like it was it was like half finished construction. And this was art. This was art, everybody. I, I, I don't know. I'm sure you're really saying something with... I, it was just a thing of like, wow, I'm so stunning and brave. You really said something about climate change, just like the other 17 things that I just saw. Amazing. I had such a unique, bold take. I can't, I can't take it. And then once it writes a one star. But this guy does not exist now why am i bringing up mary For tourists and teenagers who don't know better well it was free i overall i had a fun time i think i'm good on this video by the way i, I don't know this guy seems interesting but i think we will move on to some suggestions here he's got more harassment videos he's got i mean he does have a video here called how i escaped the mike martin's cult he's got a lot of videos i mean shit god don't open a business in Merit, BC. Bullied in Merit. Leave me alone. Stop it. Mike Martin's fraud. This guy's a whole rabbit hole, but we're going to come back to this at some other time. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get into some some suggestions here. Petition to get Mike out of town. Oh, that'd be a good one. Um, let me see here. Uh, well, two bucks from a lady class. Look at Quebble Cop. I, I'm good. I don't need to look at Quebble Cop. I... I, I Never in my life need to watch Quebble Cop, uh, if I can avoid it. Uh, and as far as I know, I can. By my own 
As far as I can, as uh, by my own power, I will not watch Quibble Cop. Uh, that's 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 one uh, one one horizon I won't uh, I won't cross. Uh, Ten bucks from Takao No Cash. Long time no super ch super chat. Haven't had the extra cash to do this in uh, no cash. I guess uh, haven't had the the extra cash to do this in the last couple years due to work issues. But I've been watching strong. Just wanted to throw you a little dollars now that I can. Well, that's yeah, that's fine. Uh, welcome. You know, I hope you've been enjoying all the while. You know, glad to th glad to hear things are on the uppity up, up, uppity up. Uh, uh, you know, I hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, one salty bowl became a, me uh, a member. I hope you don't regret it. Uh, two bucks from Get That Griff. Can we watch Little Light Studios? Also, what's up? What is up, YouTube? Well, I don't know what Little Light Studios is. But, uh, well, let me take a look here. Little Light Studios. Uh, okay, I have to move my controller off of the top of my computer because it's making, like, a fucking chainsaw noise. Uh, this definitely looks like an interesting channel, but before we- Oh, it's a faith-based media ministry that has a passion- Oh. Oh, this is not the way you want to- Uh-oh. This is not the way you want to to write this. <clears throat> Little Light Studios is a faith-based media ministry that has a passion for young people. We aim to open con young p conversations about difficult subjects and share biblical insights on reg uh, relevant issues. You will find Little Light Studios productions both eye-opening eye and asshole-opening <laughs> and thought-provoking. It is our goal to inspire our audience to deeper the relation, deepen the relationship with D Jesus, and I'm sure deepen something else, and to draw close to God through diligent study of the inspired word. Uh, we love creativity, and we are constantly exploring new avenues. Yep, I mean... Uh, you know, some might say, uh, virgin avenues that you're exploring. That's true. The, uh, over at Little Light Studios, uh, not a bully stream. You'll want to subscribe to this channel and we know you will be blessed. Well, you know, we are now currently blessed with a fucking Sangi, so that's a real shame. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. All right. All right. There he is. All right. He's, 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 he's back there. He's, he's hiding. He's, he's, but he's there. Uh, and we'll look at this. And we will look at this in a moment or two. We'll come back to that. We will come back to that. Um, the, uh, I mean, man, geez, this is ominous. The banner is exposed darkness in this, like, neon thing. We'll come back to this, but before we do, Griff was the one who suggested it, and I know you're always... You were the one who suggested the uh, Astro Boy video that uh, was turned into a, uh, uh, a live clip recently. And so that reminds me that uh, Astro Boy Productions apparently has like an apology uh, video, which is probably is it on his community tab? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, where have I seen this before? Okay. Well, we're gonna read this real quick. Just it's don't worry, it's not too long. Just let me get some music queued up for it. Um, let me just get some. Uh, so let me get some, um, let's see. Um, what would fit here? Maybe like a, let's see, one of, one of these, maybe, maybe one of these. Hang on. Hang, hang on. I got to find the right music. You, you don't get to hear. Let me just, is it, is it, is it this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will work. This will work. This will be. This will. This will be good. Um, uh, let me just. Let me just. Here. Here we go. This is Astro Boy Productions. Um, uh, apology, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, let me just. Um... Hey everyone, look guys, I know some of you out there are upset that we ranted on a 15 year old girl named anime VTuber Catboy Josue Me, but listen, what I'm trying to say here is that I'm sorry for all the things I've done here. I hope you guys can forgive me. Sorry, the music's not loud enough yet? Hang on, hang on. Hang on. 
Um, it was a mistake of me doing this mess, and I shouldn't have done that. It's just that I'm tired of all the drama, and I just couldn't take it anymore. I just wanted to have peace and have a lovely time with my friends, with with my friends and family. I hope you all would understand of how I feel about this. And this is a sorry message to anime v ca VTuber Catboy Josue Me. Hey, anime VTuber Catboy Josue Me. If you received this, I'm sorry for what I did to you in the past few months. I should have have shouldn't have done that to you from the start. From the moment I saw your nice comments on one of my videos. Nice comments? Well, wait, they, hang on, hang on. What the fuck? This started with them being nice to you. With your nice comments on one of my videos, you were very cool. But when you made those hate videos about me, what did you do to deserve that? A Astro Boy, Astro Boy, what did you? You didn't even ever mention that they started out by being nice to you. What the fuck? <laughs> you fucking user. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> this, they were nice to you, so that only implies to me now. I am absolutely certain that you just, you guys were just weird cunts, and then they were, this, this, this kid was like, yeah, I don't like them, they're weird and bullies, and I don't like them, and, and then they were proven right, and now this happened. Uh, sorry, sorry, I mean, <clears throat> what I mean is, um, um, but then you made those hate videos about me, my friends, and SOK. It led us to a meltdown. We were led to a meltdown by, like, uh, remember it was at the end of that video, he said it was like a few days worth of comments. They'd been leaving comments for a couple of days. So that that was the, that was real, I feel, I feel like it was a real tenuous fucking relationship at that point. Feel like it was real, uh, uh, real... Real, uh, real, real easy to break, you know? Um, I thought you were an awesome YouTuber that makes great content on your channel. And that's why I said that I hate you and all of your content. I hope you can forgive me and my friends like that one who told you to kill yourself. If you don't want to forgive me and my friends, that's fine. I hope that you'll have a better time of your life to make positive contents your channel. And I hope that things would change back to happiness between us. I hope you'll understand. For that, we want to help you make your channel grow and have peace of your own. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. I think you can maybe just fuck right off from this person entirely. Maybe it, just don't try to help them or maybe just, maybe just don't do much of, I, I don't know, man. I just, Everyone, you want to go check on anime VTuber Catboy Josue Me. Go to her channel and help her make it grow just like you do. You notice how it's her now because I pointed out that it was... It's, it appears, as far as I could tell anyway from what we saw, it appears to be a girl. From what That might be like one of their friends or something. Uh, well, I'm not really sure. But it appeared to be a girl. And now, now it's no longer this user, this user... He or her, him or her, he or she, they or them, it's, it's her now. Um, help her make it grow just like you did ours. We need to have a better life for us, the power to change and make peace for everyone to have a better life and a chance to make things right. So from now on, we're not gonna be dealing with any more drama between me, my friends, and anime, this user. So please, let's have a better li a life and move on from our past mistakes and have peace, no, no end to that sentence. There's no end to that sentence. So it's peace, but the sentence remains unfinished. So, you know, really, it's sort of like a unity. It's sort of like unity when they apologize for their thing. They can still change the fucking agreement out from under you at any time. The rest of this sentence has yet to be written. He can go and have peace as long as you are willing to do everything that we say and, and submit to our demands, you know? Um, yeah, not a very good apology. Would you guys say this is, you know what? I'm going to make a poll. You know what? Hang on. I'm going to make a poll. I'm going to make a poll. There's going to be a poll. There's a poll happening in chat. Uh, better or worse apology. I know we're not doing, we're not doing Colleen. We're not doing, this is not, this is obviously a better apology than fucking Colleen Ballinger. This wasn't even an apology, but 
Was this better or worse than the than the dogs eating dog six non apology, where he was like, "I'm very sorry for bullying Family Guy and kids," um, because I feel like this is maybe a little worse in different ways. I feel like I don't know. I'm don't let me sway you. I think because dogs eating dog six had two apologies, right? So it's not it's not even really fair, but it, fuck it, the poll is there. He had two apologies. He had the text one, which was kind of not great, but then he had the video one, which had like sad story music, and he was like, "I'm very sorry," and it was it was really obvious that he wasn't. Um, Astro Boys, this is a much shorter post than the one that uh, Dogs Eating Dog Six had. It is still leading. People are saying it's worse, better or worse, but then we have two options. What does this poll mean? Better or worse apology? Oh, yeah, no, I guess I didn't really vo voice it that well. Well, you know what it means. Better apology, I guess we're going to Astro. I think we're going to Astro better. I don't know. The, the fucking poll is meaningless. I think the poll is meaningless. I, I, I beans the poll. I beans the poll. But the point is, is that Astro Boy's apology was, was, not, was not great. It wasn't a very good, it wasn't a very good apology. Uh, it was, uh, it was rather, uh, it, it shorter. It was shorter than the dogs eating dog sex one. Uh, it was shorter than that one, but it was, uh, it, it was also, uh, you know, um, it was very meaningless, empty words. I mean, you, you, you lead into how you were, they were being nice to you before, and then you were just randomly shitting on them for some reason. You made, like you say, you made those hate videos about me. So you mean to tell me that this person that we know next to nothing about, and we've seen almost nothing from, we just have to assume that they were being nice and then randomly decided to hate you guys? Um, meanwhile, we've seen you fake fucking texts about this person to make them look bad or something. I don't know, man. Not a good apology. Not a very good apology. I, uh, I, I feel like the, I feel like the dogs eating dog six one is like a little worse. You know what? Fuck it. I'm remaking the poll. We beans the poll, but I'm going to remake the poll. Okay. Be better apology. I'll just, I'll, be better apology. Dead six or Astro. Go, go, go. Because I'm saying... I think it's Dogs Eating Dog 6 has the worse apology. I think it would be Astro, because it is a little bit less patronizing. But again, he has... At, Dogs Eating Dog 6 has two apologies. He has two apologies. So he has the video where it's really insincere, and then he had the text post that he took down that was also kind of insincere. But it was like that one was... I would say that one alone was a little better than this one, but I don't know if it was better though, because it was longer, but it was that whole thing where he seemed to think that making fun of Family Guy loudly was on par with him yelling at kids and like naming and shaming these children. And he was like, I'm very sorry about being mean to Family Guy, as if that was like really the problem at all. I mean, even though I did put it in the title, but it was like, you know, uh... <laughs> Astro Boys is not good though. N make, make no mistake, it's not good. It's shorter, but it says nothing. It, uh, I mean, the fucking majority of the apology is just him saying the name of the user instead of just saying this. You know, I like this user. I think we gotta stick with that, because that's just succinct. That's just a very succinct way of referring to these people that have, like, fucking John Smith Toy Story 2 and fucking Pixar pixels uh, whatever fan 2001 in their in their username like you know uh just just call them this user that's probably better than some of these some of these names so so the apology is mostly that chat looks yeah oh boy 50 50 both kind of suck in different ways yeah mm. I'd say Astros is a little better just a little just a little by virtue of maybe because it's not as long he doesn't have as much time to shoot himself in the foot but let us let, let us not forget chat members but astro boy had incriminating evidence in his apology that made us all fucking shake our heads and and go nani nani the fuck because apparently this this user was being nice to him and his friends before any of this started so 
I don't think Dogs Eating Dog 6's apology raised eyebrows in that way. As far as apologies go, it, it was, like, insincere, but it didn't raise more questions. I don't know. That might, that might push it over the edge for me. I think, yeah, a little bit. I haven't seen Astros. Well, it's on screen. Again, most of it is the fucking name of the user. Like, multiple times. And it's just, we want you to be happy and great. It's just literally, oh, hey, all those things that we said, uh, I, they're all lies and we were wrong. Sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I was just kidding. That's, that's, that's what it is. Uh, you know that hour-long edited video that I made with multiple collaborations from other people who all signed off on this and then had a, you know, had, had comments enabled and everybody was positive about it? Yeah, I was just kidding. This is just a joke. None of that stuff. I didn't mean any of that. So, anyway, that's Astro Boy. Anyway, let's get on to the pedophile. Uh, I mean, uh, not, it's not, it, not necessarily. This is, um, probably not. Not ale ale allegedly is in all around. This is Little Light Studios, a faith-based media ministry that has a passion for young people. And, uh, other suggestive wording, like deepening their relationship and, you know, constantly exploring new avenues. Maybe I'm reaching, but so are they. <laughs> um... Uh, just reaching for different things. Um, let me see here. Just prominent, prominentize that sangi a little bit. Just bring him out. Bring out the color in his and he cheeks a little bit. Um, videos. We got a video about Sound of Freedom. Uh, dark Origins of Namor. Predators, groomers, human traffickers. Sex for favors. Secrets. Cover-ups. I'm Jesse Ventura. Three, three essentials to make any ministry successful. Evil spirit attacked me in the woods. From gangsta to gospel. Oh. The true reality of homelessness. Um, God's love is controversial. Satanic panic. Barbie's hidden messages. Okay. Oh, there's an Illuminati symbol, ladies and gentlemen. That's cool. Protect trans kids. Oh, I'm sure they love that. Um, schools ban Bible as porn. What? What? Okay, I guess we should click on that. This one sounds interesting. I'm going to get my colleague's reaction on something that just got released in the news. There's a meme I've been thinking about a lot lately. A viral tweet. What is this? Okay, this is on uh, like MSNBC. That reads, and I quote, I never thought leopards would eat my face, sobs woman who voted for the leopards eating people's faces party. Uh, well, um... Okay. With the holy book this in one. just like, I don't know if I want to do like another politics religion thing right now. I've been playing so much D Disco Elysium, dude. I need a break from politics. I need a break from fascism and communism for just like a little bit, dude. Gender Babylon. Ah, gender Babylon. Uh, normalizing pedophilia. Okay. Well, I mean, you guys do have a, pa a passion for the youth or whatever. Uh, Dark Origins of Peter Pan, Witchcraft, uh, The New Jesus, Hunger Games Are Mocking God, Forky the Transgender Sport. Alright, fine, fine. What is this? Oh, 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 fair use disclaimer. Well, remind you, reminder that this video, that this stream is fair use. Eat a dick. Oh, we can end the poll now, by the way. I guess Dogs Eating Dog 6 technically has the better apology. Like, at least for my own reasoning, it's because... Why are we in fucking... Presenta cum down here, that's cool. Um, uh, at least for my own reasoning, it's mostly because <clears throat> his apology didn't make me go, wait, wait a second, and reanalyze things. Which is, yeah, the Astro Boy apology just made him look more guilty and more questionable, so, yeah. Um, it's interesting. I guess that... so did the fucking the, the Dogs Eating Dog 6 apology was, the, the video one especially, was so fake. Like, it was so phony that, I don't know, maybe they're both, yeah, they are just about as bad, both of them.
The ending of Toy Story 3 has the toys accepting their fate of fiery destruction, but are then redeemed by three alien saviors. That's a whole different topic in itself, and we're working on covering that in our upcoming alien and UFO documentary, so be on the lookout for that. Oh boy, I'm fucking excited, don't get me started. But the newest teaser for Toy Story 4 caught our attention when they appear to be dancing in a circle. This is before Toy Story 4 even came out, so are we going to be drawing wacky assumptions about the character here? in the clouds of heaven as a new character Based enters on, the like screen and screams trailer. in panic saying I don't belong here people are at oh because is that why that's the reason trans wow wow people are really reading this this trans stuff into just fucking everything now shit I mean it's whether you're whether you're down with that or against it it's just like, what the fuck? My toast came out wrong. It's not, it's, it's halfway between toasted and untoasted. Like, a, like trans. Oh my God. And, and like, whether you're into that or not into that, you've, 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 you've now, you've just drawn your assumptions about Asking it. Asking the question, why does Forky feel that he doesn't belong in what appears to be heaven? Current day! I couldn't help but notice that Forky is actually not a fork, but a spork, which is neither a fork or a spoon, but oh a combination of both. You might- Yeah, this feels like something, like you could just read, you could literally just make this exact video. I mean, there's probably going to be stuff later that's about how this is, like, brainwashing kids or something, but, like, up until this point, anyway, you could so far just make this exact video, but have it be, like, a, t a Tumblr girl with, like, pur purple hair and a bunch of piercings and way too much makeup, and she looks like she really wants attention, and her opinions look like she really wants attention, and she's like, um, yeah, it's a spark which represents, and it would be, like, literally the same script. And it would just, it would be identical. It would be, like, it would just, you would not even be able to tell that anything would be off. At least for up to, up to now. This just, this level of, like, reaching and, like, oh, okay, all right, I, I guess that's a thing you can interpret from it, I, I suppose. I'm not gonna take that away from you, but, but all right then. Say Forky is utensil fluid. Okay. You may think we are reaching here, but coincidentally, Forky has a rainbow sticker on his. Like you could just tell me that this is a fucking. You could just tell me that this is like a fucking Lindsay Ellis video, and I would believe you. Left foot, which just happens to be the official colors that represent the LGBT community. Also, the spork itself is iconic in the trans community, as well as the name of a movie about a 14-year-old hermaphrodite girl who's. I mean, okay, in that case you know fine i guess maybe there's a thing there trying to find where she fits perhaps they're doing a thing there Ten. who knows i'm a 14 year old girl i haven't fucking seen the movie maybe it's like really ham-fisted maybe it's in there or i wouldn't put it past toy story 4 based on what i have fucking seen in that movie they're actually a hybrid girl and boy and as hollywood loves to do well, yeah, there is a rainbow though so that really conf confirms it i mean as we all know the sky is gay because, I mean, you think about it, the sky, you know, it, uh, it, it likes to come all over our faces, and probably a lot of us are dudes, you know? So there you go. It's gay. It's very gay. shows a Christian group rejecting her. What's your name, sweetie? Spork. Hmm. That's an interesting name. Why do they call you that? <laughs> I really don't think someone like you would make a very good addition. What is the what is the point of this? We're now getting copyright claimed by this fucking movie or whatever. That's cool. Um so so yeah, Spork, all right. I mean, the sure again, this just is it's just all you've confirmed to me is that there sure are a lot of people in this world who will just cre who will just read a lot into things um <laughs> for th whether they want to, whether they like it or don't like it, they'll read things into things and, and they'll, um, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just funny how much we're seeing that, that lately of just people like, wow, you really are just like the exact type of person that would be on the other side screaming about the exact same thing, even in some of the same ways. And I, it's just, it's kind of funny that, like, the lines blur to some extent. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to do too much, like, political religion channel. That's fine. There's there's probably some stuff here. Um, let's see. 
Five bucks from Darks93. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Claw becomes a moralist in DE. No. No, again, once I talked to the guy and he, the responsibility guy, and he was like, yeah, you know, we've got a giant fucking ship in the sky that monitors all of our conversations, and I, for one, think that it makes me feel feel comfortable and secure. I feel very secure in the spinach. Um, and, uh, you know, I was like, hmm, yeah. Which is a thing where I'm like, I, I don't know, I guess that's the, the, there's a, there's an element of, like, radical moralism to it, where it's like any, to any degree too much of something, you know, you can be a little bit of a moralist, or a little bit of a communist, or fascist, or whatever, just a little bit of a fascist, just a little bit. I think my guy currently, I've got, like, uh, for responses, I've got 11 communist, 5 fascist, 11 ultra liberal and then like I was like 15 or so like like moralist so there you go left left wing dork strikes again but uh, I'm also going for the uh, apocalypse slash uh, uh, superstar cop route so you know that's the important thing um, let's see uh, two bucks from oofies with two eyes I met a meth head at 4 a.m. last night it was scary well, that sounds unfortunate. I was nearly stranded at the fucking bus station because they stopped the buses. And I was like, I mean, I could have got an Uber, but like, I was, I, I, that was, I was very, I was very tired and there were weirdos around and there was a guy, but another guy who was probably fine because he didn't do anything. He was, he was like drunk or something. He was like, hey, is the bus is not coming? And I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. I and uh, you know, yeah, you don't want to. You you want to. You want to be home safely, locked in, locked inside your house uh, when 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 the when the freaks get, come out. Uh, you want to be watching the freaks on t on on YouTube. Uh, five four eighty nine from Exile Postman suggestion: homeless people rant by a fluffy goomba. All right. Homeless people rant. Um, a fluffy Goomba. All right. Well, there's an interesting one. It's a small channel, 218 views, 10 years ago. Uh, well, number 104, homeless people rant. And the description just says rant. I'm fucking getting sick of homeless people. Bet you didn't. Sick and tired of homeless. What's the What's the song? Sick and tired of all those hobos crying out for change or something like that. Expect me to say some shit like that. What's up, guys and dolls? Your boy Christian here, Goomba, and I am fucking angry. I'm fucking upset at Aww. homeless people right now because <laughs> these motherfuckers. I don't get them. I don't. I don't fuck. It's fucking freezing out. It's how, how how cold is it right now? It is 16 degrees outside right now and. And motherfuckers still want to hang around fucking McDonald's asking me for fucking money. Bitch, if I'm going to McDonald's, I'm not fucking trying to spend money on you. I'm trying to fucking spend money on me. I'm hungry. I don't fucking got food in my house. Shit. Yeah, how inconsiderate of them. <laughs> Why didn't they think about you? You're... So hard done by. It's cold out, for God's sakes. You don't want to be standing out in that. You want to get back into your car and go back to your home. Fuck that guy. Why doesn't he go back to his home, loser? I'm fucking sick of it, because I, I used to tolerate it. I used to tolerate it, but okay. Always begging for change. It's fucking annoying, but I'm not going to say shit. But this is fucking blowing my mind. This is it. I'm fucking done, homeless people. Next person who asks me for money that's next to a fucking fast food restaurant is going to get slapped in the uvula with a tie iron. I fucking... Somebody says to super chat the the next part of the love quest. Well, I don't know that there's too much to discuss. I kind of already talked about it. He's he is with a girl who people have identified to look somewhat similar to Megan Schroeder. It is most likely it is fucking ninety nine percent not Megan Schroeder, but it confirms that Chris seems to have some form of type, or just it's a random cosmic coincidence. That he found some sort of pe It's weird because people are saying that it's a low functioning autistic girl, but then also saying that it might be like his handler or wrangler or whatever you you, you would say. Which, I mean, I would be willing to assume that a low functioning autistic girl would still be able to wrangle Chris, who is supposedly high functioning. 
better than you know better you know she'd be able to do a better job of living chris's life than chris would but uh th that being said I also don't think Chris would be putting the moves on somebody who's like his fucking government handler or whatever, so I don't think that that's it. Sorry. Oh my god, it's so annoying. And the thing is, like, dude, I, just fucking... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, somebody says they found a video of people, of a kitten falling down the stairs, and it was filled with comments of kitten hate. Now that's gotta be like a meme, right? Cause the monkey hate was the big one, but now there's like there's kitten haters. That's new. There's just ki there's a kitten hate community. I mean, we might need to look into that one when this video is all said and done. But we gotta learn more about what these homeless people did. I think one of them might have fucked his wife. I just, it's so fucking the weird. It's the worst. It it is the worst. It is not good. It just. <sighs> Like I said, like, bitch, like, if I'm going to a store, right, I'm not trying to spend no money on nobody else. Unless it's a friend, unless it's someone I fucking know, then I'm, that's, oh my fucking Jesus what Christ. A strange rant. I mean, it's just very strange, like, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I suppose, yeah, it's annoying to have to... I don't know, I don't really get annoyed with homeless people asking for change. I, is that, I mean, maybe if you have to deal with it every day, you know, and it depends. I mean, there's a lot of fucking homeless people out there who are like, I guess once you're homeless, though, it's like, why even try to be like a noble? Somebody should make a game where you're homeless. I guess Disco Elysium is, technically, but somebody should make a game where it's like, you can be a noble homelessman, homelessman, uh, you know, John Homelessman. Uh, that's your name in the game. You can you could like live in a dumpster and fully embrace the trash lifestyle or you could try to like reform yourself and get a suit and get a job and whatever, get your hair cut. You know, you could like succumb to the drink whatever. You could fucking f have visions in a in a in a gutter somewhere while you're hopped up on mescaline. There's all sorts of possibilities, really. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, and I don't know, personally, I don't, I, I, unless they're being really belligerent and screaming and that sort of thing, it's like, it's, it's, it's hard to get really annoyed at somebody who looks like a fucking, like I saw a guy yesterday on the subway who everybody else, it was like Zoomer Central, everybody had AirPods and fucking Supreme merch and shit, and I'm over here dressed like I, like Ray Romano from the fucking 90s. And, 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 but I, on, in, into the subway walks this guy who's dressed, he looks like, and I mean, I'm not out here to bully a homeless man, but he looked like what you would imagine, like a homeless guy from like, I don't know, Final Fantasy 12 would look like, like a, a medieval pauper. He was in like, like tattered rags and he looked like he'd been stranded at sea for 10 years. He looked like when they got Ollie Queen at the beginning of Arrow when they found him. Like he looked like a, a castaway, and it's like I don't know. Can you really be upset with this guy? Like I don't know. Do you have any fucking empathy for any for another human being at all? Like Jesus Christ. Because if I'm going to the store, I'm going to the store to get me food. I'm not trying to go to the store to get you food. I don't even know you. I don't know you, homeless lady. I don't fucking. Oh, there is a homeless people type uh, simulator. That's right. Yeah, I think Vinny played a little of it. I don't, I don't know if that's exactly what I'm talking about, but you know that would be something worth checking out. It's a valuable game concept. Dude, like, have, have any of you ever had that experience where someone is asking you for money, you don't know them, or you don't like them, or you're you're in front of a you, you go into a restaurant, you go into a diner. A McDonald's, you go to a Burger King, White Castle, whatever. Have you ever like had someone just like come up to you, ask you for money? Like, I went to a Little Caesars, and this 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 dude was like, "Hey, guy, can you spare a dollar?" I was like, "Motherfucker!" And I had I had one Christmas because this dude this dude was younger than me. He was like 12, 13, 14. Bitch, you it's a fucking starving kid outside of a Little Caesars or whatever, and you can't give him a dollar. You're able to go to all these fast food places or whatever, like, frequently enough. You're probably driving some gas-guzzling fucking Hummer or whatever on your freeways. Going to your fucking house. You know, uh, so like, what, 
what are you fucking, what are you f fucking like, you know, you, you might not be rich or anything. You might be like middle class, whatever. I, I say house. He looks like he might be just in like a, an apartment or something. You know, he's probably not living super glamorously or anything, but like, I don't know, to be like this upset about like 12, 13 year old kid, like asking for a dollar for maybe getting a pizza or something. I don't know. Why don't you just, you know, here's the thing, man. I don't know what you do in your life. That's, that's, that's like, you know, uh, maybe your thing, maybe you're a real cool person. All I'm saying is that the road could use more speed bumps. We ain't homeless. Bitch, use your allowance. Fuck you. I ain't going. Bitch, man, I work hard for my money. Shit. Come at me for fucking money. I should slap you across the face with a dildo bat. Saints Row 3, bitch. Oh, yeah, 2013. <laughs> Loving is what I got. I said, remember that. Like, I should slap you in the face with some raisins. Just fuck you, bitch. You're annoying. I hate you. I fucking hate homeless people who do that shit. I don't mind homeless people who ask money on the train or homeless people who have skills. Well, what allowance? What if he's fucking, like, doesn't have parents or something? I mean, this really is just the... The mindset of like, well, if you said that to him, he'd probably be like, shit, I don't know, get a job or something then. And it's like, oh, he's like 12. I don't know. What is he going to fucking do realistically? And and the ultimate answer is like, I don't really know or care. And it scares me that other people have different experiences than mine. Ah! And our artists and shit. And um, I don't mind homeless people who are sitting on the corner. I don't mind that shit. It's just the homeless people that sit in front of restaurants expecting you to give them fucking money because they ask for money in front of a fucking restaurant. I'm trying to use that guilt shit. That guilt shit is on my fucking last nerve. That guilt shit. Because guilt only works if I know you. Like, Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Because I don't know how much they're guilting you. I mean, I suppose that's possible that they're doing that. It might also just be that you are just feeling guilty for being such a prick. That you do have a conscience buried somewhere underneath the Goomba hat. You, you feel guilty for being such a prick. And and you're just like looking at the homeless guy making you feel... And that, and that makes you feel guilty. That's also a possibility. It might not even be anything that they're doing. It might be. But it might also just be that you deserve to feel guilty. Motherfucker, work. Affirmative action. There's soup kitchens all around New York. Because that's where I live. New York City. There are tons of- there's a fucking fuck ton. Okay, oh shit. Have you ever gone to a fucking soup kitchen, for one thing? Do you know if they're like- do you know if they're like- There's a, there's a fucking- There might be like, not any availability. That kid might have already gone to one. That kid might have been kicked out for one reason or another. Uh, you know, there's lots of fucking- people have a lot of stories out there, man. And, you know, it's just because you don't have the money to spare or money's tight or whatever. It's like, you don't have to be mad at the fuck. It's one of my favorite things, actually, in the Disco Elysium game is there's a number of people you could just walk up to and go, Hey, you look pretty rich. Can I have some money? And and you have, like, because you talk to your thoughts or whatever in the game. And your thoughts will be like, why are you doing this? This sounds really stupid. You don't have the, you don't have the, you don't have the confidence to actually ask somebody for money. What the fuck are you talking about? And he's like, no, no, I do. Just, just let me ask her for money. And, uh, yeah, yeah like, <laughs> just, you know, maybe, so and because sometimes you pass that skill check, maybe he, that kid in front of the Little Caesars will get somebody who isn't a complete prick and they'll give him five bucks or something, you know? I mean, not that I give money to every fucking person I, I pass on the street. I, I, I don't think I ever have actually given money to, to anybody on the street. But I'm just saying I'm not, like, horribly annoyed by them and fucking f swatting them away from me and going, EW! STINKY! Just because I, like, see one or something. Fuck ton of, of, um, soup kitchens and homeless shelters for you to be at. Don't be at McDonald's! Don't fucking be, be at a crack house. I don't care. I don't care anymore where you go. I just don't, just don't be where I'm at. That's it. Just don't be where I'm at, please. Wow. That's such a great quote. I'm, who's, who said this in? 
Was this fucking Exile Postman? You rapscallion, you. This video has like 200 views. This is an excellent video. Hats off to Exile Postman right there. That's a quality re That's a quality recommendation. This man, this man just like summing up half of the fucking population of society. More than half. Like, like 80% of the fucking world. Just like, yeah, I don't really care about your problems or why you have them or how we could fix them. Just don't be anywhere near me where I have to think about it. And the little... The funky soul brother in the back of my head tells me to feel guilty about it, about being such a prick as to be as to not care. What a great quote! I love that. That's all I'm asking. Please. That's all I'm asking. That's, 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 that's all he's asking. Oh my god! Oh. I'm finish. I'm gonna get my fucking burger here. Just don't be poor around me. How dare you? Sucks of shit. Like goddamn. The worst people. The worst. the worst homeless. There are groups of homeless. Those are the worst. Those are the absolute worst. The worst, especially when they all group together. I mean, the best thing about them, though, is when they're in groups of, like, a few of them, you can drive into them and get extra points, actually. If it's just one, then they're not worth that much, but it's actually worth it if you go after them when they're in, like, packs. You don't want to be near them on foot, because they'll give you emphysema and necrosis, but if you go and you hit them in your car, you know, you can see them when, they're, when you're driving. You'll get, like, at least 100 points for a pack of, like, five of them. More if there's, like, six, seven, you know, it's, it's, uh, don't do this. This is a joke. This is a Joke. I hate him. Fucking terrible. Fucking terrible. <laughs> what an excellent video. <laughs> That's great. This, is, this, is, this guy, I mean, is that like, that has to be, is that just a joke? Maybe it's a joke. I mean, it could just be a joke. I don't know. Poe's Law and all that. The guy still makes videos. The guy made a video yesterday. Capers TTRPG character. Okay. He he does like Phoenix Wright and stuff. Goomba and Sweet Tea Games play A Way Out. Okay, so he's been playing games and stuff. But if you go to his old shit, he did rants. And I don't know, he did 100, at least 100. That was number 104. He's got a video here. Oh man, being sick is awful. Cheating promises. First love, first kiss. Goomba's daily life. My mom and I. Number 81, sitting on the toilet. That's a good one. He's got one with his favorite TV shows. My first video in 720p. Something to think about. Yeah, number 104 was Homeless People Rant. I think this is just legit because, I don't know, all of his other videos... None of his other videos look, like, outlandish enough that they're... He doesn't look like somebody who's trying to be, like, you know, a troll. He's trying to pro poke buttons. He, he just appears to be, like, you know, making videos. I mean, I don't know. His, his just his opinions and stuff. I mean, I'll show it to you. He does have this one here, something for Sid Snap. Isn't she related to like? Doesn't she? Isn't she married to one of the trash taste people, Sid Snap? This is from eleven years ago, though. What does he have for her? What's up, guys and dolls? Uh, my name is Christian. My friends call me Goomba. Unfortunately, I don't have my hat right now. Because as you can see, I am in. I'm just gonna give you a guess. Give. I'm gonna give you three guesses. Three. Did you guess where I am? Uh, up there is it it's a bathroom stuff is brilliant now <laughs> the reason i'm making this like intro video to this present video for uh, for sit snap is because i saw this on skype and i was like man i would have tried because she asked for someone to help her do it and i was like man i just want to see how i on do skype? terribly with this and i just did you know this person? I did this here in this bathroom. I did this double. Is he saying that he heard this on a video while he was watching that video with someone on Skype? Or is he saying that he knows the Sid Snap person through Skype? Like, did they talk? I, I don't know. That mind you. Back so in the day of fucking Skype. Nowhere near professional quality. It's nowhere near serious comedy at all. It's just me goofing around here in the bathroom because I was bored. And this, I saw that I want to make her laugh. I hope this does. I hope it made me laugh a ton of times what? just looking at, just listening to the footage over and over. I there don't was, know what's happening. I, I, yeah, I'm very confused. I don't know what's going on. He's trying to make Sid Snap laugh by sitting in a bathroom because that's inherently funny, I guess. That show her the homeless rant. I'm sure that that'll really show. That'll really make her 
like you. That'll really it's bad. It's it's bad. It's like it's the room equivalent of dubs to me. That's how bad it is. That so if you've seen the room, this is, is this awful. like in reference to a specific video? Check out Sid Snap if you haven't. The reasons I did this video. I was bored. I was in the bathroom and had nothing better to do. You know, the bathroom is a liminal space. You're kind of in there until you're not. People don't really go and hang out in the bathroom. Unless you're, like, in the tub. Or taking a really long, wicked shit. People aren't really just like, Man, I got nothing to do. I'm gonna go sit around in the bathroom for a little while. That's not a common thing. Um, I'm on Skype way too much, and it was just fun to do such an atrocious job on purpose. A job of what? What are you trying to do? So, this is just a small introduction. It's a minute. I don't give a fuck. Alright, so I'm gonna stop it. Change it. Up. Oh. Okay. Alright, since that, this is the Christian Goomba signing off. Here is your... Christian Goomba. Okay. Present. <laughs> what have you got yourself into? Good day, Miss Oskaka. Oh my god. Sure is nice outside. I'm smoking to your house, I'm smoking to your bro! Why? Oh, Chio, you silly negro! Okay, so is that the point of this? Was that the whole- This whole thing was leading up to... Like this, I think? That's what this all was for, was like he made a meme for her. Maybe she like reviews anime memes or some shit, I don't know. I don't- I've never really watched her. But I knew I know her name. Um, I, I think that might be what it is. But the fucking majority of this video is you sitting in your bathroom for some reason. Um, yeah, he's. Um, I don't think I. I don't. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Well, he has a video. What's up, dipsticks? My name's Knuckles. Hold on. What's up, dipsticks? My name's Knuckles. No, wait, no, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, why is it muted? Eat shit, eat shit, eat fucking shit. What's up, dipsticks? My name's Knuckles. I'm taking over this bitch. This is my channel now. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it. It's mine. Alright? Clear. My, my first video, my channel, my first video on this channel, yeah, it's my video, I said it. First, I'm gonna take a pee, and then I'm gonna come back, and then, we gonna start. He's rapping. Right, we gonna start my video, we gonna start mine, alright? We, we start mine. He's freestyling. I'm back, bitch. I'm back. I'm back. What? Now, on top of my video. What's the point of this? Now, this motherfucking Goomba. His bitch ass wanted to make a video about a story he had. I'm a fuck that. He doesn't deserve a story. It's my time. It's Knuckles time. I'm fucking Knuckles time. I'm here to tell y'all. I'm, I'm here to divulge the secrets from where I come from. From where I come from, we have learned more things about y'all. His homeless beating suit. Oh no. So listen up, alright? This so is... This is what he, he, he wears when he prowls the streets looking for looking for homeless men when he's down at the boardwalk. I'm talking about soda first. Soda is good as shit. But soda companies are cheating you, motherfuckers. I don't know why you don't see it. But these soda companies are cheating you out of money. So here we go. Soda companies? Ginger ale. Sprite. What? Splash of coke. That's it. That's all it is. It's two sodas with one. Which? Oh, Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper oh. is just, uh, freaking Coke and root beer. Now, shut the fuck up. It's not 23 flavors. No. All right, it's not 23 flavors. Okay, sir. No, that, that's just pat patently stupid and wrong. I mean, it's not. Because there's cherry and vanilla, and there's, like, cream soda stuff going on. I've talked about before how it's funny how all of the alternative flavors of, of Dr. Pepper are like things that are just already in Dr. Pepper 
It's like, great, there's a Dr. Pepper that has a little more cherry in it. There's one that has a little more cream soda flavor. There's one that's got a little bit more fucking vanilla. It's, I don't know, it's it's weird that there isn't, like, they can't, I guess, I guess it's such a specific flavor. They're like, if we add anything extra to this, it's not going to be Dr. Pepper anymore. You can't have, like, mango Dr. Pepper, I guess. But now I'm just going off on my own rant. Hang on, sorry, sorry. Motherfucker. Oh no, I fucked up the I fucked up the music. All right, it's fine, it's fine. That's Knuckles' video. Oh, that's Fluffy Goomba. You know, I mean, I I think his homeless rant is is serious enough. I think he uh, at least ten years ago he probably meant that. I don't know if we can hold it against him now as a human being, but you know, ten years again uh, ago he he maybe he maybe had some 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 silly some silly opinions about. Uh, Homeless people. Maybe he still holds. Maybe he holds, he holds true to those opinions. We don't know. Five bucks from Jules Yak. Claw, I know you're too good to bother with New Eat Blanche. You're better than this. No, I mean it was okay. It was okay. It was a little. It was a little preachy. I, overall, I had a good time. It was a nice atmosphere. It was a nice environment. You know, people were out. People were hopping. Things were happening. It's it's cool. It was a cool night, and uh, I, I had a good time. But you know, yeah, the art, the actual exhibits were like. Maybe not the best part of it. <laughs> the best part of it was the the twenty four hour shop, uh, shop that uh, was on Young Street that has um, well, I believe it's still on Young Street, probably at least if nothing's changed in the last twenty four hours. But uh, it was a twenty four hour shop that was that's on Young Street. It had like a bunch of uh, weird sodas and stuff. I got a big red. I got a squirt, uh, and uh, you know it was it was like midnight when I went in there. So that was nice. That was. That was a nice little fun thing to do at midnight, you know. So I had a good time, but it was it was more it was more fun doing that than it was going to the. Uh... Oh yeah, I found like a late night. It wasn't an arcade, but it was a well, it was it was a specifically a claw machine arcade. Um, it was just like a the most fucking bright ass building you've ever fucking seen with like pink and lights and and everything. Um, let me see here. What the fuck? There's a new Chris Hansen. What about it? Which what's the new what which new which new Chris Hansen? I don't know. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We have other we have other stuff. We'll probably get to that. But um yeah, no, there was a weird claw machine arcade. There was there was there was there was some fun stuff. I didn't wind up really doing much there, but you know, there was there was uh, I was I was confused and it was late and I was like I don't I don't want to spend forty dollars to get like a couple of plays on like if it was a real arcade and I could play some like fucking foos but whatever not foosball I like the one the ski ball I like that I like the f whenever I'm at an arcade I never used to like these but I'm a huge fan of the fucking basketball machines I love those now in my recent stints at arcades in the last like year whenever I've I've been to like two. And, and, or, or Barcade or whatever. And I've been like, man, those fucking, like, basketball machines. That's the real shit. I, I love those. Especially if you're at a Barcade and the basketball goes flying back and breaks someone's entire, like, drink. I'm sure that's wonderful. I don't think they can get you in trouble for that. I feel like that's not your fault if that happens. That's just the fucking nature of the game. But, I mean, if it's, like, if it, it it's probably contextual. Like, if it's real obvious that I did it on purpose, then I don't know. I don't want to be a dick about it, but that would be a fun experiment. I would like to break some asshole's drink with, like, a ricochet. That would be a difficult one, though. You'd have to, like, perfectly position your ricochet to, to break the asshole's drink, and then and, and, and then everybody in the bar claps because they, because they hated him as well, you know? And, and then they, they carry you out, and they, 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 uh, they, they give you the key to the bar, you know, you know, that kind of thing. Barcade is the idea, you know, that one. Um... Uh, yeah, no, but the New Week Blanche thing was, was pretty fun. was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Uh, 312 from Exile Postman. Vid suggestion, man farts while being charged. Charged, huh? What was the thing I was going to look at? Oh, yeah, it was the cat hate. We gotta look at the cat. It was so... Cat, it was like, kitten falls downstairs, right? Kitten falls downstairs 17 years ago. A million views. Five month old kitten. Uh, so if we sort by newest comments. No, this is from 17 years ago. Jesus Christ. 
This is from 2006. This can't be the one you're talking about. I don't know if that chat member is still here. This can't be the one you're, you're talking about from 17 years ago. Holy fuck, YouTube is old. Jesus Christ. That is ridiculous. That's se 17 years ago, chat members. Jesus fucking Christ. I remember where I was in 2006. That does, that makes us, that just makes me uncomfortable. Now, now I'm mad. Now I'm just mad. <sighs> Thanks a lot, chat member. You made me feel old. Who was the chat member that suggested it? This fucking user. Where, where was the... Uh, yeah, M Muda talked about the monkey hate rabbit hole. Um, but there was a guy in chat who said that there was a cat hate. It was a spiral staircase. Okay, well this one looks like a spiral staircase too. This one is. It's a spiral staircase. I don't think it's... I guess it's not that one. Was it uploaded like yesterday? K kitten falls down like sp spiral stairs. Um, orange kitten falls off staircase while playing with sibling. Okay, we got 12 comments. I mean, these ones are all fine. Kitten downstairs. Kitten falls downstairs. I One don't step know. at a time. There's pro oh, what the fuck? I follow me. Stairs are very treacherous. Okay, Daryl. Oh, where's Kenneth? What up, guys? I'm coming. Okay. One um. Well, I'm sure there are cat haters out there somewhere. I'm sure we could probably find that at some point, but we're not currently doing it. Ki whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? Uh, yeah, these are all nice comments. Yeah, I'm not seeing any comments on any of these that are particularly hateful. I thought there was like a rash of new cat hate videos or something. I like the monkey hate stuff, but for cats, but no, I mean, maybe there was on that one. I don't know. I would have to, you know, maybe get a link or something. If you have the link available, maybe super chat the like slash watch thing. You can't do the whole link, but I can copy that at least. Um, you know, if you, if you have that available, we can, we can look at some of those comments because uh, that would be interesting. Check out some of the channels if we can. Um, uh, 312 from XL Postman, vid suggestion, man farts while being charged. Well, Postman is, uh, doing good with the suggestion so far, with the homeless man one. The, the homeless rant one, sorry. Man. Come on now, man farts while being charged. Like, by the cops? I think so, yes. I have no knowledge of anything about that gun. Anything. You own any guns? No. Do you know him to own any guns? I mean, it's up to him, bro. Listen, bro, you know, it's not up to him because you're being charged with it right now. That's why we're bringing him here to talk to you about it. Being oh, charged. I'm being charged with it. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Huh, 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 huh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I always fart when I murder people. Um, I don't know the context of that. Maybe he didn't kill anybody. Uh, five bucks from Jules. Yeah, gonna make a giant goatsy sculpture and get RBC or CIBC to back it up by saying it's about generational trauma. See you next year, Claw. Well, this year's theme was about fucking, like, change or something. And when I saw that, I knew it was probably mostly gonna be garbage. Uh, that, there was one that I saw that was like a giant inflatable fucking... Uh, it was like a, an inflatable, um, like, genie lamp. And I don't know what... I don't know, man. I mean, this is what... This is, like, I, th I thought I had some kind of an understanding of, like, art. You know? I, and I, I just don't know if this is what art is su suppo supposedly is now. Is, like, a, just a giant pit of trash. And an inflatable genie lamp, which I guess, you know, it's like, and I look at it and I'm like, I'm not discounting that it's an art. Like, sure, it probably took some real skill to, like, put together the giant fake bird's nest in the middle of the street or whatever. Uh, it was probably difficult to do, uh, you know, and you did it well, I'm sure. But I also just, I just, I guess it's more, it's less that I don't find, it's not even so much that I don't find it to be art, it's like... I don't. I just. I just don't respect it as hard. I guess that's what it is.
<laughs> it is. It's art. I recognize that it is indeed art. I just have no respect for for it. Some of it. Some of it was good. There was some that I enjoyed. Uh, the first one that I saw. Well, not the first. The first was like a weird, like lgbt flower thing you wouldn't you would have it's it's the sort of thing where you would have fucking absolutely no idea what it's supposed to be about unless you let you read the little plaque because i walk in and i'm like what is this and it looks it's a bunch of these little flowers under these lights and it looks like like spongebob flowers like coral undersea flowers they're like pink and blue and they're like spotted with green or whatever and then i look at the plaque and it talks about how it's about like trans identity lgbt queer something queer the, the, the word queer came up like five times and i'm just like you would literally never fucking guess that if you didn't like see the plaque that's all i'm saying is that art i i don't know it's cool whatever you made some cool stuff i guess but some of it is like eh. i really like the one with the lights and the fucking weird ambient music the autistic music i thought it was <laughs> But it was good. I thought that was good. Um, uh, uh, and, and overall, I had a good time. So, you know, I wouldn't... Uh, it, it, was, it was an experience that was enjoyable to, to just take part in, whether or not the actual art was all that interesting. Uh, two bucks from a lady class. I have a cursed ASMR channel. ASMR Eduardo. Oh, dude, is it... Let's my go. I wonder if he knows my bro Puduardo. Um, Eduardo. ASMR Eduardo. All right. Well, he's only got 10,000 subs. He's a, an aspiring... Well, I guess these take a while to make, or he doesn't make too many of them too quickly. He's got he's got 12 videos uh, since uh, 10 months ago. Uh, most popular one has... Uh, looks like 3.3 thousand. Oh, 3.8 thousand was his most recent one. Uh, views. Um, but yeah, 12 videos, only 10,000 subs, ASMR Eduardo, and he, he looks like Khal Drogo, but with like, he looks like, he kind of has like Wang's lighting, but then the, 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 the titles, um, <clears throat> let's see, well, yeah, I mean, he actually, Khal Drogo, he is, tro he's going for that because he's got Dr. Momoa. Physical exam role play featuring stethoscope, heart, lung, bowel sounds. Okay. Um, you got, uh, well, I'll just show you. You got manhood cigar roll, training, smoking, play, sissy boy, um, romantic Maui vacation, um, venom vor over here, belching stinky superpowers role play, farting, um, NSFW romantic camping weekend praise kisses comfort trailer trash slave master roll oh dear picking up my special companion to a romantic dinner well we got to do father son vor over here with belching and digestion sounds so that that sounds good that sounds like a good video full video uncropped and unblurred how's it going son got back, you know, from having some fun with my toys. Anyway. My toys. I know it's your birthday today. <laughs> Hello there, son. As you know, it is your birthday. As you know, I conducted the raid on the Great Library. God. Been waiting for this day. His toys, Been waiting yes. because... I think it's the perfect moment for my son. So yeah. you're an ASMR channel, but not an actor so much. Is that about right? F. So I think it's the perfect moment for my son to have. Wow. Wow. You know, if, if they ever need a new Captain Kirk for like parodies of, of, Kirk, of, of, uh, of William Shatner, like the joke Family Guy version of William Shatner, like the you're perfect for that. I'm real father and son time. None of that kitty shit. You know. It's time for you to have a fucking beer with me. We're gonna crack open a bear. We're gonna play a game of TF2 with the boys. 
<laughs> For some reason, I'm compelled to put <laughs> beer crack, beer can crack uh, on the soundboard. I don't know. That just feels like a good thing to put on the soundboard. Here you go, son. Enjoy. Now that's funny. Oh, I'm going to have a beer with you, too. Mine is a little bit, uh... A little more for a guy of my stature. A guy of my stature. Yeah. So he's got like the nine percenter. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, guys like me. Why does his beard look like it's like painted on? Like it looks like the it's like a video game beard where he's got like a beard texture and then there's like some rough like hair um you know hair uh, on top like whatever physics hair on top whatever you call it there's <laughs> like a there's like two layers to his beard it's strange we don't need bottle openers we can figure this shit out with just about anything check this out cheers son well, I mean, if you know, that's impressive, I guess, if you can break open a bottle with your knife. That's the quality. That's like a man version of like a twisting a cherry stem in your mouth kind of thing. 21st birthday. Makeup? <sighs> you know. Is he wearing makeup? I mean, I wouldn't know. I, people who... Makeup wearers in chat... Uh perhaps could tell if these cheeks are like enhanced if his forehead i mean i would say if you've got a lighting set up it makes sense to have makeup uh you know potentially that can help with the uh, reducing glare and stuff uh they do that in like hollywood you know any kind of movie people are going to be lightly caked up in front of the lights so that it might just be that but he might be you know he might he might be rocking a little glam who knows been thinking about what we can do now you know you're becoming a man and well yeah it's vor we know what we can do now it's going to involve vor it's not easy it's not easy being a man there's a lot of responsibilities that come with it and a lot of things that you must do you know the sad thing is this is a better role model than andrew tate to uphold yourself as a man can't be fucking around, son. Not anymore. Can't be spending all your days playing video games with your friends. That's just... It's just not how life works. <laughs> no. The way life works is you make your living on YouTube by making vor videos about eating your son. Now that's a funny name. I've been thinking about taking you on a gun range. Yeah, it might not be the son he's eating. You know. Shooting some targets. Eventually, I would like to have you come out and hunt with me sometime. I mean, I'm imagining if the video is like the son vores the dad now. That's what I'm just imagining that in my head. Like, it becomes the camera like goes and like goes over his head and and he's like screaming and, and then it gets muffled as he like vores the head first. And then you just, you just see from the perspective of the camera as like below frame your mouth is, di is like slowly digesting your father's entire body like all the way down to the feet and then you like you like pick off his shoes and his clothes first while you're doing this you know while while he's he's in there you're like undressing him like first person vor man where's that porn will somebody make that i think uh we could definitely catch some incredible game part of being a man is eating plenty of fucking protein it's the only oh. way you can stay strong you know how else can you expect to protect your family. I like to imagine this guy is the new spokesman for the Nintendo Switch with this lighting. I mean, that would be pretty perfect, you know? If you don't even have the balls the to balls. kill an animal. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> oh yeah, no, he likes to drink his protein shakes. Don't you worry about that. This is one of my favorite guns. It truly is a work of art. Six shots! More than enough to kill anything that lives! I've killed quite a bit of animals with that. Quite a bit of them. But anyway... Quite a bit of animals. Enough about that. I think we should do a little activity together. Yeah, yeah, bro. I mean, dad. I mean, dad, bro. Let's lift weights and fucking pump iron and come. We're men, yeah! Let's watch the Red Green Show while we fix our guns with duct tape. Yeah. Naked. In the woods. Riding fucking deer. Well, let's start off by drinking some more beer, son. Yeah, this is a Far Cry cutscene. This is the new... This is Far Cry 7 and their Ubisoft's latest attempt to recreate Voss. <sighs> The, the increasingly sliding scale of, of, of Voss effectiveness from, from Far Cry 3 down to this guy in Far Cry 7. It's really unfortunate. Uh. <laughs> okay, wait, you fucking... Pr that, they, that's, fa that's a fake burp right there. See that? Uh. That was a total... That was a fake burp. That was, a, that was not a real burp. I mean, allegedly it's all around... I'm not, like you made that was probably your burp potentially, but I'm saying you fucking keyed that in. I'm saying that was a fake burp that didn't come out of your mouth when we said that's not the burp that you burped there. If you even burped at all, you dialed in that fucking burp dot wav burp five dot wav, and you just put that in there like we wouldn't notice. But I know that that's what you did, allegedly. Ooh. Yeah. Now, now we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, at least the laughs are real. That's what's important. You know, that's what the, you know. That what that's what this is all about. Actually, arguably, that's wrong. What this all is all about is burping and vor. So the vor, the burp should at least be real. The vor obviously won't be real, but the burp should be. Play the you video. know, son, it's uh, it's a very special moment for me right now, spending this beer with you for your birthday. Spending this beer and with you. uh. I just want Was this written by a foreign? You to know, son, that I truly love you. I love you so much, son. I love you so much that I am gonna help you help in you. life. Oh. I'm gonna assist you. He's gonna assist. In what I think you is just unlock Dad's mysterious stranger perk. Every now and then, when you're trying to hit on a girl, Dad will show up and show. Show off how many cool animals you killed, and that'll impress her. And you know, every now, it's every once in a while that'll happen. It'll, you'll, your, your passive will, will, will proc. You know, that's you can thank Daddy for that. Best for you. Okay. No, he's, I'm joking. He's gonna vor him. He's I've gonna actually vor been him. For this Somebody moment. in chat is like, "Where is the goddamn vor?" Well, it's not gonna happen on this. You gotta pay. You gotta pay to play. If you want the vor, you gotta like pay for this guy's experience. This is the preview. You know. Moment for. Since the day you were born, actually. <laughs> Since the day you were born, I've been grooming you to be Vord. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a long time watching you grow. And... What can I say, I think... Trying to make sure that I fed you the right foods to fatten you up correctly in the right places so that you're pri primed for eating, you know? Okay. Now, there's a video game. You gotta, like, you gotta, like, raise... Uh, you, you know, I'm gonna stop talking. But you, there's like a spicing system and everything. All I'm saying is there's possibilities there. Allowed you to grow quite healthy and strong. Although, there's a lot more we can do with you. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Okay, now that could go on the soundboard. <laughs> and then the burp, you know. It's gonna be a gassy fucking... Journey, Gassy my son. journey, my son. Oh, Come here. You never see it come back. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a real fucking journey right there. Um, yeah.
<laughs> Gassy Sama. <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta look at the Venom Vor video as well. Hopefully, I don't think there's gonna be any actual Vor here either, but we get to see him in a Venom outfit at least. Does he have long hair? What the fuck? I need to fucking eat now. Oh, Venom. You can't do that. I'm not gonna let you- No, Venom, you cannot. It is too bad. You can't do it. I'm not gonna let you- You can do it. Somebody. By the way, I got a new grinder today, so it won't be so squeaky squeaky. Listen to this fucking thing. Look, listen to the old one. Listen, this is- there's nothing even in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should sample this. Put this in music. It's like an animal being fucking murdered. No, I got a, a new one. It's good. No, you don't understand. Eddie, I need to fucking eat right now. You need to feed. <sighs> or else we both will fucking die. I'm sure you don't want that, do you now, Eddie? I mean, every now and then. Then, uh... If you need to eat someone, make sure you eat someone worth taking their life. Someone bad. Someone so who deserves to So it's Eddie talking to, to Venom, right. Why does he have the long hair? Couldn't he get a I fucking hairnet? I watch you eat good people. I mean, this fucking mask of Venom is so s fucking stupid. Uh, if I'm... If I'm trying to jerk off to this, then I'm not able to... I probably wouldn't be able to get past the fucking mask. And, like... I guess if you're just like you would this is one where you would want to listen to it maybe and not I mean even that it's silly but I mean the mask if you're if your thing is venom vor then you know I'm not going to stop you but what I am going to say is this probably isn't it for even that guy even if you're into venom vor I feel like this isn't what they're looking for innocent people at all fine very well. Although, on the other hand, the concept of Venom Vor is so fucking inherently stupid that, you know, I got I, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe the people that would be into this are, are aware that it's dumb and, you know, would be able to laugh at it a little bit, uh, a little bit. I will meet very, very bad. Look, someone's coming this way. Oh, come on, Venom. Come on, it's just Venom. a homeless guy. Yeah, but I'm sick and tired of these fucking hobos always begging me for change. It's like, fucking get a job, loser. Fuck. Shut up. Just don't be near me. Let me deal with this guy and see what he's really made of. Oh, how's it going there, sir? Don't be alarmed, I... Just want to get to know you a little bit. Huh, See huh, if you've huh. been a bad boy. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You know, I'm... nobody's perfect. I know you homeless people have a tendency to do criminal acts. Bro, what is with the homeless shaming today? What the fuck is this stream of... Why is this all homeless shaming stream? Why does this keep happening? This was not... We weren't even going for that this time. Wait, I didn't even notice the title says Venom eats you for wearing a diaper. What the fuck? I didn't even notice that! Uh, I guess the fucking homeless guy's wearing a diaper. You know, this person sounds like they've been through a lot and probably have mental problems. Why is... Why would... Why would Eddie think that this is a person worth victimizing? Am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. You're shivering. Why are you shivering? <laughs> this guy is a Meat Canyon parody. Wait a second. I mean, I could see this being Not a joke. Smelling fear. I kind of smell somewhat of a bag of shit. <laughs> hmm. 
I know you probably haven't showered in a while, but that's quite a fucking stench. It really Thanks, smells I, like a I, bag of shit. I grew it myself. Thank you. Eddie, what do you think this is? I think it's a bag of shit, boss. Oh, Venom, just leave him alone. He, he's obviously not doing so well. He's homeless. Leave him alone. Leave the guy alone. Come on, Venom. What the fuck? Oh, no. I'm oh, not no. done yet. You think I'm just going to let him go? We don't take kindly to hobos in these parts on here. We don't like the hobos on here. I'm so fucking hungry. You don't really comprehend the severity of this. Bro, eat a Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Anywho. Here comes the boom boom. Something's wrong with this guy. Hold on a second. Oh, there it is. What He's gonna. Fuck? What the fuck? He's gonna find the boom boom. Did you take a shit in your pants? I think I just shit my pants. Detroit till I die, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. It's all right if you did. I mean, look at me. I'm fucking scary, aren't I? <laughs> oh yeah. But. But you're wearing a diaper, I though. You're a crinkle. Yeah, there's Take a crinkle off your down there. Pants. Check this out. I even got a little fucking. Any last words? Huh, huh, you huh. shit in your pants? Oh man, the, our life is flashing before our lives, chat members. This is it's all over, Lawbreaker. Now you're, all over yourself. you're gonna shit and come. Goodbye, you fuck. You fuck. You fuck. Oh no, he vored me, and I just got. Um. So that's the that's the Vor guy, ASMR, ASMR Eduardo or whatever the fuck, um, or AE. Um, moving along. Thank you, Milady Class, for the suggestion. Ten bucks from one salty bull. I've been watching you for years. I definitely don't regret it. I haven't. I just haven't caught a live in two years. <laughs> Well, welcome. I, uh, I'm glad to glad to have you here. This has been a fun one. Uh, unless you're homeless, uh, this is probably not a great stream if you're homeless. Uh, homeless people are taking L some L's today. Five bucks from Nicholas S. Have some craft dinner. Uh, well, I mean, I did buy. I there's a sale at Walmart, like six dollar six craft dinner boxes for nine dollars. So I got like every variety of, you know, sharp cheddar, spicy cheddar, extra creamy, all of them. Except for the Alfredo one, because I remember... No, it was the tomato Alfredo one that I vomited when I was a kid. Yeah. No. I, they don't make that anymore, I don't think. But, you know, I do have a whole bunch of fucking craft Dinner. Canadian branded craft Dinner. 300, uh, 300 ISK from Baneblade. This user has doomed the world to an age of shadows. This fucking user over here is trapped within the doomed commercial... The doomed commercial district and, you know, uh, something, something. Uh, 573 from Exiled Postman. Didn't the Dead Six Apology have something memorable or quotable in it? Something like, I'm not bullying kids from now on. So, yeah, something like that. Like, I'm no... I, I realize that it's not good to bully kids or something like that. It was... It, there were a few... Because there was two apologies and they were both funny. The written one was funny because he ke he kept acting as if the like making fun of family guy was as bad as the kid thing which i reckon i recognized later was probably because i put both of those in the title like the title referenced both the that he was yelling at family guy and kids so maybe he thought that therefore that they're both equal but they really weren't and so that was funny and then he did the video where he was it was like sappy sad like rosalinda uh, observatory music like when you read the fucking i think that was the song it was like the the one when you read her like book in in her her room in mario galaxy i think that's what it was or it was some sad mario song but then he was just like i'm sorry i definitely won't bully any more children i really mean it and especially it was funny when, you know, we were like, but wait, we realized that, like, 
only one of them is really, I mean, is confirmed to be a child. The other two, as far as we know, could be adults. One of them looks like an adult, and the other one we haven't seen and says they're an adult. Um, so, like, the fact that he knows, he would presumably know that, but he still just ran with, like, Sorry for bullying children. Like he didn't. He didn't even want to correct that and be like, "Well, no, actually, I don't, I don't know." Um, yeah, there was some interesting stuff in in the, in, in all of those apologies. Um, on, on none of them are really all that sufficient. But I will say that I I think Astro Boys is a little better in one regard alone, which is that uh, it doesn't feel quite as insincere because the i remember the dogs eating dog six the written one i remember it ended with this tone of like all right i said sorry now let's just move on and never talk about it again but like the the astro boy one felt at least a tiny bit more like he had maybe recognized some wrongdoing maybe he doesn't know quite how to put it to words or whatever it felt a little less forced and fake i'll give him that but it also did raise some questions um Let's see. Um, five bucks from a lady class. What is it with frozen things and Astro Boy randomly hating people who are nice to them? I don't know, because that was the frozen things too uh, thing as well, where he he multiple of his user rants were like, "This user was nice to me, but I always hated them, and now they're now fuck them. I hate them. You should go. You shouldn't support them or something. They're because they're bad, not because of me." Because of their, their, their problems. They're the, they're the problem. Um, very, very strange. Very strange. Uh, two euros from Orson Welles. Cock carousel! I don't know what that's... I, did you just want to say that? Alright, well that's a, that's a fun statement. That's a fun phrase to say, you know? That should be like somebody's secret password to get into like a, a secret club. Like, you know, you got the thing with the door where you, like, slide open, slide out open, and you can see, you can, your, your eyes look out, and you're like, what's the password? Caught carousel! You just close the thing and open the door for them. Uh, two bucks from Oofies with two eyes. I used to work at a Little Caesars. It sucked. Well, it fits. At Little Caesars is not very good, so that makes sense. Two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Two dollars for the Sublime reference. Love is what I got! Yeah. I, uh... I don't know. People hate Saints Row 3, you know, but uh, I will give it credit. It had a very good radio, very good radio station selection. It was a fun game to, it was a fun game at the time. I don't know. I enjoyed it, but uh, I certainly, certainly look back on it. And I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's not as good as 2, definitely. Uh, five bucks from a lady class. Claw, look at Flower Fang fanfics. Flower Fang is Miles M Morales x Miguel O'Hara. It's as bad as you think it is. Well, I, I'm not really in the mood for reading fanfics at the moment. That's a little too... That's a little too, uh, fucking... I don't know. I need to have not walked all over the fucking city last night. I'm, I'm still I'm still half asleep after that, to be perfectly honest. But, um... The, uh, the Flower Fang fanfic thing. I don't know. That sounds somewhat interesting. I could look into it. It depends on... Depends on what I see, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, I can definitely look into that. Uh, another time. Another time. Uh, another fanfic stream, perhaps. Um, let me see. Two bucks from a lady class. Quibble Cop makes AI content. I know, yes. I was just watching the uh, Charlie video that mentioned how he's, like, updated his AI thing. I think now it's, like, a real... It looks more like a real human face as opposed to the, like, fucking Sims character that he made. Um, like the VTuber rig. And I mean, I don't know, it's just... It was something where I was thinking... I'm not gonna watch any of it, but I will talk about it a little. The the whole Quebble Cop thing. He was like this content farm fucking, like, clickbait. You know, not clickbait, but like... Oh, how many toilets can Skibbity in GTA 5 online or whatever, that kind of fucking shit. 15 videos a day for children to watch where he screams at a game or whatever, and it's just garbage. You know, just garbage. Um, and he's been garbage for a long time, and I remember his girlfriend, Azzy Land, was fucking garbage too. I don't I don't think anybody's heard of her in a long time, but I remember, remember her back in the day. She was also annoying. She made her own, like, ter different type of terrible content. Um, but he, uh... Yeah, he made garbage, and it's just funny how he made 
this AI version of himself. And I struggle to care that much. It's like, I don't want, I'm not like, oh, we have to, something must be done. I'm like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. This is not going to fly. People are, are not really going to be into that unless they are. And it's like, is his content, it's like a, 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 a tacit admission from himself that like, yeah, this kind of shit that I'm making is just the most throwaway garbage. There was a thing in the video Charlie looked at uh, in the recent video uh, where he's like, he, he, all, he lied to you all or something. Uh, there was a thing where he, he said like, well, I realize that I can't keep doing this forever. And so and he was getting into why he made the AI thing. And I'm just like, well, why can't you do it? You're currently showing clips of you like doing a stunt jump in GTA Online. I'm pretty sure you could just could pretty much do that forever if you really want fucking wanted to, you know? Um, but no, he made this whole stupid fucking AI thing. And yeah, it's like, it's tough for me to muster, like, giving a shit, because it's not a, I don't know, it's not a genre of content I care about. It's like this kid's garbage, like, if, and if some kid wants to watch, like, terrible AI Quebble Cop, then I don't think it would probably last that long. But, I mean, I don't know, shit, is it worse than other terrible kids content that's out there that's made by humans? I don't know, probably not. Uh, and it's also like, yeah, I don't know. It's like depressing, but yeah, what, what, what are you fucking, it's depressing, but it's that thing where it's like the people that are upset about it are not the target audience. So like the, the target audience doesn't care, right? Like everybody that's been complaining about Quibble Cop's AI thing is like, oh, this is, you know, this is, uh, you know, you're lazy and this is, um, you know, uh, various yada yada AI arguments, um, that, uh, that come up and, uh, you, you know, it just feels like, uh, it just feels like anybody who would actually be watching any of that content would not be part of these arguments or care or be able to fucking even comprehend of what AI really is or does or why it might be a controversial thing. Uh, so, so yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to muster enthusiasm if it was something within the commentary community. Like there is apparently that, uh, there's a YouTuber, Johnny Two Cellos, who's apparently getting like his videos just stolen by like AI algorithms that are just like taking the script of his videos and like slightly changing the thumbnail, slightly re-editing the script and, and just doing that and like hijacking views off of that basically. And uh, that pisses me off a hell of a lot more than the Quibble Cop thing does. Because that's, you know, that's within, that's within my jurisdiction. Uh, I, uh, I can't, I can't care that much about, you know, some guy making shitty AI kids videos. It's like the people that do care are not the audience. And hopefully the audience sees through that and the kids have some kind of fucking taste. I don't know. Um, so there's my, there's my rant about that scenario. I don't think I've mentioned it. Um, two bucks from Tivy 2 vs just watched... Rewatched Futura Futurama Jurassic Bark, now crying. I never really liked Jurassic Bark. I don't know. I never cared that much for the dog. I guess I'm just a monster. I'm just a monster. I always liked the Fry and Leela romance stuff. I'll tell you that much. That was a thing I enjoyed in Futurama. That was a thing where I was a little kid and I was like, this feels wrong. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man. I'm a boy. I'm not supposed to, I'm not supposed to like romance. What, what's this? Why? Why do I want Fry and Leela to be happy together? What's what's what am I, what's this feeling? And uh, and uh, you know, um, uh, you know that was a, that was an interest. That's the, the, one of the only times I've actually cared about a, a romantic subplot in in something. I guess like Wheel of Time had some some pretty good ones too. Um, but uh, yeah, no. Uh, I uh, never really cared too much for the Jurassic Bark one. I don't never hated it or anything, but it's like it's fine. You know, it's a it's a it's a it's another good episode. I never saw that it was like that amazing or anything. It was, it was pretty 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 good. I could see that it's it's uh it's emotional. I mean, I don't know. My favorite thing from Futurama was always just like the 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 the, the epitome of Futurama for me is the fucking the episode where he where with with the water people, the water planet people. Where they like, where he drinks the 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 king or whatever, and, and like that's just perfect Futurama. It's just it's it's like the original Orville or whatever, where it's just like sp it's Star Trek like like Lower Decks that show. It's like goofy Star Trek cartoon, 
with like wacky characters doing stupid things you know but 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 also a a, a surprisingly uh uh a smart plot you know two bucks from suspicious spaghetti knuckles beats homeless while sonic punches pregos you know those are the two those are the only two paths that you can really follow in life two bucks from delcos crispy hansen lastest video unironic so do you mean not chris hansen you mean Chris, Cri Crispy Hansen? I don't think that's a person. So you mean Chris Hansen? You mean Chris Hansen? Unless there is a Crispy Hansen that I don't know of. Oh, there is. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, okay. Um... Yeah, no, so I read this earlier and during I was reading other super chats, all right? And I saw that and I was like, wait, there was a new Chris Hansen video? Because I thought you were just like memeing the name. But no, you legitimately meant Crispy Hansen. I've never heard of this person. Um, but Crispy Hansen with 22 subscribers, it says, Welcome fellow ponies. Uh and there's some views, some videos here. To catch a fi Philly fiddler, Graham Kelly. To catch a Philly fiddler, Prince Slayer. And then the most recent one here that I was told to look at is called It's On Kevin Got What He Was Looking For. And the description says, Part of an upcoming investigation archived here for everyone just in case. And this is the opening frame of the video. Our man looks like he's ready to go to war. I mean, this is what my uh, my my character looks like in in uh, Disco Elysium at this point. You know, he's got that Falm Windbreaker on. He's looking pretty good. Got the gloves, giving him plus two to perception or whatever. Oh, I know of Bosher. I've looked at him. <laughs> Look at this pure masculinity over here. This is like what the dad who vored the sun wishes he looked like. The man's just got a, like a fucking barbell around one side of him just for some reason. Ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Boys and girls. It's on. Kevin Carey, my landlord. My roommate. <clears throat> my brother in arms came up behind me last night with a 45 caliber locked and loaded. What? He's a coward. Oh damn. Serious accusations. Are you calling me a wuss, George? I'm a Buds 187. Ballistic underwater demolition specialist for the United States Navy SEALs civilian program. July 3rd, 2000. I'll be right back, chat members. BRB. I'll have you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs. I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Al-Qaeda. And I have over 300 confirmed kills. Just another target I will wipe you the fuck out with precision Though I 
likes of which has never been seen before on this earth mark my fucking words you think you can get away with saying that shit to me over the internet think again fucker as we speak i'm contacting my secret Network, Network of spies, of spies across the U.S. and your IP is being traced, traced right, right now, right now so, so you better, better prepare. prepare. It's a good song. It is a good song. Some guy on Mew made that. I was in the thread when it happened. Actually, I was. I was there. I was there. Hmm. So this guy's making some threats and stuff. Hello, I got water. CIA operative application in the FBI. Don't worry, ladies. Don't worry, ladies. I can take care of myself. Okay, this, this, this might be it. This might be a meme. It's on. It's on. The police came. They took his gun. He's out on bail. <laughs> So he could get his personal shit done. That was my request. Is your and friend Kazuma me. Kiryu? He's outside. And he wants to go hard. Huh. Good luck, motherfucker. What? Okay. Good so, motherfucking luck. So the meme... The, I mean... I don't know why I said the meme. The lore here... The, the story here is... I mean, no, I'm gonna go with the meme. The meme here... Is that this uh, this guy's friend or whoever, the the Newman to this guy's Kramer snuck up on him. By the way, I saw the episode where Newman was introduced today in on Seinfeld. He he's his first appearance is saying that he's gonna fucking kill himself, and he's gonna jump off the building, and Kramer's telling him to do it. So that's a watch my Seinfeld retrospective when it happens. It's gonna be a good time. I left him a recording. And I yeah, he's know. Snake. It's so Solid it Snake is real. To the police, you know. If he comes up behind me again, I'm a Buds 187. That's all you need to know. He's a Buds 187. Outside my presidency. Huh. 25 years for a verbal threat to a presidential candidate. I got the elect. Solid snail. He was locked and loaded. Yeah, this is like if Steve. <laughs> Two bucks from Autistic Wolf. This guy is Steven Seagal if he never got famous. Vladimir Putin. We need to hear how he says Putin's name. My prints are on the gun. Vladimir. Dust it. He even talks like him, actually, Boxster. now that you mention it. Boxster Copster. You know, my prince are busted and dusted, man. I tell you, amigos, what? I could fight you any day of the week, but I'll take every motherfucker birthday. Because he's on the run. But a poo nanny. Something came over me. Nothing personnel, kid. Don't worry, ladies. He's back at his bottom. He keeps saying, "Don't worry, ladies, ladies, please." You, this, all this, all this can be yours, ladies. Look at the giant TV. Ah, oh, ladies, you, ladies, 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 ladies in chat. You can go to this guy's house and play Killer Seven with him, and while he while he jerks off, while he jerks you off, and you get you get to play Killer Seven on this big TV, and and he gets to and he jerks you off like it's a win win. You get to exp you get to experience one of the gr greatest, most gripping cinematic games ever while he's gripping your your cock. I mean, whatever, uh, you know, lady cock, whatever you guys have down there. The reason that started is he came in my room and stole my cash. 
He came in my butt and stole my cat. That's what I thought. It, that's that would have been a better way to to take that. I guess he's got like his jo his 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 arc his his army fatigue kind of kind of stuff going on over here. Still has all his army gear, even though he looks like he probably hasn't been in any kind of army related thing in fucking decades, if ever. Well. The oldest saying goes, Heats, Andre Pilch, He's 56 years in my family. Is this the old saying? What the fuck saying is this? What are you talking about? The United States SEAL instructor retired out of Virginia. Seven motherfucking 15 in the morning, the day of. I get the photograph on my phone, live link, of Osama Bin Laden's what? brains what? pouring out of his eye socket Chat members, with a blunt gun. What is going on? They thought that would be nice on my coffee break. Well, I mean, there's worse things you could see. It is Osama. I wear this jacket. If it was like an ISIS execution, then that would be pretty unfortunate. But it is Osama. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't get too. I wouldn't get too fucking shaken up about that. At least because I had a wait to see anybody's gore me that I hired in my government lab, and I asked him, "Is that the only thing you have on to keep you warm?" Yeah. Why is there more homeless chat? Why does it keep coming back to homeless men? Why does the stream keep revolving around the homeless? Somehow it just keeps happening. And I said, do you respect that jacket? He said, no. And I ripped it off his motherfucking ass. And I threw his motherfucking ass out in the rain. And all of his shit. Because I was letting him sleep in my lab. Because I pulled him from the rain. My lab? And that's where he's going to go again. Oh, man. I love these fucking weirdos that we look at. And they're like, again, I've said this before. But it's like you jump into One Piece post time skip. It's just like... Yeah, just don't worry about any of the existing lore. Don't worry. Just try to figure out what's going on. Yep, this guy had... This guy is like... Fucking... Th this guy is like the, the, the Goma Den from fucking uh, Devil Summoner Rido. He's just like a secret, like, uh, mad scientist who operates in his basement. And, you know, he had some homeless people living there as experiments or whatever. And fucking, uh, you know, we just have to just deal with that. He has a he has a lab. He has a lab. Our man is a scientist. Our man is developing IF nine. Pots in a cot, and all the anal sex you can handle, motherfucker. <sighs> okay, fine. We're gonna fine. We're gonna rewind. We're gonna rewind to find any kind of context for what's happening. He said no. And I ripped it off his motherfucking ass, and I threw his motherfucking ass out in the rain, and all of his shit, because I was letting him sleep in my lab, because I pulled him from the rain, and that's where he's gonna go again. Three hots in a cot, and all the anal sex you can handle, motherfucker. So he had this homeless guy, like, living with him? In exchange for food and anal sex, and, and 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 a place to sleep, obviously, also three hots and a cot, uh, and all the anal sex you can handle, which, you know, uh, depending on who you're, depending on who you're asking, uh, it also doesn't necessarily mention if he's the one who would be giving or receiving it, just that it would be happening, so like. You know, depending on if if they're the bo if they're the top, then that could be a lot. I mean, that that could be quite a lot. That you you could have a lot of that in your in your schedule. Um, I suppose if you're the bottom, you could too, but it just takes more like training, I guess. Um, what the fuck is this guy talking about? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is happening? Uh, so he got a homeless guy. We have to go back homeless even further. To me that I a homeless man came to me. Which I'm sure happened once you, you know, all of the anal sex. On my coffee break. Euphemism for prison? Oh, okay, so he's saying that a guy should I go to prison? Jacket because I had a homeless man come to me that I hired in my government lab. And I asked him, 
Is that the only thing you have on to keep you warm? Yes. And I said, do you respect that jacket? He said, no. And I ripped it off his motherfucking ass and I threw his- Okay, so this guy doesn't have respect for his jacket as a homeless man. He doesn't respect how- um, the things that he has or something, I, I guess. So this is a lesson that he's teaching to the homeless man. Motherfucking ass out in the rain and all of his shit because I was letting him sleep in my lab because I pulled him from the rain and that's where he's going to go again. Three hots in a cot and all the anal sex you can handle, motherfucker. Yeah, so there's no context that makes that make more sense. Somebody says that that's a, a euphemism for prison, but I don't see where he's implying that that's like, that the guy's going to go to prison. I don't get that. I don't get that. But all the anal sex he can handle, so that's cool. So wait, no, so he stole the, the homeless guy's jacket, so he's not actually... Whoa. I want to fucking smash my glass there. He stole the homeless guy's jacket so that the, 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 the fucking, so the no respect for the jacket is specifically talking about that one. Okay. I thought that just was his. I would just have assumed, but no, he like jacked a guy's fucking jacket. He's like stealing his valor, I guess. Okay. That's neat. Like a homeless vet. Man, the homeless are really taking some L's today. I'm sorry, homeless chat members. Okay, now we come to the part of the street. We, we come to the Hassan XQC part of the video where he just puts down his phone for a little while and does something else. Yeah, it's Crispy Hanson. What the fuck? Uh... Don't message him. I don't know who the fuck... I don't know who the fuck this even is, man. I don't know who you are or who this guy is, but hello. Are, if you're this guy... I mean, I don't know. Nobody message anybody. Nobody message anybody. We're just watching videos. This is not a call to arms. God knows if we... If, if this was a call to arms, it would be for me to have more of them. I need an arm. Hey, come on here. Hey, come on. Amputee jokes. Hey. Yeah, nobody, nobody go after anybody. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. I don't have any context for this. I don't know what's the deal. I know Crispy Hansen here uploaded it. I don't know who you, I don't know who you are though. I, I don't know what's I don't know what I don't know if this is you. What what's the, if this is you? What's the deal with the anal sex? What's the deal with anal sex? What the fuck? Okay, now he's swagging on him. What the, what the fuck? He he did he had like a magical girl transform sequence and now he's hot. Damn. Bring me to a gunfight any day. Huh. Good luck, motherfucker. Good luck, motherfucker. Good motherfucking luck. You say one motherfucking word to me after the police said no. You don't have... This is like the fucking... This is like that TikTok meme where you're like, Oh, you're with him now? That's cool. And then it's like the transformation from nerdy guy to hot guy. This is that. This is that, but it's like the what the fuck did you just fucking say about me version, you know? The permission, the right, the authority. Yeah, and the skeleton so gloves, yeah. At me. If I see a twinkle in your eye... You better turn the other way. I mean, I don't think you're... I just don't think it's wise to be wearing the suit jacket and the suit pants and not just the skeleton gloves, but the backwards ball cap that's at an angle. You know, I don't know if that's completing the look. The skeleton gloves, I'm gonna say that's fine. Go with that, but not the hat. Not the hat. The other way. That's not just that's not that's not that's not fitting. This is self defense. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh huh. Let's just see what's gonna happen to me. 
Come on. I'm gonna give you a coveted walk outside Le Aladdin's bottle. Aladdin's <clears throat> bottle. Because it's this guy is a genie in a bottle, ladies and gentlemen. I passed by this guy last night on the street at the at the music thing. This is crazy. Wow. Real motherfucking simple. Meet me at Grand Avenue. What the fuck? This day. October. Fifteenth. So this is like a call to arms. I have no idea who either of the people are in this, or the guy who uploaded this, or if this is the guy who uploaded this, or who, or where this is gonna happen. This sounds like a fucking brouhaha is going down. For a festival, you see, because I will be there. I'll be there. I will be there. Hopefully not he. On this day. Every day, every time, from now on. Not me, he's part of my newest investigation. Alright, well, you know, he seems like quite an investigation. You have fun with that, Steve. <laughs> Sounds like uh, quite something uh, to, to, yeah, to, I'll, 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 I'll keep looking into that. I don't know, I don't know who the fuck this is. There's no more gentlemen. So now we time lapse to later in the day, perhaps after the murder is concluded. Um, you know, uh, or whatever happened. What I know is that I need more marijuana. I mean, lavender. Where's my lighter? What just happened to my lighter? Hello, that couple. Oh, it's Eel. down here. Oh. <coughs> What are you up to, buddy? Well, you got a nice ass, I mean, backyard and everything. You got a house, damn. What do you, what do you have to be crazy about? This guy built Kramer's Levels apartment in his backyard. As you can see, he went in the shop. The, the police shop. officer said, go in your room. Don't talk to him. So I... Whatever you're right to go into my shop. I don't think I know what's going on here. This man's got like a fucking workshop. He's got a lab. He seems to be threatening people. He's got 300 confirmed kills. He's got three hots and a cod and all the anal sex you can handle, motherfucker. Uh, which is a really good line for your Tinder bio, by the way. <laughs> Put that in there and see how that works. Male or female, doesn't really matter. Um, just leave it vague. Um, two bucks from Lucidity. Uh, ever got a chance to look into the Fox Mafia? Uh, is that anything like the Wolf Pack on TikTok? I don't know. Fox Mafia? No, uh, I have not. I see there's a number of call-out videos about whoever these people are. Queen Serafina and Leo Convoy and all of them. Um, no, not aware of that. I'll have to maybe look into those videos at some point. Um, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Two dollars to try to impersonate Knuckles being mean to bums. Hey! Hey, bums! Get the fuck out of here! This is Knuckles, but he's played by a white guy playing uh, Mr. T. This is my impression. I, I pity the bum who stands around McDonald's when I'm trying to find my shards of the Master Emerald. Fool! You you homeless bum, get out of here! I'm looking for my Master Emerald, fool! I'm not looking for I'm not looking for giving you change, fool! I, I pity the fool. I'm looking for I'm looking for my I'm looking for my Master Emerald in, in my in my milkshake at, at Burger King. Well, why, why are you trying to ask for change, fool? I don't got no change. Do I look like I have pockets? I am an, an echidna, fool. I, I pity the fool. I pity the fool. There you go. Um, five bucks from Big Ron, 1995. Look up Outlaws Generation, 4th of July, Speedo Barbecue with Sparklers. 
Oh, that guy. That guy. Yeah, we needed to look at more of this guy. Okay. Hang on. I need to, uh... Let me see here. <laughs> the Chaos Emeralds, fool! Um... Let me see here. I like how, by the way, one of the upcoming ones is from Two Bucks from a Lady Class. Last request, look up anal sex rant. Well, I think we already found the anal sex rant. I think we found that. Um... <clears throat> Let me see. Um, Outlaws Generation, 4th of July, Speedo Barbecue with Sparklers. Uh, all, he's the Joey's World Tour collab guy from last week. Also, how to make deviled eggs. I mean, how to make deviled eggs. Is that just like a funny meme? Is that on his channel? Is that like specifically on his channel? Uh, little, little, uh, little, uh, little sneeze. Blocked out the sneeze there. Little Patreon only sneeze right there. How to make deviled eggs. Uh, don't know if that, that might be on his channel, but the, the request outlaws generation fourth oh it's the double sneeze though right there damn it's the double sneeze uh, outlaws generation fourth of july speedo speedo barbecue with sparklers it's eight minutes uh two years ago and he is in an apron shout out to my um official outlaw members oh he's dead shout out to my official outlaws and they're also channel members as well. Boogie Jewels and JPEG. Thank you guys for the donations. So I decided to make this nice video for you. Have an outlaw cookout barbecue. Oh, this is just for you guys. I made this for you. Yeah, like I said, I'm wearing Speedos. If, you know, if only I made more content for my channel members that was like this. That would really be good for you guys. So we're going to go over here. Oh, that's great. Yep. Yeah. You should be, you know, this guy really, this guy really should wear a second apron around his back just to be careful. Look at that. I grilled up some burgers and ribs right here. Put that right here. And plus it's the 4th of July and I had to do it for you guys because, you know, you've done good things for me for my channel. So keep it yeah. up, Boogie Jewels and JPEG, because Deliella loves his outlaws. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Do you do you think they just pulled their membership immediately? So while we're waiting for that to cook up, let's get some plates. Here's a plate right here. And some tongs. Tongs. Great. Good. Very, very good. Why is there no audio now? Producer, can you cut this up for me? Why I am. Keep chatting with my lovely fans Producer. here. Producer. Here, I got something else I gotta give you. Oh yeah, take it all off, baby. <clears throat> take it all off. So he's got another friend there with him. It is not a female and friend. And don't forget, yes, outlaw workouts are coming back down the line, guys. No okay, worries. Okay, thank God. You, I mean, that looks necessary. Well, we gotta try to get Nick to do that speedo video for you guys down the line. But got some good idea videos that are coming up. But Nick's gonna be doing because. Nick can go with me to LA Fitness, which is pretty cool, guys. Because I have a membership, I can bring a friend. I can only bring one person to LA Fitness, but um. If well, you, you know, you can only bring one person. I mean, I don't know. Plus yourself, the extra you might need to factor in the extra person with your own admission, frankly, sir. Want to see me f swim? Well, I'll need Nick there because that swimming video was a lot of work to work, but that swimming video was a lot of work to do, so. But, yeah, um, he has like nice fur like shoulder pads. Five degrees here today. It's pretty good here. That's a good profile right there. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, Mr. Olymp See, now this is just like you got a passive plus five bonus every time you're in the winter. You don't even need a sweater, frankly. Yeah, like you guys always say. <laughs> oh, sexy stuff. Yeah. yeah, man. But um. It's pretty hot out here, like 85 degrees, but, um, I remember you saw, like, I saw you guys saw Aren't you supposed to be fucking barbecuing or something? What are you fucking... 
Oh, good. Oh, now we get this angle. This is good. It's good. Why would he ever think that anybody would ever want to see this ever, 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 ever? Ever. Weirdly turned on. Alright, you're exiled, chat member. You're an exiled chat member. We're being gunted as we speak. Yeah, in the worst possible way. I mean, they could... If only my stream just... If only my computer just died right now, that would be better than having to actually look at the gun. His belly is a, is a table. A folding table, if you will. Okay, I can drink it. What is with the audio being muted? Did he, like, fart? I bet he farted or something. What was that? What, what was this maneuver? It's like he's gonna... It's, it's kind of a, a cheers almost, but he's like, his mouth is full and, oh, you know, hang on, hang on, because frankly, this is the most American thing I've ever seen. I mean, this is what it means to be a patriot. This is what it means to love your country. <sighs> yeah, that's a real good video. I guess we gotta wait and see his sparklers. He's got sparklers here. Where's the sparklers? Now it's America! Now we got the bombs bursting in air! Now we play the music! Hats off for Lady Liberty, ladies and gentlemen! Fuck yeah! Well, I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I'm proud to live in a land Where I can dunk beer on my head And JPEG. I forgot this was for channel members, right? I'm sure they feel very... I don't know. Did they ask? Did they ask or did you molest them with this? As well. Uh, you know, I'm good. That's fine. We don't need more of this. But we should look at this channel. Because... This guy's channel... Um, I mean, he has his... We looked at some of it. There was a Joey's Food World Tour or whatever... Uh, collaboration that he did. Uh, where is that? Where is that? You'd think it would be one of his more viewed videos, but I'm looking here at most viewed, and it is not, as far as I can tell, one of the more viewed ones. Uh, unless there's multiple, possibly. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, this guy's like a food reviewer. He talks about, like, disgusting fast food shit. Uh, he's one of those parking lot car food reviewer types. Uh, and to that end, <clears throat> we gotta watch him review something that looks truly disgusting. Um, we've got like, you know, Sonic Buffalo Chicken Dip Bites, Memphis Barbecue Burger, we got a tuna, a ahi tuna sandwich, we got a, there's the Coke Dream World there. Um... Not, none of this looks so bad. Mega Munchies box. Orange Creamsicle cookie. I mean, none of it is so terrible. There's a big pizza review. I don't know why, pe why people would need to watch him eat a pizza. I don't know. I just... I don't know what it is where it's like, if it's, if it's report of the week, it's fine. But I'm like, I look at this guy and I'm like, really? Do we need to see you eat a pizza? I don't know. 
I, I don't know. I think it's fine. I think you just... I think you're just fine. I think you can... Oh, I guess this is a series where he, he, he is in a Speedo. That's like a common series on this channel, is, is Speedo series. Oh, uh, did he... Wait, oh, uh, he q and a Chirami Lee? Oh, that's a real shame. Oh, I feel sorry for... I feel sorry for voice actors. I really can't get into the... I really can't get into that industry, because that will just make me... I will just have to talk to people that I don't necessarily want to. Um, James at Atatron. So this is, I guess, yeah, he was doing, like, a parody of, like, an angry video game nerd type who had to go into burger time to... to to save Joey's World Tour's lunch or something. And Joey wasn't happy with it. And, uh, yeah. We'll watch a little more of this one. Because I think this was like, I had to wrap up the stream because we were doing a podcast or something, but but I wanted to look at more of this. Yes. It just walked by you, man. Oh, there's a door on the way out. Oh, wait, your turn, dude. Thank this you very door. much to, thank you very much to Frenchy French with the five gift subs. You know, all I have to say about that... Why would you ever want to... Why would you ever want to be a member on this channel? That's a terrible idea. What are you gonna do? Post... Post the smuggo emoji? Do not post the smuggo emoji in chat. God damn it. What is I gotta get joys What? What? What are you... Oh! Oh! oh. 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 I just got owned by Mr. Sausage. Yeah, he was doing like a weird voice. I remember he had like a strange British accent. Trying to go for like, I guess like Yahtzee a little bit with his AVGN. There's a, it's a decent parody of the the AVGN, or really more of the irate gamer style of video. That's it. I quit. I'm sure the Burger King- What kind King. of fucked up restaurant is this? Where oh. a sausage monster is chasing after you when you're trying to get a burger for Joey. <sighs> Yeah, that was always my biggest complaint with Burger King, too. No, 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 no. I may be a quitter in real life, but on video games, I do not quit. <laughs> well, it's good to draw the line somewhere. Mr. Hot Dog, you're going down, bitch! Yeah, Mr. Hot Dog, it's all over for you! Ooh, sexy ladies. Oh, hot dog likes. Ah, oh. do those casings go all the way up, baby girl, Mama Sita? Where? Oh, sneaky fucker! This fucking guy. What is he doing? <laughs> Why was it important to put his ass into a pot? Oh, is it like a pot of water? Are we electrocuting him? Oh yeah, no, we're just boiling him alive, I guess. Or burning him, I guess. But it was a pot. Why is there fire? Hello, Mr. Hot Dog. Are you feeling very salty? I'm just making sure you're well done. This is, um, really strange. Oh, it's the burger. Looks like I'll be making my deliveries today. Oh, dude, that's a great reference to that one dungeon from Nier. I, I really like that dungeon. It's cool that you'd ma it's weird that you'd make a reference to that, like that very specific thing from that that Nier level. But uh, yeah, this is uh, I guess it's kind of meant to be sort of like the Bugs Bunny fight or whatever in like old AVGN videos. But uh, I don't know the sadistic nature of him just like sneaking up on this guy and torturing him and it, 
Now I have my burger! Oh, very nice! Well, Victor Martinez with five gift memberships, you know. No, what you saw was cringe. That's just cringe, chat. That that's just cringe, Victor. Why would you do that? Thank you, but why? That's just cringe. No, no, no. That's just that's just, that's just pure cringe. Just a hot dog. You know what they say about revenge? It's a dish best served. Oh yeah, he's now voring the hot dog with mustard and wow, vor and homeless guys is the. The theme of today's stream. Extra More and homeless. <laughs> I'm gonna retitle the stream to Homeless Vor Adventures or something. He really likes that one. <gasps> so that's the video, really, and then the rest is outtakes. The beginning of this was Joey's World Tour telling him that he got the wrong order and he needed to go back to fucking... Burger King to, to like play burger time and get the right order I guess interesting channel uh, he's got other food reviews and stuff he seems to be you know that type of thing if you're into that sort of thing you could certainly uh, probably do worse reminds me of food dip a little bit um, let me see here two bucks from a lady class would you ever look into too mad and his drama no I don't think I care same with EDP, these like e-celebs that, you know, get into trouble. I'm like, eh, you know, if I don't, if there's nothing specifically all that notably hilarious and interesting, I guess with EDP there's a few things, but if there's, an, if there's nothing that's like, that is, I don't know, raises an eyebrow for me, if it's literally just like, I knew who that guy was and now he's cringe and now he's like, you know, a criminal or whatever, it's like, yeah, I mean, it's notable, it's kind of interesting. Too, too Mad definitely did, like, fall off. Uh, but I didn't really care about him or EDP before any of the stuff happened, so... I don't know, I just find it hard to care that much now. Uh, I, you know, this is vague, vaguely interesting, I suppose, the, you know, as, and as a... This is sort of like how Etika went off the deep end, it's, it's interesting to, to... To analyze the, the, the downward spiral of a person. Uh, two bucks from Duncan Productions. Hey, can you cover Major Klug? We're gonna turn this... We're gonna turn this... This round Klug into a square Klug. We're gonna turn it into a square Klug. Let me see here. Major Klug Groomer. Oh, okay, this is like an art an art channel, like a animation channel. Um What the fuck is this? Yeah, I don't know that is animate I I don't know. It's like an animation channel. There's there's allegations. There's not I'm not really just gonna read like a a document of allegations or whatever. I I don't care really. <laughs> like I'm sure I'm sure there's stuff there to read, whether it's, you know, real or not, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, the actual content just appears to be like, I don't know, little animations, it doesn't seem that that entertaining um, for, for a stream like this. Uh, you know, if you want to, if you want to check that out, you know, I, I suppose that's available, there's a video here that says like I'm a victim of, of him or something, so, you know. Uh, sensational stuff, two, two pounds from Niall Scott, look up Max Dorsey. Max Dorsey, I have this knife. Why does that sound familiar? Uh, I have this knife. <clears throat> what is this? Max Dorsey, I have this knife. Homemade music video. He's got a couple here. Oh, he's got like multiple. This is like a series from him, actually. Well, here's the first one. He did this up with some new footage and some old of me and my old college friend, Kayla Sega. She jammed with me on campus and, uh... Oh, good. So, 
you know, it's a typical, it's a typical uh, Nine Inch Nails sort of cover band. You know. Soft fatty at home. Yeah, I mean, well, so we have him, and obviously he... I mean, this is a good thumbnail right here. This is me next time I need to do a bass stream. I just, I use this as the thumbnail. Uh, I, I, I... But he's like, he's making this expression. He's not really playing. He's like cupping his hand over the frets and not playing anything. At most, you're probably hearing like... As he like, you know, plays the muted... You know, uh, the muted strings, he's, but he's not even doing that, really. He's just, like, kind of swatting his hand over the strings. He's, he's, like, pretending to play it. I mean, he's not even moving the strings, actually. And then this lady looks on approvingly, like, yeah, he's rocking out. He knows what he's doing. He's keeping down the rhythm. He's holding it down. I mean, our boy's in the pocket right now. You can't even argue with that. Ah, uh, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. I've always wanted to see Syndrome of a Down live. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite. I mean, this was just the demos for the song Gamma Knife by, uh, by, by King Gizzard. Um, you can actually hear some of this for a little bit. I mean, she's got a cool guitar. She's got, you know, it's one of those very personalized guitars. You got misfits. You got other things. I'm sure these are probably all other things. It's a very good knife. I have this knife. Uh, so that's that. I, I don't think we need to look at more of that. Um, <laughs> but does he have other stuff on his channel? Um, he has goth rock, cups of coffee, Halloween movies, black cats, metal music. Uh, this is from a day ago. This is a call to subscribe here. This is from Max Dorsey, everybody. No, just, just, just let it play, just let it play. Alright. Whoa, my hair's fucked up. Hey, what's up, incoming fans? Y'all know who I am? Man, Patton Oswalt really, you know, damn. Insert joke here. Oh. This is what happened after Patton Oswalt had that, that rough time on Red Letter Media. It all went downhill for my him. My name's Max. I go by a billion names. I've been Spooky Max from like 2012 till recent, I guess, 2018. Um, in 2019, I announced myself as Max, the D Max Dorsey, the artist. The I artist. I do some electronic stuff. I do the occasional video, but not very many. I like to demo out a lot. I don't do too many jams in as much as I used to, like. As if I was sitting here with a guitar, I would film myself playing guitar sometimes. I used to in the past. So here's the thing, right? <clears throat> We're listening to him talk, and he's like, like audible, you know, and saying words. He's legible. You can understand him. And um, I feel like the music would have been more understandable and excusable if if it wasn't if he what i'm saying is if the joke about syndrome of a down was more accurate then that music would have been more more understandable but now i'm questioning it because i'm like bro you seem like you're well enough on, you seem like you should be unable to understand that this is that that wasn't that that wasn't very good um, um i'm just demoing out at the moment i'm looking for band members if you have friends in Portland, Oregon, um, I'm looking for anyone who likes this kind of stuff. Halloween, I don't know, Motionless and White, Spooky Kids. Uh, Multiple people in chat are saying he's super hot. Uh, Dark Divine, I don't know. Bands that 
are kind of scary looking. You know, if this is what you're all about, I guess then that's um, that's good. That's good for you. Normal now, but when I'm I guess really that's good for all of us because that means that people's standards aren't actually that high. To it's all about show, confidence. I'll put on makeup. Because or... I'll say this guy seems like he's all about this. You know, he's he's very confident about this being his his appearance and what he's into and everything. And you know, that's that's nice. That's endearing. Somebody who's you know, they're, they're, he's comfortable in his skin. Or something, and, or just for everyday life, you know. I like makeup, you know, and dressing weird for people and playing funky, weird, gothic songs. You know, that's what I do. Funky. Entertain people with silly-ass skits sometimes on the YouTubes. <sighs> on the YouTubes. I, I really enjoy whichever... I, I don't know if it's like a regional thing that leads to people saying the YouTubes, but I've heard that multiple times in that exact style, that exact way. The YouTubes. Oh, dude man, put me on the YouTubes. Thank you so much, dude man. Like. For a hot minute, but I will like to do that in the future. I think I'll bring back the one where I do, um, I have this knife. My oh, oh yeah, yeah, the one that you no, have, the one that you have like, 15 versions of the bedroom jam the normal one new 2023 this one this one all different songs i'm sure um let me see here uh two bucks from folger kelly video suggestion no we're not doing the gaming magic 13 toy story 4 rant it's not that crazy it's not that unhinged it's not as mad as it's not as mad and angry as Dogs Eating Dogs 6. It's not funny, really. We watched some of it, and it was at least what we saw of it. It seemed like he was just... At least from what I saw of it, it seemed like it was like, Yeah, no, this sounds like they they didn't do a great job with Toy Story 4. Uh, I, I was left to be like, you know, yeah, this... this it didn't seem... It, it wasn't completely unhinged, is what I'm saying. And we're looking for completely unhinged. Um, two bucks from Lined Gear Productions. You have to cover Evan Channel 2000. Uh, Evan finally have his, has his channel. Hell yeah. Evan Channel 2000. Oh, it's a cartoon channel. Okay. Evan Channel 2000. Um. Character Elimination. Country World Race. Um. So the banner is like every cartoon character standing next to each other. It's one of those. Um, and then the actual animations themselves. Oh, uh, is this going to be sex? God damn it. Is this going to be... <sighs> Alright, here's Girl Power Season 4, Episode 18, Superpowers. If this turns out to be sex, I'm going to be mad. Thanks to the power puff. Oh God, there's no fucking, there's no fucking sound effects or any or anything. Wow, that was an amazing show. I agree. Ding dong. I wonder who's at the door. Hello. Okay, and everyone is here. Thank you to Clifford. Thank you to Tuberculosis Bird Clifford. San Francisco, the cat, standard definition, the dog, and the cat, the visco cat. Thank you for ranting about this user. And we have no we have no sound effects, but he's got icy breath. I mean, this is really something. With just no like, why even make it as a video? Just make it as like a deviant art series if you're not gonna have any sound effects. Um. Everyone laughing. So the majority of this channel is like these eight second clips you'll see of like Lori Loud pan up camera version two. And like that, that's the video. And that's the whole video. What do you think about this couple? Um, just a lot of Camac over here. What are all of these? These are reactions to Bowser shutting the piano on Camex fingers. Here's Eric Cartman's reaction. I know that. I'm not threatened. <laughs> <sighs> oh 
and it, it is it's just one of these channels where it's like for some reason the brain goblin that you have that you were born with or that was in some way given to you by your environment or whatever whatever made you this way you now need to you just now have a fixation of putting this scene next to like fucking other characters and that just does something for you so you have 40 videos here of just it's the same scene the same clip and then you just cut to some character providing a reaction or laughing or whatever um and and that's your whole that's like your whole thing and we've seen so many people like that where it's like what does this do for you just like putting every every simpsons female character in a ninja outfit next to like a, a family guy character what does this fucking do for you i don't know um but he's got a lot of it he's got a whole lot of it video game musical choir full album oh dear uh oh <laughs> start singing or is it just the song temple of time temple of time it's where you get the sword and why didn't ganondorf just kill you while you were there for seven years so he doesn't actually provide any Singing or anything. This is just like a. The food changes diapers. The new this is just a list of song. Oh, look. Yeah, you can get a little of that. Um, this is just a list of songs, I guess, in games that have choir sound in them. Uh, yeah, you know, not what I was hoping that was. That was like an album of him singing like video game songs but sadly not not uh the most interesting channel it's one of those ones that's like interesting that it exists but none of the individual content is all that exciting uh if we go to popular here maybe there's something um swiper and friends said oh man i mean all this is like a minute long a lot of it the bite-sized adventures of sam sandwich full series we got a kyle broflovsky tra wear rabbit transformation uh stan and wendy kiss rest in peace loretta brown yeah it's all like real short stuff i don't know interesting channel kind of a deviant art type thing you know but on youtube different it's, it's like the the wrong vibe for the website that it's on five bucks from big raw in 1995 video suggestion the sega sonic gamer sorry sonic sega gamer final rant against rare limited it's long but he rages hard toward the end well, I mean, the name sounds interesting enough. The channel itself might be something. The Sonic... Sega... Gamer. Sonic Sega Gamer. Um... Yeah, he's got like 400 subs. Uh... 400 going on 500. And he makes videos about like paper mario unboxing my birthday gifts is one of them happy father's day this could be like a little kid but who gives a shit because my response to teen boy 2k7 for calling me out okay chat members this is literally somebody named teen boy 2k7 over here for call this is their his response to their response or something let's watch this user Seriously, it's six o'clock in the morning, and I have to do. If we get a this user, everybody has to. Everybody has to become a channel member. Um, fifty dollars from Aurelius. Damn, I wasn't notified. If you're still taking suggestions, then I recommend Justin Schramm. It's this guy who is unbefucking leavably obsessed with the show Home Movies. Not even exaggerating. Multiple times a day, he posts a video related to this show. Well, that's fun. The, you know, the show Home Movies makes me feel all nipply. Um, I used to watch that show. It was a good show. Yeah, I really like the Home Movies uh, Flash game that was on uh, Cartoon Network. Uh, you, it was like a soccer thing. You had to, like, kick goals or, or I think you had to protect goal, protect the goal or something. I don't know. Um, I just remember if you got a goal, like, uh, 
the coach would go like, I think there's some torque on that ball. And I didn't know what the word torque meant. But also I can't do an, I can't do H, I can't do H, John. I can't, I'm not like Vinny. I can't do an H, John impression on lock. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look at that. That sounds fun. Um, but this is teen, this is this user. We're, we're, we're talking about this user here. Teen boy 2 k 7 If we do get, though, if we get an unironic this user, if he says that at some point, then all of you watching have to become a channel member. That's the that's the bet. If he doesn't say it, I don't think I can gift channel memberships to people, but I would. I would I would gift like I would gift a few out if he doesn't say it in the next thirteen minutes. This crap right now. Seriously. <sighs> More haters. More haters. Hey everyone. Hey bro. How y'all doing? This is the Sonic Sega Gamer, and yes, I know I look super tired and stuff, but there is a YouTube... I mean, do you? Is there supposed to be an accompanying fucking, f like, webcam feed that we aren't seeing currently? Yeah, he looks really tired. He didn't even bother to record himself. Very tired. Very unprofessional. Who called me out yesterday. This YouTuber. About the whole Super Mario Logan incident thing. Oh, god damn it. Why is it always about this plushy channel bullshit? And to be honest, I'm not gonna deal with this crap anymore. So no, there's a fucking video from Turkey Tom talking about Super Mario Logan. I think it was him that made it. And I haven't watched it yet, but I wonder if the video goes into at all the fucking just infinite spiraling web of crazy people that have it resulted... Uh, uh, because because this guy decided to fucking play with his puppets on on YouTube, and now just forever there's just gonna be people arguing about Jeffy. Let's just get straight to today's RAM video. Jeffy's Cue coming it. back. Got yeah. yeah. a real like AMV 2008 intro with D Dragon Ball Z and Splatoon and fucking. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, I can't do this. This music is copyrighted, but... Chat members, is that what I think it is? Chat members. Oh yeah, it's perfect! I mean, I think this works better, actually! Why is this intro so long? I'm not even stopping this. We're just we're just watching this whole thing at this point. Here we go, buddy. The, th the thing is, I like this song a lot, so. Do it, do it, do it, do it. We're still going. Oh, it's almost- is it done? I think it's done! I think that was it! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was like a minute and a half or something of like your butt rock song AMV intro, holy shit! A YouTuber- Okay. So basically, a YouTuber goes by the name of Team boy team oh yeah no that song is great i love i love i am all of me the other one never turn back that's another great one shadow the hedgehog's got some really good music say what you will about the game good music good music i will also say i always heard people say sonic 06 had a pretty good soundtrack and like for years i was like eh, it 
it's fine. You know, it's fine. There's the Crisis City song that just... St- I don't want to say it steals the chord progression from 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 the Bowser and the Dark World song from from Mario sixty four, but it's like very similar. I don't think it stole because like music doesn't work that way necessarily. But there's also the one that's just like Flash Man from Mega Man two. But I was watching Brutal Moose play Sonic 06, and that game really does have some have some very nice songs. That's that game has a very good soundtrack actually. Also, I don't like the the vocal themes as much though. Shadow had some good vocal stuff. Two K Seven. So a you're YouTuber going. YouTuber goes by the name of Teen Boy Two K Seven. A YouTuber goes by the name of Teen Boy Two K Seven. So his name is Teen Boy, and you have. Not already ruled out that this person is not somebody that's worth talking to at this point in time. Uh, y- you know, uh, okay, alright. Made a video about me. Telling me that I'm not supposed to talk about Super Mario Logan's past. And stuff. And the thing is, this YouTuber who made a video about this me. YouTuber? said a lot of bad things about me. Saying that I'm wrong, and saying that... (laughs) This fucking guy said a lot of bad things about me. He said I was wrong. That cunt. Uh, Super Mario Logan is not a good... It's like a good YouTuber and stuff, and saying that, Ooh, Mario Logan, he didn't do nothing wrong. The thing is, ever since I came back home, after my vacation was over, I realized that I got one of the haters... To bash on me. The haters. Team Boy 2K7 made a video about me, and this is what he had to say. You're getting me right now, the Sonic Sega Gamer. Why would you bring up SML's past? Bro, I just... Like, what is it relevant at all that this guy, like, he responded to you? I don't know. I mean, I just... I know that, you know, when I was... Like, 18 on fucking 4chan, if some idiot responded to me and said something, I would have been like, Hey, fuck you, but I don't know, I'm like, it's like a decade on, and I'm just like, Are you really gonna have a fucking argument? You're gonna, yeah, and then you start playing the clip, the guy doesn't even have a fucking microphone, he's just like text-to-speeching, and you're like, you're like this upset, I don't know, it, it ugh, man. Embarrassing. You should know that bringing up people's past can ruin someone's reputation. And no, just no, you are not going to make a stream yard this Friday. End of call out. No stream yard this Friday, motherfucker. The stream yard community has been hassled for long enough by that one guy, the 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 rope pilot man, and you know his racist antics, and 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 Astro Boy, he was involved. And now this fucking guy is not going to be able to do his stream yard, goddammit. It's all connected. It's all connected. You know, for the fact that I can't deal with people who get on my nerves, and I'm talking about, like, the toxic people. Huh. The fact that I am not able to deal with people that get on my nerves, that's a good, again, that's a good, like, I like, f- accidental, f- I don't know if you call it, like, a Freudian slip, but it's like the guy earlier with the homeless people, like, yeah, that is basically what what the problem is. You're ha- you have you no but this guy got slightly under your nerves and you can't handle that. So you're making like a rant about it and he's going to like correct to be like, "Well, what what I mean is like and it's like, "No, that that kind of that's just just leave it at that. That's right." Yeah. You can't handle that. Yeah, it's like the home the the guy ranting about homeless people. Yeah, I just don't want you to be homeless around me. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's about that's about right. Yeah, that makes Not sense. Not the nice people. Nice people are actually good. Nice people. But this hater right here, fucking hater. Team Boy Two K Seven wants to make it personal with me and my friends. Me and my friends. friends have done nothing wrong. Not to mention, his channel doesn't have that many subscribers. Bro, we weren't even looking for user rants tonight. I just. It just first of all, Team Boy Two K Seven, shut your freaking mouth. For one thing, not to mention his channel doesn't have that many subscribers. So why do you even give a shit? Why are you even making this call out post? First of all, Team Boy Two K Seven, shut your freaking mouth. And second of all, huh. you need to understand one thing and one thing only. I have every right to be angry at Super Mario Logan, aka Logan Thirty Kerr. Because me and my fellow subscribers can't stand this piece of crap. 
The way I see it, you just like to go around calling out somebody's YouTube name to have a quick confrontation. <clears throat> well, let me tell you something, yeah. Team Boy 2K7. Guys like me, Darkness Twilight, M64 Bros, and also Stuffy Kid 2005. <laughs> Listen, you don't want to fucking you don't want to cause trouble with Scuffy Cat 2005, man. I hear that guy has skin suits in his closet. Don't even step to him. We all hate Super Mario Logan. He's been doing a lot. That's some serious business. Let me tell you something, brother. You don't want to... If you want to step to his motherfucking rap... Blah, 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 blown to death. Shady business. Off screen of YouTube and in screen of YouTube. Or on screen. Now let's be Off screen of YouTube or on screen. Be honest. That's I can't... Good. That's just... I really like that, that phrasing. That's new phrasing for me. I've never heard that. I like that. That's good. People like you who get on my freaking nerves because if you keep this crap up, Team Boy 2K7, you're gonna get what's coming to you. If you keep posting terrible cringe, this YouTuber will definitely lose subscribers. I'm not gonna deal with people with you, like guys like you, who get on my nerve. I don't think we're getting a this user. In fact, I made a video about this like a few months ago. A rant talking about Super Mario Logan's past. And I have every right to be angry at him because all the bullcrap stuff he's been doing for the past months, maybe even years now. There was a reason why everybody hates Logan. So Team Boy is 2K... Is it the grooming allegations or is it because of fucking Jeffy or some inane cockamamie shit? If you don't believe me, how about I just show you a few video clips that M64 Bros and Stuffy Kid 2005 did. And they have every right to be angry at Logan. First, we're going to look at M64. Is it stolen? What is this? Hang on. Is it, stole, is it fake valor if you are wearing the skin of a vet asking for a pal? Well, it's only okay if you're giving them all the anal sex that they can handle, motherfucker. Bros video. And, and three hots and a cot. Prove me and him that we're wrong. That Logan is a good YouTuber. Prove me wrong, Team Boy 2K7. This huh, huh, huh. is proof right here and the truth. Prove me wrong that he's a good YouTuber. I... Well, define proof. I mean, what are you looking for in this in this instance, sir? A white Logan is the worst YouTuber of all time, and he's a piece of crap. You don't believe me? Well, I long to play this clip from M64 Bros. Because he explained the truth. <sighs> Not on Peter, he's a single guy, so it doesn't really matter, but those women, like no one got their permission. Okay, so yeah, this is about, like, allegations and stuff. Um, uh, this video might be interesting. I know we want to figure out if he ever says this user, but I do kind of want to look at the actual suggestion, which was the final rant against Rare Limited. He probably has other fucking, like, sh like, battles with... With, with users on here somewhere. I'm sure that's also on here somewhere. Uh, dark- Oh, yeah. Darkness Twilight exposes VR chat brats. Okay. All right. Hang on. No. Okay. Hang on. Because, guys, because Sonic, Papyrus, and Goku are here to expose these VR chat brats. I- I- I just- God, it's 28 minutes long. I know we were Okay, and this is the guy, too. Um, it, it kind of looks like that other- It kind of looks like the- 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 the dude with the- The- the goth dude we were just looking at. Um, man, I, we were gonna just- We were just going to look at the- The set- the, the- 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 The rareware rant. But I gotta see what this is. This- this is a user rant. He's on camera and everything. This is insane. Hey! What is going on, everybody? How y'all doing? This is the Sonic Say Gamer. <laughs> yeah, and I am you can't not click that. I mean, back like, with another rant video. It would be irresponsible for me to have seen that and then been like, no, no, we gotta, we gotta click something else. So, so you know how some people have a forehead? Is it possible that this guy has like a, like maybe a one or two head? Like, look at this. This is, <laughs> this is a, this. You know, it's like. I've heard of five head where you have too much forehead. I got one of those. Uh, this is like a one or two head, like maybe a three head if you're being generous. Now, like I said, 
This will be my last rant video because basically I can't deal with people who are getting on my nerves on VR chats. So yeah, and today, as we speak right now, since it's today is February 19th, 2023. And by the time I upload this, it'll probably be like too late, I think. Um, I'm just gonna make this quick because uh, the video will probably be late as enough as this. I don't know, I can't tell. Um, I'm going to expose three people on VRChat, and if you guys have a VRChat account and you want to teach them a lesson, like try not to mess with me, tell me I have to- Oh man, you know, I have to do- I have to like go to sleep or something at some point tonight, but I'm getting good- so there's now a- the $20 from Aurelius, again, thank you. Uh, not a suggestion, but I just thought you'd be interested to know- This is absolutely a suggestion, whether you think it is or not. That 1UP Films noted Mario Adult- uh, recent and a fellow fa a fellow Jeffy hater, I'm sure, recently uploaded a video where the first six and a half minutes is Mickey Mouse going going on a coke induced rant about how Disney is failing. Of course, I'm going to watch that also. God, I've got this user rant. I've got the other. Okay, I'm turning it off. I'm turning off all suggestions. We've got a, We've got a full suggestion. We're done on suggestions. We've got like three more. We got this and two more videos. We're done. At, we're good on. Well, okay, you can keep coming in with your suggestions. I'll save them for next time. If you got a good one, yeah, you know, hit me up with it. But it'll be for next time. I'm not promising anything else. If it's really good, then you might keep me here for even longer, though. If it's like unavoidably good and funny, like something, you know, that that, that I can't I can't not watch, then then I, you know, then I can't then I then I might just be here till two a.m. or something. Fuck. But. But like, I, as far as I know, I think we're I think we're calling it here. I think we're, I mean I think we're gonna we're gonna do a couple more after this, and and anything else, any any other suggestions I get from here on, I'm gonna I'm gonna save those. I'm gonna save those for next time. So thank you, everybody. There will be more in the future. Absolutely, get your suggestions in though, because I will save them if they're good. Uh, they're still valid. They're still on the table for next time. Uh, but but we are probably gonna we're, we're probably gonna call it on uh, in a little while here I want to watch this one and then two and this could be hours of video So don't we're not even close to done. That's why I'm putting I'm, I'm calling the breaks I'm like this is like another two hours of stream potentially this in the next couple video I don't know it might these might be gold mines freaking change so be it I came on this was one video one time It's going to be 18 plus only for this one video because after Just that, I don't have time to deal with these guys, like, these people. I'm about to uh, mention, name, mention their usernames right here User. and right now. So, yeah. So, that being said, let's get straight to the point. Cue intro. Do the intro. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it, wait, is this just live and learn? It is. It's just live and learn. Is this, wait. It is. Okay, okay. We can actually listen to this one. Why did you have it cut awkwardly? No, never mind. Now I'm mad. Now I'm pissed off. You don't fuck with live and learn. What the fuck is that? All right. Okay, it's fine. We've got our own music. It's fine. So yeah. So that being said, let's get straight to the point. Q inch. Or 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 no intro. No no baby. You've learned. You've missed the right. You've lost the right to baby. You've lost the right to baby. Intro. Q, Here, yeah, we're, cue right the now. intro. So yeah. So that being said, let's get straight to the point. Q intro. Nah, 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 it's not working, it's not working. If he didn't chop up the live and learn, it would have been great. It would have been great, but it's not going to happen. This one seems to be a shorter intro, too. Or maybe it's the same length, but the video's fucking long, so I didn't notice. Okay, so, as I promised, I'm going to expose these people, and like I said... I mean, if only he had actually used I Am All Of Me there, that would have been fucking hilarious. If the actual intro theme, that's probably on his channel somewhere. He probably has a cue intro and then we hear da -da 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 -da. You know, you, you probably have that somewhere. If you have the chance, don't tell my YouTube name, tell my username on VRChat Song Gear Fan has had enough with you guys. Because, you know, this is the reason why I can't stand people anymore. So, yeah. Anyways, it's time to expose who these idiots are. These idiots. So, yeah. These VR the first chat person idiots. I'm going to... So the, so, the, so, the other video that he made about this mentions their VR chat brats. This just calls them VR chat players. So, it's up in the air as to the ages of these Omni King-like gentlemen. Expose. This goes by a VR chat username, Sinktor Records. 
Now, for most of you guys don't know who he is, this kid, however, this user, he's an African American dude. Where are you going with that? What does that have to do with anything? And to be honest, he's been getting on my nerves since day one. Keeps sending me invites on VR Show and say, "Ooh, let's play Five Nights at Freddy's." Like, no, shut the fuck up. Okay, okay chat members, we've got a T minus. How long until the fact that 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 this person is black is relevant to the story? How long until that becomes a part of the story where it actually matters? <laughs> I'm getting sick and tired of your shenanigans. And the moment, the moment... I'm sick I, of those shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. Keep hearing him open his fucking mouth at me. He pisses me off. So guess what? I'm about to go on my Michael Richards moment. There's going to be an explosion <laughs> today. St. Tor Records has... He even said he was black. I mean, you know, how things, disgusting can you get? But a pain in my ass. He just likes to talk about his- That's a reference to a video, don't- don't ask past, like how he got almost, you know what, banged by somebody. And what now is happening? Okay, alright, okay, alright. So we- this is why I shut off. This is why I'm saying there's probably- we're not gonna watch much more than this and a few more videos, cause this is- Saint so he's talking, he's directly said that this is some kid that might just be, ha ha, kid, fucking get wrecked. That might be just diminutive, diminutive internet slang to make the person seem, but it's raw, it's like VR chat, so. For records, has been be nothing a, a but kid. a pain in my ass. He just likes to talk about his past, like how he got almost, you know what, banged by somebody. So he was... He wants to talk about his past and how he got almost banged by someone. Almost. Quote unquote. There's like fairy fingers there. A little bit. And to be honest, he got almost... You know what, banged by Yeah, he did a little fairy fingers there. So he, he like, I don't know what he's, he's implying, like, homo sexual activity. Somebody. And to be honest, this piece of shit motherfucker has been getting on my nerves since day one, when I first joined VRChat. I didn't want to join VRChat because I'm not a PC gamer. So, I'm gonna show you his profile so picture. the day you joined VRChat, you encountered this 12 year old, or however year old, I guess he didn't say age, but he said kid. We're implying kid here. This kid, so he's VRChat kid. The day you encounter him, so you can't block him? Does not VR chat offer the option to block people? Does not VR chat offer the option to just fucking not engage with this person and go to another fucking, like, is he in your friend group or something? And you're just like, Matt, this is just friend drama? And it's like, I can't avoid him. My friend Tom really likes him, so he has to be there. Is that what it is? Or is this literally just you met a rando and now you're like friends with him, but you're ranting about him, but you hate him, but what the fuck is this? What? You can't just block him. What the fuck is happening? Sure. Since I'm locked into VR chat because my VR chat account is going to like expire or basically it's going to uh, delete in less than an hour. So let's just get straight to the point. So I'm going to move my camera. I'll show you this. Okay. So. Okay, so this is the idiot right here, and... This is the idiot user. I'm gonna try to do my best not to move the camera too much, but I just want you to look at his name. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'm 14, and I'm beginning voice acting, so if it sounds bad... So why can't you just block this 14-year-old you don't like instead of engaging with them and then making a video discussing them? Why can't you block them? What's wrong with you? Why are you ranting about this user? What the fuck? That's his actual username on VRChat. Saint Tor Records. And he's got four numbers here. And look what his bio says. He says, Hey yo, I'm Records. I'm 14 and I'm beginning voice acting. So yeah, I could fucking read it, dipshit. Be with at least someone. Now, his original profile used to be a Goku. Wait, I have abandonment issues, so... so so why is trust by the way trust rank user i'm, I'm sorry but <laughs> that's pretty funny um uh so so it says in the bio that he has abandonment issues <coughs> and this guy is uh is like well it's good he's not abandoning him he's making a video ranting about him but he won't block him on vr chat i guess avatar whatever 
but this motherfucker yeah, has been getting on my nerves since day what? fucking. Get wrecked, literal 14 year old child with abandonment issues. I'm so sick of you. You've been getting on my nerves since day one. What do you mean, block button? One. I'm sick of this. So this person who just likes to get on my nerves, send to a records. I'm gonna say straight to your fucking face, okay? Because I'm exposing you for who the hell you think you are. You piece of shit been getting on my nerves since when I first started VR chat, okay? About your whole depression, your whole you know what thing, and the whole say you wanna hurt yourself. I, I just, I just. How can you be this unempathetic? Why would you ever talk this way about a 14 year old kid on VR chat? Well, it's just like, man, man, what a cunt. Like, you, you really I suck. I bad for you, and you did change. But when you talk like to this me guy. To my fucking life, you made it really fucking personal. So, single records, I'm gonna say it straight to your fucking face. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Dude, this guy's a real fucking user. He's literally like naming and shaming somebody and saying that they should go fuck themselves for being depressed when you could have just blocked them or something. What is wrong with you? Wow, you are such a little bitch. Also, ages. Age speculation is going around in chat. People are saying 28. There's. Are you saying that this fucking user is my age? Not Sonic. This guy, you're saying, you know, he looks like he could be. I could see him being in his 20s. I mean, he definitely looks older than, like, a teen. If this is a teenager, then that's... Really says something about, uh, something. I don't know. Um, this looks like a parody of the Untermensch. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but, like... I'm gonna say it straight to your fucking face. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. And to be honest, you can say this, you know, I'm just gonna say this straight to your face, including your friend, it's underscore Polymation. Go fuck yourselves, you piece of shit. You're never gonna break my spirit and break my damn mind. And the friends that I make on VR Break my spirit and my mind. He's 14. Like, what are you talking about? We're about to get into a Nakama rant about my friends or something. Is this user, like, framing you and your friends and calling you guys bullies or something? What's happening? What is- what is- what is the problem that blocking them can't solve? Which now, I'm leaving your channel less than an hour. You are a complete fucking idiot. He's fucking heartless! Every time, every time I see your- Every time I see you start to bother me for some reason, you just like to get on my fucking nerves. Every single time you tell me how you want to kill yourself, I say, just do it, scrub! What's wrong with you? No balls! Uh... So, Sinkor Records, you are one of the worst VR chat players ever. I hope Karma is a bitch and will come right back straight your fucking ass. So, yeah, Sinkor dude, you are really bad at VR chat. You're like, you're like unskilled at the game of VR chat. What would that even entail? That would be like just me not being able to fucking move properly because it, it, requ it requires two hands. Do us all a favor and shut your fucking mouth! I'm tired of your voice and I'm sick and tired of you saying the fucking n-word! So fuck yourself. Wait, what? Oh right, because he's African American. Well, it actually did kind of come back around. So... I guess this this kid is African American, as he's mentioned earlier, a and I guess he says the N word a bunch, um, and this guy doesn't like that. Well, I don't, I I don't know. Yeah, you might wanna. Yeah, you, you know that's a good point, young young black man. You might uh, you might wanna you might wanna cool it on saying the N word. You don't want to make Whitey uncomfortable. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Anyways, this is the guy right here. Originally, his 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 avatar profile picture was originally Goku, but now he changed it to Papyrus because he's he's an Undertale fan. Good for him. But this guy has been getting on my nerves since day one. So Sinker Records, here's here's a mail for, mail for you straight over your fucking ass. Go fuck yourself. And I hope 
you will learn not to piss me off and not to get through my mind. You almost broke my right my, my mind thanks to your you almost broke my mind. This is like recurring recurring rhetoric. You broke my mind and my spirit. You almost baned me in in nightfall, bro. You almost I you almost broke my back, you know, like man, but you didn't break my spirit, dude. Her friend, it's underscore polish, which I'll get to him in a minute. So yeah. Okay, so this is another person here. And to be honest, this guy or this kid been getting on my nerves too. I don't like his So again, this kid. Do you think it makes it better that it's a kid? Like you're not blocking them status hey you're gay lol that's cool his stupid tone with the whole yandere dark tone but this is the guy yandere. this is the kid right here his name is it's underscore pilomation and to be honest this piece of shit has been trying to fucking piss me and my also my other beer friend goes in, goes by the name of mega major man i think he's also a mega fan fan and to be honest me and him can't deal with this guy anymore this kid anymore. so block them because i was in westopolis world in, v in vr chat and westopolis world oh my god this is like sonic user drama in like VR chat worlds based on Shadow the Hedgehog levels. Oh my god. D to think that Westopolis world even exists in VR chat is outstanding. This kid just Who would ever want to be in Westopolis? You have to play that level like 60 fucking times to beat Shadow the Hedgehog. Why would you ever want to go there in your fucking spare time? Likes to get on my fucking nerves. Tell me that and he was making threats to me. He was making threats to me saying that oh if I don't actually change or if and if I don't choose the right path or the right answer, then you're gonna you're gonna you guys are gonna remove me from What is happening? What the right path? Threats to me. He was making threats to me He makes threats. This kid makes threats saying to me. Saying that oh if I don't actually change or if and if I don't choose the right path or the right answer, then you're gonna you're gonna you guys are gonna remove me from your friend list? Go fuck yourself. It's underscore Polymation, you are a one of the sickest fucks! Okay, so now, the same thing is being said about this guy as was said about the previous person. This thing about, <coughs> you tried to make me change, you tried to break my mind, blah blah blah. And now this person is being said to, like, you're, you're, you're gonna kick me off of your friend lists. Like, is this a preemptive, is this a don't fire me, I quit? Like, they, they've they cancelled me, they've unfriended me, they don't like me, so I'm gonna call them out. Is that why he can't just block them? Is that, I think that might be it. It might be like a that kind of thing, I'm not sure. I was saying, then your prof- your stuff says, heh, <laughs> you're gay, no, you're gay, you piece of shit, motherfucker! You are not gonna ruin my fucking life! Huh. At this very day, you're gonna wish! You did not piss me off. You almost broke my mind. You almost did. Almost did. I, I'm screaming at children on VR chat now, and you almost broke my mind to make me worse than that. But I thankfully have retained my composure. I did not listen to you. So you know what? It's underscore Polymation. If you got something to say to me, say it right now. But to be honest, you're not going to say it because you're a piece of shit. So to be honest, it's underscore Polymation. Yeah, you fucking tell those children. Eat shit. Karma's a bitch is coming right back at it. Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit, motherfucker. I'm not standing shit no more. So guys, if you want to go talk, if you guys want to go teach this motherfucker, listen, if you guys have a VR chat, go type his name. I'll put his name on the on the video as well as in the description so that you guys can go find this asshole in VR chat. He even said he was gay! Been getting on my nerves since day five. I really need to put that on the soundboard, but just, he even said he was gay! Fucking one. And I want you to find this motherfucker and teach him a lesson. So yeah, it's underscore Polymation, go fuck yourself. You're never gonna break my mind, and you're never so gonna- wait, wait, wait. So yeah, it's underscore Polymation, go And I want you to find this motherfucker and teach him a lesson. Um... Yeah...
No, we'll say eight, eight like eight, just eight, uh, you know, yeah, just eight minutes. That's fine. There you go. I mean, that's just like such a direct, like, go fucking teach this, like, yeah. I don't know about that one, man. Say it, it's underscore population, go fuck yourself. You're never gonna break my mind, and you're never gonna tell me how to run my fucking life, okay? So fuck off, you piece of shit. Fuck you! And have yourself a terrible day. Okay, and last but not least, this guy right here. Last but not least. So this is the last one, but this video has like another 20 minutes to go still. Originally, I just don't like VR Boy that much because Snark he keeps Wing saying Dark. that I keep repeating the same past all over again and again and again. I don't care. And my username used to be called Suck. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I need to get the music right for this. I need to get the music right for this. You're never, you're not gonna break my mind, chat. Just give me a second here. Just give me a second. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Never gonna break my mind, never gonna troll my all, never gonna leave my basement behind me, never gonna fuck around, never gonna block this kid, never gonna leave VR chat and touch grass. You know, that was good, that was good. I, uh, that was good, uh, was that just, was that just Larm? It was, thank you, just Larm. I'm here for but not anymore, but this piece of shit is nothing but a troublemaker, and I understand he has a, a broken troll, leg. A troublemaker. But to be oh. honest, this guy's this kid's been getting on my nerves since day one. Just because I want to talk about my problems, not all the time, but sometimes. And to be honest, you could say VR Boy Seven Zero Six is nothing more than a complete waste of time. Okay, I don't want to see his fucking face anymore. And to be honest, I should have never introduced him to records. I don't want to see his face anymore. Well, he's like probably twelve, so you shouldn't. I don't think so. I don't think you should. Anyway, because if I didn't introduce to records or anybody else none of this would have happened and to be honest i'm done with this asshole so vr boy i was once friends with you but now i'm no longer your friend anymore so to <laughs> be honest you can do us uh, all favor what a shame damn you seem like a great guy and go fuck yourself okay you're a piece of shit and a waste of my time so you records and pollination you guys you're not going to break my mind. You are not going to break my mind. No matter what you do, me and my fucking Nakama have my- They have my backs, goddammit. I don't care what you say. I'm going to become the king of the pirates, and I'm going to find the One Piece. I'm breaking yours. I'm breaking your mind. I will say what you guys said. If you don't choose that right path and do what I tell you guys to do, then guess what? I'm going to remove you from friends. I'm going to remove you as we speak. So, yeah. So yeah, this is the user right here. We are boys. Yeah, no, the bio is written in like child speak. That's a good way of putting it. Here is wait, 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 wait. No. No, wait, wait. <laughs> it's not a good meme. Here is all of my friends I like to play with. Sonic Gamer Fan and Tori and Ferris and this like 20 year old man like fuck you you're not gonna break my mind you're a piece of shit i hate you we're like, not friends anymore this guy's been getting on my nerves since day one and i'm tired of this okay i just want to talk about my problems my past whatever so yeah but this is like the last person i want to discuss about so yeah he's wearing a sonic picture and then stats is wearing a sonic picture kill me i don't know why he put that but His status says kill me. <laughs> I don't want anything to happen to him, but he needs to understand that when you try to tell me that, oh, I'm not supposed to talk about your past, shut up. I can tell whatever my damn past I want, okay? Wait, because what? me, along with my friend, Curry Fan Official, who also. Wait, I thought your other fucking. I thought the other guy that you didn't like. Who's black, by the way. Uh, I thought the other guy that you didn't like. His whole thing was he kept talking about his past and how people tried to fuck him. And how you weren't okay with having to hear about his past. But now this other person, literally their exact complaint with you is that, is that, is that they don't want to hear about your past. And you're like, fuck you, I'll tell you whatever I want about my time in the Swedish military. As a YouTube channel, and also my, my good, my good, 
longtime friend, Darkness Twilight, and YT underscore Mini Ninja. We guys, all of us are autistic. We have. No. no. What? No, no, no. Now that funny name. That is, but uh, also what you just saw was cringe, also. We have problems, we've, we've been bullied in school, and we can't deal with people who like to bully us online. Bullying is wrong, you piece of shit, motherfuckers! Bullying can lead to suicide! I'm talking- What the fuck is wrong with you? You, VR boy 706 it's underscore population and Sinktor Records. So if you got a problem, the only I can say to you guys is go fuck yourselves. You're yeah. never gonna break my You're fucking You're never gonna mind. break my mind! So shut the fuck up! Never gonna break my mind! Shit. Go see a therapist and see what the fuck is wrong with you! It's underscore population also said he almost killed somebody, and he what? almost regretted it too, like he regretted it. And to be honest, he doesn't care about anybody but himself. So yeah, fuck these guys, and fuck you VR boy. You piece of shit motherfucker. I don't want to see you. It's underscore Pollination or Sinto Records ever again. Never. I'm done with you guys. Fuck off. So there you go. That this is the guy, by the way, if you've just joined us. This is the guy shouting at these children, by the way. <laughs> oh, oh, it's beautiful. This is why I stream. This is what this is. You know, the super chats are nice, and I appreciate them, but this is why I stream right here. That was... This is, this is what I do it for. The video of these three... These three... But that wasn't the whole video. We're not even halfway into it, sir. People. Or these three... Say it. Say it. Say the U word. Say the U word. Say it. Say the U slur. Do it. These three... Ooh, what are they? These three people who were getting on my nerves since day God one. damn it! And if you guys can find their names on Vertra, we appreciate it. I need you to go teach them a lesson. Tell them some gamer fans know, but don't say my YouTube name. Don't, 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 do not say my YouTube name. Just say only my username, because you know, I'm getting sick and tired of these idiots. And to be honest, they're gonna wish they did not piss me off. So yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Save the video for archival purposes. I mean, I felt like reporting it personally. I felt like it was, it was like very like I didn't even report the other thing with the you know anime jo Josue me person because I, I don't know. It was just so outlandish and ridiculous. This is, like, so just angry and, like, direct, like, go fucking teach them a lesson, and, like, and, like, he's just, he's just angry, and there's not even, like, a, like, it's, it's funny, too, but it's also just, like, a lot more, this is just uncomfortable, I mean, this is just this, this old man yelling at these children, like, <laughs> about how they aren't good friends and they aren't gonna break his mind, and and there's no funny music. He's not going. That's right, Mega Man. It's it's just like d played completely seriously. And 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 I don't know. This this yeah. I would I would I would say it. It felt to me like something. I I felt like I felt like reporting it for harassment. But uh, but that being said, absolutely save it for archival purposes. This is a this is a wonderful video. I mean, this video should be. A cherish. This is a treasure. Save the whole channel, though, for archival purposes. I mean, really, because Astro Boy, the, some of them are starting to delete videos. You got to be just, you know, the first line of anything we any anything is should be preserved just in case, in case anybody starts, you know, getting any Iron Rathian ideas. This is my last rant video, but like I said, no, these it guys isn't. this is the, this came out before the video about the, the other user that we already looked at. Never break my mind and every channel because if I have a lot of depressing issues and I have to talk about my past, I will. Okay? But well, what about that black kid who wanted to talk about his like abuse issues or whatever, but you you don't want to listen to that? Right now, I'm happy now as we speak, but I will never ever join their side. So yeah, in conclusion, Sinto Records, Palomi it's underscore Palomation, and VR Boy Sensor 6, I exposed your <laughs> I exposed You know, who's to say that you know, they said that a human job of the hut would never work out, but I'm not it's fine, it's not that's, that's mean, that's mean, not a bully stream. We're not bullying people. Bill ass on VR bullying. chat. Go fuck yourselves. Is he is he happy now, by the way? Is he a happy person now? Are uh, ya yeah. happy? Happy. And if you ever, ever, what is their do side to me again? I will report your VR chat account. Why don't you just block them, though? It doesn't matter because you'll never see me on VR chat anymore. If you ever do that again, do what? I will.
report you. Report your, them for what? Your check. For breaking your mind? But I'll let my YouTube friends take care of your sorry ass. My YouTube so, friends. So yeah, if you want to see their- This is just very literal brigading and like, go fucking troll this person, go harass this person kind of thing. Uh, which is not allowed on YouTube. Definitely don't go harass this guy or anything, but if you feel that this is uh, against the rules or something, you might want to <clears throat> react in whatever way you feel is appropriate. Uh, but, uh, you know, yeah, he is very directly telling people to, to do to do his bidding because he doesn't like these people. For usernames on VR chat, on VR chat I'll put their names in a video. I'll I can put I'll probably keep the the text up for like ten seconds, so you guys can go find these assholes. Keep the text up for like two minutes each at least. You want to friend them and talk to them fine, but you need to, but before you unfriend them, just let them know that Sonic Gamer fan has handled with your shit. Or exposed their sorry ass, their sorry asses. Exposed their sorry asses for what was it again? The first one just wanted to be friends with someone and talk about their issues, which is also what you're complaining about and is your problem with someone else. Yeah, that's funny. Actually, you exposed their sorry asses. The first one just wanted to talk about his past, and you didn't want to listen. The second one I don't remember. The third one wouldn't let you talk about your your past because they didn't want to listen. So yeah, you really you really exposed them there. That's good. And tell them I'm sick of their shit. So if you guys have a VR chat account, go expose these guys. These guys have been getting on my nerves since day one. And he's to fucking stop. It's getting annoying, and I'm sick and tired of records always. Yeah, he's, also, he's also asking people to go not just like report them or troll them or whatever, but he's asking people to go be friends with them. And then, like, message them, and then before they unfriend them, yeah, to literally just, like, spy and pretend to be their friends or something, and then, like, and then be like, Sonic Gamer Epic Sonic Fan sends his regards! And fucking two to the back of the head, or whatever the fuck, like... Give me advice. I don't want to do this anymore! I don't want to visit this... It's still fucking roleplay, I'll find that phrase, okay? I don't fucking hear that! So yeah, so there you go. Those are all the people I exposed. This and goes on for over half this video. He's already exposed everybody, but wait, no, he has more people. He has more people. There's another guy. Honest, I'm done with this. Oh, one last thing. One other guy. I also wanted to let you know that I did a bio here. And oh, this is him. This is him. I am no longer Sonic Gamer fan. You once knew I had enough of people who are aggressive to me nearly broke my spirit and my mind. People like Singtor Records, It's Pilomation, and VR Boy have crossed the line for the last time, and I will never change because me, Kirby Fan Official, and my friends in real life have autistic problems, and you pieces of crap will not tell me how to ruin my life. You are nothing but blackmailers, and in, in, so in conclusion, I'm gonna say fuck it. Fuck them. Um... <clears throat> well, all right. So a lot of people that are watching, I think. Now, all of us here. What was the clip that he said earlier? All of us have autism. Uh, yeah, a lot of people here have autism. Probably all these fucking people have autism too. Like, I don't. That's not like just a card you can play, sir. I, that's not the way that works. There are a lot of people who are like working in positions of like government or whatever who are high functioning autistics or whatever. Like, that's not really just. A blanket statement that people try to use that like well but I'm autistic like well yeah but go, but go fuck yourself because like that's just kind of an insult to a lot of people who are autistic and actually you know live their life and and aren't and aren't uh, having uh, having strange tism battles with children on the internet um, but he's uh, but yeah they're never gonna change <coughs> I like this too this this is such a bad mindset to have about yourself because, like, you've crossed the line for the last time. I will never change. And me and Kirby Fan Official, we're autistic. And so we can just never change, apparently, according to this guy. Well, I don't know. That's really not good to you or other autistic people to think that about yourselves. That's not true. That's just not true at all. These people are, sound like they're trying to be helpful and, like, nice to you and, like, try to... 
I don't know, help you with your problems or whatever and be like, yeah, you can maybe change your life in some way. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's not what happened, but like, you know, you can change if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. And I'm just going to let you know, guys, that this is the bot I wrote here. Um, sorry, I clicked that. This is what I wrote, and to be honest, I'm actually done with these people. So here's, what's, here's what, what my bio says. And don't worry why it says the three dots, it's just how it is. So yeah, as you can see, my status is doing a rant video on YouTube right now. So yeah, it says here, I'm no longer Sonic Air fan you once knew. I had enough of people who oh, are aggressive yeah. app will not tell me how to run my life. You are nothing but blackmailers. So in conclusion, I'm gonna say, fuck, it's underscore polymation yourself. Really go fuck yourself. So yeah, I forgot to write that. So yeah. So there you go. That was uh, the whole video of my rant. Man with, a, with like just under half of a video left. That was the whole video against these idiots who are idiot users. getting my nerves. Idiot users. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say right here that I'm done with people on VR chat who are getting on my nerves. Not, not everyone. Not every friends are mean. Some of them are nice to me. But like I said, I'm done with this shit. This is like... Like, I get that you're autistic, I get that you're developmentally disabled, and you're talking about this in, like, a very childish sort of... Not at all of my friends who are mean. Some of them are nice to me. Like, I just... It's a failure of parenting, ultimately. I mean, I, I, I feel... But on another level, it's like, this seems to be an adult. Where do you just take personal responsibility? Yes, your parents neglected to raise you effectively as an autistic child but now you are an adult and at what point do you just have to recognize that this is not the way to behave yes your parents ultimately probably should have raised you better and led you on <clears throat> on the right path but much like chris chan it's like this is just who you fucking are now right so so like when you you can't you don't just need to do you don't do this like oh but i'm autistic i can't change no you you can't stay the same is what you can't do because what you are doing currently is talking to fucking children on vr chat and raging at them and 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 all of this fucking insane shit what you're doing currently is not something that is sustainable i i'll tell you um so changing is really the only option and, and, and being autistic doesn't really even enter into it. Uh, I mean, it does. I guess that makes it a little bit harder, but it, it uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of irrelevant in the, in the grand scheme of things. It's just knowing that this is not the way you fucking handle yourself. This is just, I don't know, man. And it is like somebody needs to guide him to some, to some degree or, you know, Somebody like him, and I, I talk about him in the same way that I'm talking about, like, every user ranter. The Dogs Eating Dog 6, Origami Kingdom, Astro Boy people. All of these people where it's like, what do you even do at this point? You're like grown-ups, or you're approaching grown-ups. Everybody that we've looked at has either been, I mean, it's not, unless I've clicked off the video really quick anyway, has either been an adult or somebody who sounds like they're probably in their late teens. You know, like 16 to, to 18 kind of thing, um, which I suppose is also an adult, but you no, know, 18, but, um, uh, you know, late teens, like Tamatoa Gaming Die, I think he was like 16 or something uh, in that one video. Um, and so, you know, these are people who are basically fully formed humans and their parents just did not fucking like guide them in the direction that they needed to be in like, hey, you d should not be trying to be friends with children. You really should not be out here trying to be friends with fucking like 14 year olds on VR chat or Minecraft or fucking Roblox or whatever, you know, um, and, and, and it's like, but again, you're now an adult. It's, it's your place to eventually be like, no, I have to be some some degree of an adult. To some degree. Not even, you don't even have to, like, go get a job. I'm just saying behave somewhat more like an adult person with an adult perspective. Which is difficult, but it's like, you've got, somebody's just got to step in and be like, this is not the way you live your life. 
This is, you have posted cringe. You have fucking posted cringe. People are, are you guessing his age? Yeah, how old is this gentleman? Multiple people are saying 28. I don't know who said 28 first. I could see 28. I would not have problems believing he's 28 if you told me that. I could also see, you know, early 20s. I don't think he's in his teens. I think this is a man. This is a grown-up. I believe this is a grown-up. I suppose it, at the very youngest, it could maybe be like a really unfortunate, like, 17 or 18-year-old. But I would say, like, mid-20s, if I had to guess. And to be honest, if people are going to continue to tell other people to fucking change and break their minds, it ain't going to happen. You're not going to do that to me anymore, okay? And you're not, you're not going to tell me how to run my fucking life, because right now as we He's speak, 28. you guys already He did a B-Day video a couple days ago. Okay, this is from six months ago. Dude, no. 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 Oh, that sucks. You really are 27 when this came out. Oh, God. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> No, you can't live your life this way. You are going to be in jail eventually. This is just not the way the world works. I'm sorry you think you're autistic and therefore... I mean, I'm so, you are autistic, but like, I'm sorry that because you're autistic you think that you can't change. But no, 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 sir. If you do not change, you will be... On a, you will be in a police lineup eventually, and they will point to you. Blackmailers. You like to blackmail me and my friends he like that? He is older. Off. How many people in chat is this man older than? He's probably, he's younger, he's, he's younger than me, because I turned 29 in a couple months. But he's older than a lot of fucking people here. Off. And I'm sick and tired of your shit. So if you ever... If you ever do that again, and I guarantee you, you won't, you're going to be sorry. You're going to be wish you did not piss me off. Because at the end of the day, you're going to realize how those people are having problems now as we fucking speak. So don't ever do this again. So yeah, I'm done with VR chat. And I'll probably not come back. Maybe. If not, oh well. Oh, oh no. Anyways, oh well. thanks for watching, guys. And um, let me just take care of one more thing here. Less than one minute. Yep, my VR chat count. Wait. It says 634. Uh-oh. What's happening? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, well, um, I was just checking this right now. Anyways, guys... I made my decision. I'm done. Huh. And for those few three VR chat users who got my nerves, this is what I'm going to say to you. Huh. Yeah, that's... You don't tell me how to run good, my life. Good job. And you don't tell others how to run their life. Don't... It's like... Tell others how to run their lives. Like, what do you even expect happened in this scenario, you know? Was it literally just like, hey man, maybe you should consider blah blah blah? Like, was it just a friendly thing? Probably. Probably. If I had to guess. Because us people are autistic and we have artistic problems. So if you do that again, huh, huh, huh. and I tell you won't, you're gonna regret it. Yeah, like, this is what happens. I don't know. It's just like in, in like, 20 years ago or something, it's not that a person like this wouldn't have ha still had some issues, but I feel like the whole mommy coddling fucking, oh, he's autistic, he's autistic, put him in a fucking f precious foam padded cell because he's autistic, put him in a helmet because he's fucking autistic, like, I don't know, this is the end result of that, is just somebody who thinks that everything they do is acceptable because I'm autistic, and how dare you tell me to change, how dare you say anything I'm doing is inappropriate, I'm autistic, I can't do anything, I'm just a complete useless lump of a fucking person because I've been evidently raised to think that of myself, which is just sad, really. I mean, fuck. Don't ever fucking ever do that to me ever again, you pieces of shits.
fuck off! And now if you excuse me, I want to get back into some YouTube contests. But right now, I need to take a break. One more thing. Before, before this VR chat account gets deleted because I requested it, I made two videos to give two shouts to very special guests. Uh -huh. I'm going to, um... I'm going to tell you who they are, the YouTubers, Very but I'm going special. to save that for the special shoutouts and also special guest appearances. What the fuck is the rest of this video even going to be about? Like he's he's done he's done he's done exposing the VR chat people. Some other time. Is it just like Hey, stay for a watching, guys. Shit? If you like this video, give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace out. Oh my god, I, I need some we're still time going. to cool off from YouTube. Because I can't going. deal with this drama anymore. I can't. Peace out, but but we're still... The, the, that, that guy who, who's like, Alright, bye! Yeah, you know, the, it's been crazy lately. Like, just keeps talking. Huh? Okay, alright. Anyways, guys. This was Sonic State Gamer. Hopefully this guy's got the message. And, um... Yeah. I'm done. I don't know if I'll be able to come back on VR chat because right now speak there's like a lot of toxic members on VR chat who are really rude and nasty. And there I sure are, man. You know, if there's one thing I've learned from this video, it's to watch out for weird people on VR chat who are rude and nasty. That's unequivocally a lesson that I've learned in this video. I will never, I would never get to their dark side. Never will. As M64 was once said. I will never join your dark side. I will never fucking change. I'm autistic, and you're not going to tell me how to run my life. You're not my parents, and you're not my aunt, my uncle. Like, seriously. Stop. Mm. This thing's a spread message everywhere around the world. Stop blackmailing autistic people. What do you mean blackmailing? I mean, do you know what blackmailing even means? Is this like when they talk about framing? What do you mean blackmailing? Fucking blackmailing. What is that? What, like they were te saying they were going to expose you or something? I, I don't know about blackmailing, man. Enough is enough. I'm tired of shit. Anyway, sorry for cursing this video, but I had to get this. And so, like, he's, I guess, like, any friend who tries to give him advice or any kind of critique of his character at all is just trying to tell him how to run his life. And they need to be exposed and ranted about, I guess. That's, that's cool. Out, so yeah. Next time when you see me in a good mood, I'll make better content videos. <laughs> anyway Next time he'll make better content. Well, I mean... I guess we can maybe move on from this, like, how much, it's like, what's the rest of this? Like, you jump to the middle of this part. What is, what's going on here? Actually, nothing but cyberbullying, dramas. I'm tired of this shit. Uh -huh. It needs to stop, okay? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. And once again, VR Boy, Sinktor Records, and it's underscore Polymation. You do not So he just continues. Do you do not. Blackmail Random. me and say that oh if you don't if you make the wrong if you make the wrong choices then we're gonna if you, then we're gonna remove you. Shut the fuck up. I will expose you on YouTube and I'll do it again. Why don't you make a YouTube channel and come at me? Talk. Come at me at Streamer and let's talk. Or better yet, chicken out and fuck off. <clears throat> He's like challenging them to a fucking destiny debate now, like so they can have a fucking like Twitch debate stream where they call each other pedophiles or something. For at least one of them who call, if they call him one, I mean, I don't know, but. So anyways, if you guys have your chat account, go teach these people a lesson. Teach these kids not to fucking mess with me. I have a you, life wait, to Wait, why did you edit I don't there. have time for these people to get on my nerves. Except for a few people I can trust. Anyways, don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to get going now. One last thing, if you guys want to subscribe also to my second channel where I do reaction One videos, last thing, I'll put a link down in the description below or through the annotations. So you guys go subscribe to my second channel. There I do reaction videos as much as creep pasta storytelling. He has a second channel. Okay, we have to stop watching. This is funny, but we have to stop watching this. He has a second channel. 
So the video I was supposed to watch was his rant about Rare. But he has a whole fucking second channel where he does what now? Like reaction videos or something? Oh my god, his his friends list is all these like children. Or at least it looks like children. Stuffy Kid 2005. Oh, I remember him. You don't fuck with him. He mentioned him, yeah. What is the channel? Hang on, hang on. What is the one he mentioned? Exposing VR players rant, and then he says Oops. he says that that's in his. Well, he says that that's in his bio or something or in his thing. Um, yeah, I'm really disappointed by the people that I'm seeing who are regular people who are posting comments on this video. I mean, I said, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, hands and feet within the bus. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Um, that's that's disappointing. You should you should you should you should know better. Um, but he says that the channel is here. It's not here currently. Um, it, it's it's not here currently. Um, I don't know where his other channel is that he does like reaction videos. If somebody knows where it is, that would be funny. I, I want to look at some of this rare rant. I think, is he going to complain? Is he going to say Banjo-Kazooie sucks? That might be funny. Um, he's apparently done other rants about rare before, but the final rant is the big one here from four weeks ago. And then he has another video right after it, which is about rare. So I don't know how final it actually is, but it's maybe that's less of a rant. What possible reason would we have? I, you know, actually, we just watched that video. I think we have every... Uh, we, we know exactly why viewer discretion would be advised based on what we've seen, you know? So this is a video that he's had trailers for and all this shit. This is like a big deal. He's going to have big production values on this shit. So the first one, I'm introducing Ray, yeah? Yeah, so... Oh, what's your... <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> My name's Craig so Duncan. We're here. It's like rare. Okay. Yeah. No, this is more. This is more what I'm talking about. This is my speed. The finest developers in the world. <laughs> oh boy! Look at these two pirates who are claiming to be wannabes of Pirates of the Caribbean. think you are I don't what? think there's any other studio like us anywhere in the world what <laughs> I'm sorry he got he's upset that he got too much pirate action that's what just happened there what did you say again say that again I don't think there's any other studio like us anywhere in the world the there is a studio like you guys and everyone anywhere else in the world what the f newsflash Playtime Games is in UK. Nintendo UK. Get straight to your damn facts, you stupid company. Rare. And Louise O'Connor, I lost a lot of respect for you. I mean, what is he even, what's his point? Why is he mad? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is, why is he mad? What for you? I thought you were something special, but you let Microsoft brainwash your stinking ass. Oh, it's because of, like, modern Rare sucks. I mean, yeah, I guess that's fair. I, I suppose that's a fair thing to be complaining about, that they've been working on, like, fucking one game for a decade or something. And if you don't care about Sea of Thieves, then who gives a shit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, modern Rare is kind of unfortunate. MODERN RARE! Um, it's, it's pretty unfortunate. Uh, so I guess that's what he's, that's what he's uh, upset about. Building is full of history, it's full of love, it's full of creativity and culture. Yeah, it's full of creativity, like Microsoft's giving you creative freedom just so you, you can make newer games and not the older games. It's okay. It's okay, Star Fox Ventures. It's okay, Crystal. I'll keep you guys safe. Huh. 
surrounded by fields and is trees. Is he a and... crystal guy? Is he a fucking crystal dude? God. Is he one of those? Is he... Oh, God. That was not even... That's like... I mean, people like that game, but it's certainly not one of, like, the classic rare titles of all time, I guess. I mean, it's like... It's it's fine. It's a fine game. People o over hate it and underrate it, but it's it's it's. I mean, I haven't played it, but from what I've seen and heard, it's it's fine. You know, it's pretty good. I think from what I've heard, it was going to be better when it was Dinosaur Planet, but he's like holding that up as an example of classic rare or something. I, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is like modern, uh, modern rare, all about Sea of Thieves and um, that fucking other thing they're making that nobody cares about. And football pitches, and it's like we have over a hundred acres to ourselves. Bristol is his dynamite gal. You know, <clears throat> I tried looking up dynamite gal on YouTube, but unfortunately, I mostly only got stuff related to that Vanellope character, which I believe is what they're where that term d originates is from, like Wreck It Ralph two, or maybe just the first one. But, um, uh, yeah, no, I wasn't able to find, like, somebody whose dynamite gal was Meg Griffin or something, who, who had a, who unrelated to that had a rant video about, like, the WWE, and they, and it also used lobster font and screamed over Mario music, and it was completely unrelated. Sadly, I did not find that channel, but I'm sure it exists. I that exact on channel. Rakers. You're gonna get sued by Disney. Believe me. You don't take that from Winnie the Pooh or from something. What? I once found a river with a bridge and. Wait, 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 what? Because to us, hundred acre wood. Are you? What are you? What are you fucking talking about? Trees and paths and football pitches and it's like we have over a hundred acres to ourselves. A hundred acres. Is he making a joke? Is this supposed to be a joke? You're gonna get sued by Disney. Believe me. You don't take that. Yeah, I think that's a... Is that a joke? Am I autistic? Can I not tell because I'm autistic? From Winnie the Pooh or from something. I once found a river. Yeah, it's my cousin Pooh Eduardo, yeah, who, who lives in the Hundred Acre Wood. The bridge and... The, the Woodinho. And I don't know where it is anymore. We decorate the studio to make it feel as authentic as possible to the things that we're doing. So it feels like it's a fun place to come in to work, right, every day. Ah, uh, there's Banjo, Kazooie, and Viva Piata dancing. Piñata dancing. <laughs> I hate rare! <laughs> I really love working here in Twycross uh, at our facility because it feels a lot like a home away from home. Oh, an N64 on the shelf. Huh. Interesting. I see a Viva Piata character on the shelf too. <sighs> I feel like I feel like we're supposed to get to a point in this video at some point, but like he just keeps kind of going along and like and like watching this video and I don't really I just don't know what the I just to what end I guess is is, is my question. Well, I really hate this studio right now. And their new location at Twycross? What? I'm part of that generation where rare games were a staple of our childhoods. It was just coming to a place that felt already quite close to my heart. Oh, look at all those rare, rare games they used to make with Nintendo back then. I think they're supposed to one for Sega, I think? Huh. Guess so. If you look back at the games that Rare has made over the past 30 plus years, there's just so many different genres that it's hit. And even with Sea of Thieves, you know, I can't think, you know, call me biased, but I don't really think there's anything on the market at the moment that's quite like it. <laughs> well, oh I mean, I don't think there is. That's kind of true. There's not really any other game that's quite like that, I, I, I guess. Um, there's stuff that's similar, but 
not quite to that uh, level, you know. Uh, is he gonna? Is he gonna acknowledge that at all? God, shut the. F no, no, nobody no, cares no. about you, stupid pirate of the Caribbean's wannabe. Pirates of the Caribbean. What? Because it's a pirate game, so it's Pirates of the Caribbean wannabe. Oh, I bet he'd say that about the One Piece show too. That's funny. I'm just imagining that now. Um, um, well, it's just a pirate game. I mean, there's pirates. There's loads of pirate stuff. Is is like is like Monkey Island a, a pirate wannabe? Like, I don't know. A, a, a pirate Pirates of the Caribbean wannabe? I, I don't know. Sid Meier's Pirates? And really? Sea of Thieves? We're like Sea of sh Okay, he really got him there. I can't argue with that one. That's pretty good. That's clever. Oh, I muted it. Oh, the, the, that, that one was so funny that it muted the audio. We're like Sea of sh Cause that game is sh What Rare Games are is, is always trying to do something different, trying to do something unique, something that makes you smile, that makes you laugh, and really brings people together as well. Ooh, try to make something different, like how Microsoft has forced you to keep making these stupid decisions. We're making stupid decisions, making newer things, different things. Nobody f Nobody wants new, different things. We can't change. We're autistic. Uh, we want just Banjo Kazooie forever. Well, that's fair, actually. No, I actually don't want. The, I mean, I, I I do agree with him. I want the, I want the pirate game. Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't want the pirate game either. I I do agree. I mean, generally, I do agree with what he's saying here. I guess it's it's it, his enthusiasm is one thing, but like, yeah, no, I would I would really give up all of Sea of Thieves and that other thing they're making and every other like connect sports game or whatever for you know banjo kazooie 3 but then it wouldn't really be it probably wouldn't be very good honestly nowadays like rare would not make it i don't know i don't i don't have faith in that so i i don't know you know maybe just let them do what they want you know maybe i don't know you know what this one thing your stupid taste rare games oh i don't know what you just said sir but i don't know if crystal deserved that domestic abuse I, the the effort that he went to to censor this video is admirable. I mean, I don't know why he went to that effort. He said viewer discretion is advised. So one would think that if you were advised, you know, you might just be okay with the swearing. But um, no, he, 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 he censors it, which seems like extra work for him. And really, it's not working that well. It also ducks out the audio around it, so it kind of makes the video harder to listen to. Sorry, Star Fox and Crystal. Yeah, this is like if the Nintendo shit cube guy was real, actually. That's a good that's a good chat message. I'm sorry. Because that guy was a parody. We like to challenge ourselves to do new things, and we continue to do that, and I think that's just part of what the DNA of, of Rare is. Says the voice actor and creator of Conquer, who voiced Jug up from Conquer's Bat Verde. Oh, you're so cute, though. You're being brainwashed by Microsoft. You are f***ing race to the gaming community, and you mocking Nintendo like that is disrespectful. Why? I'll get to that later. Mocking Nintendo? That needs bravery, that needs support. He's gonna get to it later, though. Don't you worry about that. We need to create an inclusive culture where everyone's opinions are valued and ultimately the team works together to create something amazing. Craig Duncan, nobody gives a shit about what you say, okay? F***ing hate you and your stupid decisions. <laughs> man, I mean, tell it tell like it is, man. Tell tell them how you really feel. Say, so making something new, no, go, no going back to the glory. They f*** off. This is... This proves to show how much the gaming studios, except for Nintendo, say they're pretty cool. But this proves to show how much how today's gaming studios is f right now. I don't know. This seems like a very. I mean, this is warming me up to modern rare, if anything. But you're you're screaming about it, how it's bad. I mean, I don't know. I guess they are doing the whole everything is pride and inclusivity right now. I see the rainbow flag. The guy was talking about something something diversity. So this is probably about to get real bad. A melting pot of different people from oh, loads God. of different places in the UK, yeah. but 
okay, we're doing the thing. Then also different countries, and we've all come together and do one thing, and that's, and that's to make a great game. Oh, we even Ga have a peg leg. I'm being, I feel so represented. It's becoming so much more diverse now, and that's something that's quite close to my heart, and I know it is for a lot of people here in the studio as well and something like Sea of Thieves, where you can be whoever you want to be, you can be a lady with a beard if you want, you can go oh. and do that and you can experience that. And we're so not brave! Anyone Nobody will be excluded! I'm so excited for, for what we're trying to do. Like we are okay, I do kind of hate this now, never mind, dude's right, dude's right. We're doing new, interesting, exciting things, even Ty is excited, <laughs> so much so he's panting heavily. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, why are you bringing- this is your complaint? Is the is the name of the dog or whatever is Ty? Was it a dog? <laughs> yeah, it was a dog. Did you name your pet after this character? No. Because if you did, I'd rather call Chrome Studios right now and report your story. What the fuck? Is this a joke? Like, I can't tell if he's trying to be funny here or if he actually thinks that's how, like, the world works. I can't- I- that's such a pull. That is incredible. That is so incredible. I mean, I thought it was a joke the last time, too, but, oh, that's incredible. The part of one of the biggest companies might be in the world joke. with some of the most forward-thinking leaders in the world. And so, when we're thinking about what we can do next, for me, the sky's the limit. Rare's incredibly well placed for the future. I feel privileged to lead the studio of fantastic people with a great culture, and that really means what we can achieve is unlimited. Uh, so is that it for that video? I think it is. The rest of the video, okay. The first eight minutes is just the intro, everybody. The rest of the video is when we get into the real meat of it, you know? That's it. I'm done. This fuck company is f well, I mean, is it better? Is it not better for them to do what they want to do rather than doing what Microsoft is fucking forcing them to do? I mean, maybe they are. Maybe Sea of Thieves is like a fucking corporate mandate or some shit, but like, I don't know. <clears throat> it feels more corporate to be like, crank out seven new Banjo Kazooies and Perfect Darks or whatever. Like, if, my, if they really wanted to be like a shill company, they probably could. But, like, they, I mean, they are just doing the kind of the thing they want to do, which is you kind of can't fault them too much for that. I don't know. But I guess you can. This guy can, anyway. You know, let's just get, let's just get straight to the point. Q intro. got another intro ladies and gentlemen eight minutes in we got an intro it's like one of those fucking amc shows that goes like 20 minutes it's like halfway done before the fucking credits theme plays love to see it love to see it so then the, the intro is five minutes long probably come on now very cool, very cool. oh my god and it just keeps going Okay, come on now, come on now. Yeah, yeah, metal! You know, I didn't want to make this rant video, but just like I did with the video I did last year ago, it was in 2021. I got that over with now. Nintendo, they're proving themselves. That's over with. But this isn't about Nintendo. This is about this one company I hate the most who don't give a shit about their fans, but themselves. So anyways, what is going on everybody? How y'all doing? This is the Sonic City Gamer, and today this will be my final rant video against the one company I so much. Oh, and a quick disclaimer, this video will be 18 plus, because even though I don't like to make these kind of videos, this... And you've made quite a few of them, and you rant, and you, you, you... It's 18 plus, but you're you're bleeping out the swears, and I don't see the point of like bleeping them out if it's 18 plus. Be the last time I'm gonna make a rant video about this. So, any kids who are watching this, anybody who are watching these videos right now, who are not 18 or years older, click off this video right now. You've been warned. I'm giving you five seconds to leave this YouTube channel or leave the video right now. 
five, four, three. It's okay, man. Two. It's okay. I'm on board. One. You still here? I'm here. Okay. At least well, for a little bit. You've been warned, so prepare yourself because I'm gonna rant. I'm about to say some slurs as big as I can for this company. So as you guys as may know, as big as he can. My rant is this many. No. Rare was one of the best video game companies I've always enjoyed, you know, playing their games. They also, they also developed good games with Nintendo back in the late 90s. They were like the Beatles and the golden era of gaming. Games that would have been inspired for years to come. But apparently, things didn't go as planned. And there's like a couple of things I wanted to show, and also to make Rare jealous, because I guarantee you, Rare's not gonna like what I'm gonna say in this video. So prepare yourself. And any, any Microsoft fanboys, and I'm not talking about the positive ones, the toxic fanboys of Microsoft who defend Rare, who are not Nintendo fans, you are complete morons. Except for my friend, Darkness Twilight. He's, <laughs> He's not fan. a moron. I respect you for that. But He's I'm cool. gonna go all out on Rare because I can't take this so back in the late 90s and <sighs> I don't know, he's gonna go off about Rare, and that's fine, he'll continue, and I'm sure that'll be great. I think we're gonna call it here though. I'm uh I'm getting I'm getting pretty sleepy. I think this guy's channel is pretty fun, if it exists and people haven't like reported him or whatever, uh in the next next few times I stream, you know, we might look at him again. I have one other video I wanted to look at tonight, but I'm going to be saving that for tomorrow. That's 1UP Films guy. If you remember the Mario adult dude who looked like Nanba from Yakuza 7. Pretty cool guy. Pretty cool guy. Um, I still have to fucking get dinner or something. Jesus. Uh, but it is it is getting it is getting a little bit late. This has been fun. It, did, it went lo way longer than I expected that we would because uh, fucking it, 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 crazy people keep on crazy and... Um, so we got a few, we got a few super chats here to read. Um, let me see here. Uh, TF2 is for casuals. Two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Now that's a funny meme. Yeah, two bucks from a lady class. Look at the Venom or Trailer Trash one next. Oh, we looked at the Venom one. It was very fun. Five bucks from Dark 63. If he starts talking about the GDI and the Brotherhood of Nod, I'm out of here. I, I don't even know, man. 886 from uh, Exiled Postman. This one, Quinn's commentary on 14. Saeed Ferrari's rant on ML. Okay, slow your fucking roll there, Speed Racer. What the fuck is this now? Sa Saeed for Okay. Hang on. Hang on. What the fuck are you trying to say at me? What are these words? Sa num Quinn's commentary... Saeed, I'm just gonna say that. Okay, yeah, that's a there's a it's a baldy video. Well, I'll save it. I'll save it for next time. It's seven seven minutes and forty five seconds. Uh, let me see here. Two bucks from a lady class. Would you look at EDP four four five? Probably not. No, I I never found him funny particularly before the incident. I'd say he became funnier after. I you know, I'll give him that much. It's it's been funnier. The guy showing up dressed as a cupcake. The guy, uh, you know, he was there at a clinic for his kidneys, so he's, as, as Muda said, he's got a problem with his kidneys, but he doesn't have a problem with the kid on his knees. Um, uh, two bucks from Get That Griff, I would recommend Bosher Studios. He's a TTTE adult. I have seen him before, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I've definitely... Definitely seen the... What the fuck? Okay, I think he might have changed something. No, is that a different guy? Hang on. That's weird. Bosher Studios. Sarah and friends watch Bosher. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, I've heard of this guy. I don't think I've ever looked at him on stream, but I've heard of him. He's got, like, rage compilations and stuff, but I haven't seen... There's not too much of his content that's actually available from what I've seen. I guess he got like some some rage stuff, but no, nothing with like too much context. I could look into it. Five bucks from a lady class. Here's a good thing suggestion. Look at all tomorrows. You might look at you might like it. 
uh, Jabroni Mike and Frederick Knudsen look at it. There's also the Alt Shift X video. I don't know what that is. All tomorrows. Uh, what what is this? The future of humanity. All all tomorrows. Oh, it's what is this like a speculative sci-fi? Okay. I don't know what this is, but maybe I'll watch a video about it, I guess. Um, <laughs> thank you. Two bucks from Get That Griff. Have you heard of the Blue Puff Ball? Definitely worth a C. Uh, I will uh, give him a C. Hang on. Uh, save this. Uh, the Blue Puff Ball. Alright. The Truth About Hayden, a YouTube documentary, 500 subscriber special. Oh my god, it's the same shit again, because the the videos, the description says, Imagine making a 30 minute video towards a kid. Like, I get he did bad stuff, but this is kind of harsh. Okay, well, thank you. I can't believe we've got more of this. Talk about a TTTE adult. Uh, it's, a, it's another Thomas person. Uh, two bucks from Victor. I just got here and this goes hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had some good musical moments in the stream. Uh, Ten bucks from Ram. Hey, Claw. Thanks for keeping me sane a couple year for a couple years and inspiring me in more ways than one. Godspeed, man. Now let's smoke. Well, you know, I was doing a bit of that tonight. Uh, a little bit of the. I I got a new a new grinder that's a little bit less noisy and terrible. Uh, two bucks from from uh, and and you know thank you for thank you for watching the, for the past couple years by the way I, I appreciate it I hope you hope you're doing okay uh, two bucks from autistic wolf this guy is Steven Seagal if he never got famous indeed he sure he sure was he and he had three hundred confirmed kills too uh, two uh, five bucks from one salty bull oh what a great time <laughs> two bucks from Milady class last request look up anal sex rant had to censor. Well, I'll I'll give it a shot. Uh, anal sex rant. Anal schwinkte. Um, anal sex rant. Lake Travis school board meeting discusses anal sex with Kara Bell. Oh, okay. Well, it's only a, like a minute or something, but we can maybe look at it another time. That's fine. That sounds fun. She looks like a Karen. Um, two bucks from Kate. Happy Sunday, y'all. Make may your week go well. Well, hopefully. Thank you. May yours as well. Uh, two bucks from Delcos. I told you, Claw, he's wonderful. It gets way better. Oh, yeah, no, that was fun. It was fun. Um, the Crispy Hansen stuff. Uh, five bucks from Milady Class. You should listen to Gypsy Woman, She's Homeless by Crystal Waters. <laughs> It'd be fitting for the stream. Yeah, some vagrant rock. That's cool. Two bucks from Crispy Hansen. Don't message him, please. I don't want him running yet. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, people on this stream were, like, leaving comments on unnamed people regulars of the stream who i will now judge you i will now judge you having seen you know i mean they were harmless comments none nobody was telling him to kill himself or anything but it was like you should know better man come on now it's like come on it's like even even if you think you're being harmless you're tapping the fucking fish tank and they're they're all gonna go hide in their little castle and and it's not gonna be fun anymore you know you gotta be you got you don't you don't 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 message anybody don't call anyone two bucks from devotito have you, or De devotio have you seen the daniel larson arrest footage i haven't i you know i gotta do a whole gotta do a whole daniel larson thing really eventually uh two bucks from crispy hansen not me he's part of my newest investigation well godspeed seems like somebody to to do that with five bucks from Milady class this is random but have you ever watched spy family or read the manga of it i i, I was watching some of it it was pretty good i like the music i like the the family and everything uh i kind of lost interest when i found out that the author apparently fucking hates it or like something like, I don't know, he wanted to make a completely different story, and they're forcing him to make this romance comedy family thing, and um, he's, like, not into it, and I'm just like, well, it kind of ruins it for me a little bit. And I'm not really, it's not, it's not, it's, I don't know. So it just doesn't doesn't have the same, the same weight at this point. Five bucks from Hunter is near me. Howdy, Claw, long time no see. Got an interview tomorrow, so wish me luck. But uh, glad to see you're streaming before bed. Well, best of luck. You know, I hope you, uh, you probably aren't going to get this. This was two hours ago, but, you know, sweet dreams and all of that. Uh, I hope you get it. I hope, I really hope you get it. God, I hope I get it. Uh, two bucks from Victor Martinez. Smoking hot. I mean, 
there was some, the the man in the speedo was the picture of virility. Um, uh, Kate with two bucks. Burgers rise up. U.S. flag. Uh, five bucks from Obito. Long time viewer, first time donator. Me and my girl love your videos. Shoutouts, Liquid Richard. <laughs> Shout outs to the band world. Uh, thank you. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. I've always wanted to see Syndro Syndrome of a Down live. Yes. Two bucks from Autistic Wolf. If someone spliced DNA from Hitler and Patton Oswalt, I don't know about Hitler. Maybe the 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 goth kids from South Park a little bit. Five bucks from Big Ron, 1995. Video suggestion. I draw pictures of girls I like. Weird incel goes on a magic rant. A manic rant. Sorry. Re-upload. This dude got arrested for carjacking. Schizo guy. Yeah, that reminds me. I have another, like, schizo guy I need to look at. An incel-related dude. It was, like, this black, black guy who was, like, going off about... Uh, I think I did the thing, because I don't think it's actually relevant to the story that he's black. But I think it is a little bit, because incels are typically viewed as being, you know, like shrimpy, beta-cuck white guys or whatever. And it's not true. It's a diverse range of people. There's a, as many black incels, Indian, whatever. It's, it, really comes in, it really comes in all forms. Yeah, I think incels even themselves kind of project a little bit of that, like, you know, the, some, some, some of that, like... I don't know. They they racialize it in a way that's maybe not necessarily accurate, and it's like, well, you know, there's, and it, it affects everybody. Um, but but yeah, it's a certain individual that needs to be uh, analyzed. I think he has a video about Japanese girls that he he he, he likes or something, something like that. I, I forgot exactly, but it was it was interesting. I think that might have been a different guy on the same channel. Actually, I'm not sure. It was a channel that was collecting multiple people uh, of that type. Uh, I draw pictures of girls I like. Right, okay. Let me see out here. Pictures of girls I like. I like. There you go. Drawing my girlfriend mega realistic. I'm not seeing it. I think it might have been taken down or something. I draw pictures of girls that I like. Weird incel goes on manic rant. Weird incel manic rant. Nope, not finding it. Not finding it. That sounds fun though. That sounds like a good one. If you can get me a link to that or something, that'd be pretty fun. Um, Fifty dollars from Aurelius. I read this earlier. Justin Schramm, the guy who was really into home movies. Um, thank you very much for the suggestion, and I will save this for next time. Justin Schramm, uh, really into home movies, eh? Oh yeah, and he's oh god, oh he looks greasy. Oh boy. Um, yeah, next time. Join us tomorrow or something. I think. Um, let me see here. Five bucks from <clears throat> Michael Morbius. Uh, thank you again very much. Fifty dollars from Aurelius. We'll de we're definitely looking at that next time. I appreciate it. Five bucks from Michael Morbius. Meteor Man posted a short to contact him at in order to suggest content to him. The the high meat guy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can't think of anything that would be suitably disgusting, but I mean, I guess you know people could p p p people have that option. I guess that's cool. Four eighty five from Exiled Postman. Look up Quickway Diner Original Commercial. WMV. Quickway Diner. Diner. Quickway Diner. Original commercial. All right, I'll save this for later. Did I save the other thing? I did. Justin Schramm, anal sex. All right, all, all good. Two bucks from Victor Martinez. Look up how to deal with a Jewish vampire. Oh, hell yeah. Finally. Uh, Jewish vampire. How to deal with a Jewish vampire. It's only 17 seconds, but we're going to save it for next time. We'll save it for next time. Uh, probably going to just do more of like this kind of stream tomorrow. Just more suggestions and stuff. This is this has been good. Um, five bucks from Jaden Duffinger. What is it about Super Mario Logan that is so captivating to these people? I don't know. It's the, the puppet show thing. It, the mysteries abound, really. Uh, $20 from Aurelius. Yeah, the, the one-up film suggestion. Thank you again very much. I will be doing that for sure. Uh, that'll be the first thing we look at tomorrow because it was going to be something we did tonight. Two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Gomer Pyle, if he didn't go crazy in the army. Well, maybe he was already crazy. Two bucks from Get That Griff. Suggestion. No, Skibbity Toilet. Thank you. Two bucks from Co Coeval. Qu quick suggestion. Gay Mount Everest. 14 seconds. 
No, I, no, I doesn't doesn't matter that it's short. We're done. No more content. No more content for the evening. Content is done. But next time, join us next time. Game okay, Mount Everest. We will do it. Uh, we will do it tomorrow. I gotta. I still gotta try to like order a fucking pizza or something. Like I don't know something. Something needs to be open. Uh, man, it is 15 seconds. But no, nope, next time. Next time. We got some. We got some stuff saved. Some nice little little brief interjections. Uh, two bucks from my lady class. Would you ever look at weirdos on Tumblr? I mean, again, it's like, yeah, if somebody's on there. You asked me that about, like, Twitter and shit, too. Like, yeah, if there's somebody in particular, like, I don't have an aversion to the website in general. I will if there's somebody, but I don't know of anybody in particular, so not at the moment, I guess. If you have a name, if you have a specific person to look at, then then all, all aboard. Um, uh, five bucks from, from my lady class. A uh, Hale uh, actual last suggestion. Haley Kitty does art. Okay, we got a deviant art. This is what I'm saying. Haley. Okay, I'll uh, I'll look at this. I'll look at this. Uh, Haley Kitty does art. And we got a second username there as well. There might be another one, but I mean, I don't know. I'm already looking at this. There might be some stuff though. It seems interesting. The art doesn't seem that bad, but it might be bad weird contents or something, you know, just at a glance. It looks it looks better than what you might expect from Well, it's not great, but it you know, looks it's not drawn in crayons, you know. Um, five bucks from a lady class. Imagine if these ki guys who scream at kids online became parents. Oh god. Well, thankfully that'll never happen. <laughs> Two bucks from Autistic Wolf. I beg you to add, we are all autistic to the soundboard. I really should. That was good. I gotta make that a video, too. That whole segment. Two bucks from Deltos. Pay, pay attention, he's being blackmailed. I, I, yeah, like he says that. I don't know what he means by that. It's very confusing. Five bucks from Sonic Lol Productions. We got to come up with a term to describe people who blame autism for their degeneracy. Any suggestions? I, I don't know. I don't know what the term would be. But it's definitely a type of thing that's been happening a lot. And it's a shame because it's like it brings down other autistic people. People shouldn't think that about themselves. Like, oh, well, I'm just whatever, so I can't change my fucking ways or whatever you know it's not it's not healthy it's not a healthy mindset um for for them to have or to for you know other people to to have um uh let me see uh two bucks from a lady class again oh, god damn actual last actual actual last suggestion look at sonic 93 all right all right sonic 93 sonic 93 let me see here uh, Sonic 93 Wikitubia. All right. Well, this looks just dumb. I'll save it. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, uh, two bucks from Victor Martinez. I really got to go, but thanks for the stream, Claw Man. Well, thank you very much. And thank you. There were some, there were some gift subs and stuff, gift memberships. Thank you to everybody. I think it was Frenchie and Victor, and there might've been somebody I missed. So I'm sorry if I did, uh, cause it doesn't tell me on here if you do multiples. It, it, it tells me if the like one person joins. But like if it if it's like fifteen fucking gift subs, it won't tell me. It, it it's great. Thank you, Streamlabs. I mean, it tells me in the other thing, but but thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I hope everybody had a good time, uh, and everybody who got uh, a membership hopefully had 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 fun with that. Uh, getting to do smuggos and stuff. Two bucks from Kate. Do not under any circumstances touch the poo poo. Exactly. I don't like that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like that. You know, like the Simpsons lady. I don't like that. Uh, five bucks from. Rem, love you, Claw. Shower time and another bowl. Much love and appreciation. Take it easy. Pe yeah, take it easy. Penis. Exactly. Five bucks from uh, Oofies with two eyes. My friends and I want to make a podcast called The Rotism Spectrum. Not sure what we'll talk about, but I'm excited. Well, that's an exciting name, so yeah. It's like we decided to do Loud Equals Funny just based on the title alone, because that's a great title for a podcast. And then we styled it after fucking Seinfeld, or, you know, similar to Seinfeld. It's definitely not exactly the same as Seinfeld. Definitely not. The words are different, so it's different. Um, but we styled it similar to Seinfeld, and, um, and, uh, <laughs> and that worked out. That worked out uh, pretty good. Um, we still haven't talked about Seinfeld on the podcast, though, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> Five bucks from, uh, oh, let me see, 30 bucks from Milk Steak to close us out. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys all had fun. Uh, this stream was, was pretty good. We went longer than I was expecting. We're like five hours in or something. This is crazy. Uh, I wasn't expecting to go this long. Uh, you know, we just kept finding interesting people. And then the people that weren't interesting were just interesting enough to string us along. <laughs> 
Uh, it was a good stream. It was a good stream. We're going to be back tomorrow with more, probably, if I don't. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, if I, if I wake up tomorrow, we will probably be back with more tomorrow. How about that? Uh, <laughs> which is, at this point, looking likely. If, if, if like, uh, Barring any surprises, uh, there will probably be a stream tomorrow. So, um, so, but, you know, don't hold me to it. If I, if I don't stream tomorrow, it doesn't mean that I'm dead. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. But <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, no, see you next time. Penis.